You guys are trying to figure out who the, the people in the background are? It's like my friends. It's like we have Joel, Kage, Lopi, Son, Cotton, Shia, Papa Mutt, uh, Rikami, Buff. I think that's everyone. I said Cotton, right? I think I said Cotton. I got jump scared. <laughs> Joel Kage, Lofi, Son, Shia Buff, Joel, Rikami, Cotton. Same, not gonna lie. <laughs> so listen, sometimes I just gotta keep you guys on your toes. I just gotta keep you guys on your toes, you know? I keep you guys on your toes. Very important. I just woke up, okay? I mean, I guess. Listen, shoosh. I forgot Son's in. I said Son. She's Hello. literally right there. <gasps> Aliu. 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 I think we're still waiting for Hello. Kane. I'm on my like starting soon screen. They can hear Aliu us. We were in a call earlier because like my my community like did a punishment wheel and is like, okay, call someone and ask if you're Aqua. And Kane was the only one that I have asked that said no. Yeah, it's because Kane doesn't like Aqua. I. That's not true. Kane hates Aqua. I I don't hate Aqua. I prefer darkness. Okay, well, that's not a bad not a bad pick. That's a. A lot of people like Megamin. <clears throat> I, I'm not a big fan of Megamin. I'm not a big oh? fan of Megamin either. I I like Megamin's friend, the one that uh, is always forgotten about. Which, ironically, I can't think of their name, but I like them. Mm. <laughs> oh, I've been forgotten about. Doesn't know their name. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Wait, I like a character. <laughs> it do be like that. Do it. Guys, I'm going to I'm gonna go out and do my intro, so bear with me for so one moment. Yeah, sure, yeah. Sure. Of course, of course. All right, all right. Ali! Welcome in everybody, my name is Royal, be your bunny host for this evening, I specialize in voice acting and doing a bunch of collaborative chaos with my friends, enemies, and lovers alike. Which would you like to be tonight? A Power was that, Ranger. Was, was that, I mean, yeah, that's was good. that a question for us? I mean, if you want it, <laughs> if you want to answer it, you're more than welcome oh, okay. to. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Power Ranger. Power Ranger sounds pretty good. Power Ranger. Yeah, Power, I agree. Power Ranger sounds yeah, right. I, I, Power I, agree. Ranger. I agree. But yeah, guys, welcome in. I know it's been, uh, it's been a month <laughs> since we did anything Power Rangers related. Has it really been yes. a month? It's been, it's been a month. It took it took it us has a month. That's why like I was like super like OCD trying to message either of you to get something mm -hmm. set up. Cause like I know Zeus was um on vacation You're for on a vacation. bit. And then Kane mm -hmm. had like a solid week also booked out. Yeah. So like and they were back to back. So that pushed us out. So then and then Connor came out with the Lost Galaxy video. So Kane and I are also trying to set up time for that. Yeah. And then we were yeah. also like, we need to set up time to, with, with Zeus. So he could do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. A lot of, a lot of schedules. Wow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. there's, there's, there's definitely a lot of stuff that we have, uh, that we're juggling around, but we appreciate you guys right. being patient. That just means we have a lot of, uh, plans for all of you. Yeah. yeah plans. TM. Yeah. Yeah. Plans. Yeah. Plans. 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 We're cooking. We're cooking. Plans. Mm -hmm. TM. <laughs> anyway hey guys welcome to the stream i hope you're all doing fantastic hello. tonight <laughs> hello 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 everyone hello everybody yeah, yeah, yeah. i see we got a couple mm -hmm. people with some coffee guys i'm not seeing enough hellos i'm not seeing enough alus can we get some can we just get a wall of either alus or your favorite high emotes your favorite wave emotes your favorite coffee emotes i just need to see a wave that's page. right Do just it a now. wave right now Dropping Absolutely. all those emails. Dropping right all those hellos. Do it right now. Please? Please. I mean, that works too. Mm -hmm. I, I would appreciate it. A lot of you, if you uh, just did that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess I would appreciate it too. 
<laughs> so I love what Roy just came in like maybe maybe I maybe me too. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I, I guess I'd appreciate it as well. I guess I'd appreciate it. Mm -hmm, well. But mm -hmm. see, I have an important mm -hmm. question for you, Zeus. Mm -hmm. So, do you remember where we last left off? I think it was a start of season three, as you guys said. Do you remember anything about what happened though? So mm, Power yeah. Rangers, right? Yeah. Power Rangers. Power Rangers, right? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think I think the one that I think will always be funny to me is like the reason the reason why like the Blue Ranger I already forgot their names but Billy. the Blue Ranger always having a sweater or something like that because like they're actually yeah. Oh, yeah 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 the, the the Green Ranger having a you know a life subscription and you know <laughs> they would have to keep renewing that until they turn into the White Ranger yeah that was, oh uh, my gosh that and then was, just became the leader transition yeah it became the yeah. leader because the three actors had to go mm. so you know and how the three actors just never show up like after but like there are like quote-unquote cameos that i i don't even know that were actually cameos <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was a really messy transition i forgot like we literally ended with like the end of season two and just talking about like mm. a lot of the negative parts but yeah. now now we get into something that's a lot better i i will say we're about to have, and even though I think it's not aged amazingly, we're going to have mm -hmm. two back-to-back -back banger, like, discussions and some mm -hmm. more really shitty talks as well, because Zio... Zio is a lot. Zio, Zio is, a, as an adult now, looking back, mm -hmm. Zio is, has an even darker history than mm -hmm. MMPR, mm -hmm. which is really unfortunate. So we're going to get into that. I hope you're ready. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. I'm I ready. I'll be ready to have your soul. I got my coffee crushed. for this. Oh, yeah. I got coffee. my coffee for this. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Coffee's ready for this. Mm -hmm. Any coffee Easter enjoyers hot. in chat? Me. Yeah. <laughs> iced, I, iced or hot for you, though. Iced or hot, Zeus. Yeah. Uh, Iced latte for me. Ooh. Okay. Right. I have hot cocoa myself. Ooh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. A hot cocoa in the morning would be very, very nice. Mm -hmm. mm. Kane, I'll make you one, okay? Uh, it's really spicy, so I mean, hot I cocoa. Might have to pass. Yeah, hot cocoa is spicy for you. What? Yeah. What? Huh? You know, like when it gets really spicy, and then your like throat starts closing up. It's like it's like that kind of spicy. Kane, are you lactose intolerant? No, I just it's just really it's like really hot and. Wait, but spicy and hot are two different things. No, no, but like it gets it just gets really. Kane's not a dog. He's a wolf. I that thank you. I appreciate that. But yeah, no, it's it's just it's, it's spicy. Kane is you allergic know. and refuses to admit it. Are you allergic to chocolate? I don't know what you're talking about. What's that? Listen, Kane, I'm not trying to like murder you. Like I don't want to like make you chocolate you. and then have you die. Mm. You know? Right. He's just not going to tell me, is he? He's, I, sh I he's just going to so. he's just going to sit there wiggling and let and let me, you know, figure it out. Damn. Yeah, wiggle, maybe. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Do, 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 do. Wiggle, wiggle, That's crazy. Bro literally got that dog in him. That is, yeah. <laughs> should put that dog in me instead. Anyway, guys, <laughs> let's go ahead and blue skidoo. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I like this. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay, uh, let's Not get like the this. reactive group back over here. Fantastic. Mm -mm. And we're going to pull up uh, the videos because I have them ready and at the exact moment. Where we need to watch Let's them. Oh, I'm actually like giga prepared. Like I was super ready for this. I've been looking forward to this for like weeks and I'm about to share it with you guys. Yay. I'm I didn't even, excited. I didn't even I've forget I've been wanting that. to see season three because you guys said that like the production quality got up. They just, up. the best way to explain it is simply they knew what they were doing finally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, season After season three is a After two seasons, they spark. finally knew. <laughs> After 10,000 years, they're free. After 10,000 years, I'm free! I'm yeah. finally free! It's time oh to gosh. conquer Earth! Oh, for a real escape. To the cream of teenage... It's just, you know, very much. Are you okay? Chirp, chirp, chirp. Chirp, chirp, chirp. What happened? What happened there? Chirp. 
Tr I feel like you guys just. Oh, you guys, oh my anyway, guys, uh, welcome into another uh, episode of the unnamed Power Rangers indoctrination show, where Kane and I uh, bring on unsuspecting VTubers and we force them to be educated into the wonderful, wacky world of Power Rangers. Uh, one of us. One of us. Exactly. One Tonight we're continuing us, the indoctrination of, of Zeus Mythos. Hello. Is that your last name? No. I know. I, I know it's not. But I just wanted to put it there. It felt funny. more official, you know? Did you know? Just wanted to confirm. Is that actually your, your, you know, your actual name? I'm like, no, yeah, it's uh, not. It's it, just, listen, it's just it, just, really serious. it just felt more official, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But that is to say, we have got two awesome things to go through tonight. Uh, where we last okay. left off was Zeus was uh, on the end of MMPR uh, Season 2. So we're going to be going through all of MMPR Season 3. And then because that's only about roughly 40 minutes of video time, uh, mm. we're also going to be covering all of Power Rangers Zeo, which should cover yes, us is. throughout the entire night and still be less than last time. So yep. Okay. It should. How, how much should. less are we talking? Like, less um, than... So, <laughs> la so the last time that we watched, it was 2 hours and, like, 13 minutes, roughly. We're looking right. at, mm -hmm. like under two hours this coming time okay so it's definitely gonna be less but it's it's when i say less it's like it might be six hours instead of seven hours mm -hmm. oh okay so we, we got to nine hours last time <laughs> 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 we, we did we did, we did. <laughs> yeah we did yeah, <laughs> yeah you know yeah. you know <laughs> <laughs> so anyway just Zeus. Off like three maybe two hours kind of <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, I know. Exactly. <laughs> Zeus, are you, uh, are you ready to begin? Are you guys ready to start? I am, am I ready, ready to start? Am I ready? It's I am ready. Time. Let's do it, guys! It's more time! It's more time! Mastodon! <laughs> Let's go! Alright, oh, pterodactyl. Do I, do, are, we, are we rotating off? You know what? No, it's, it's, know. Too, it's too late. I thought uh, Zeus was well enough indoctrinated. But it turns out much. not. I don't memorize. I don't memorize, okay. I don't no, memorize the, right. the stuff. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> she gonna learn today because not only are we covering season three of MMPR, we're also covering the movie, which means we can get to White Tiger. Tiger. Yes. <laughs> anyway. Maybe Eunice as well. <laughs> anyway. We can get to the MMPR uh, movie Japanese dub, which never gets I'm synced. I'm so curious if we ended up actually in sync because of Discord lag. I'm so <gasps> curious. I hope so. I, it wasn't. It wasn't in sync, but I think you guys were kind oh, of man. nearly there at the same time. Oh man! Oh, we were delayed for like one second. Oh, man. Hmm. Yeah. Oh man. It's okay, we'll get it eventually. We'll get we'll there. Figure it out. Yeah. Listen, I'm a frog. Anyway, it out. guys, I trust. I trust. <laughs> let us begin. Uh, I'm gonna let's go back. Let like, us begin. I'm gonna go back. Like maybe like, like. 20 seconds or so, oh, yeah, just yeah, so yeah. we have like okay, a little okay. bit of a lead in into it, and then we go in. So, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, uh, add by any means, anyway. it just could have been so much more. Again, I feel like Tommy's biggest strength was being a trump card, a force lurking in the shadows that would help the Rangers out of a bind. <laughs> Did someone just shout so out yet. official Power Morphicon? Huh? Oh Wait, they have a Twitch account? That's crazy. Wait, they're not here in chat, are they? That'd be kind of nutty. <laughs> <laughs> that would be sad. That would be kind of nutty. Listen. Really? I'm a massive. Hey, no, yo? I don't think they're in chat. No way. Wait, hold on. I don't think they're in chat. Uh, oh, my God. They are. are. For anyone unaware. Is it actually real? Yeah. Official Power Morphicon. Power Morphicon is the largest Power Ranger convention in the world. Oh, my God, uh, dude. That's wild. Oh I have. Hello. Hi. How Genuinely. We just got a new Twitch. Welcome to Twitch. We're happy to have welcome you. To welcome to Twitch. Welcome to Twitch. Yeah, we're, we're very happy to have you. Uh, welcome to this franchise, this series uh, of uh, where we, uh, Kane and I take uh, our friends and we put them through these videos. Uh, where it's Connor the Waffle, who I reached out to personally to get permission to react to their videos. Uh, and mm -hmm. um, we indoctrinate people that are unfamiliar with Power Rangers and put them through the weird world of whatever season it is. Uh, <laughs> you make it sound like a torture. Uh, I prefer indoctrination. <laughs> I, I, I knew you talked about yeah, it. could be. Yeah, you I mean... Depending the, on who you talk to, I, I guess you could consider it that. However, the first time that Kane and I did this video, to be fair, it took us seven and a half hours to get through. I mean, it's seven and a, seven and a half hours. I wouldn't trade mm -hmm. for the world. True. However, True and real. True and real. But yeah, I've actually always wanted to go to Power Morphicon. It's just never been like good timing. But yeah, hey, good to see you. Thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. Welcome in. Anyway, let's continue. Scrapow. The leader. 
The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie <laughs> also came out. Yes! I'm so excited to talk about the movie. However, I'm going to stay talking about it until early season three. <sighs> I'm oh, so that's excited. Right. We don't agree one. with. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, because oh, he. Well, we don't agree about the movie? No, no. We don't... Kane, Kane and I love it. We don't okay. agree with Connor. With Connor's take. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. With okay. Connor. With Connor's take. Because, like, Kane and I aren't going to, like, pretend that it's, like, a 10 out of 10 movie. But it mm -hmm. is so much fun. Depends like, on who you talk to, though. If they are very steeped in nostalgia, more than likely they're going to say it's a 10 out of 10. It's not. But uh, as seasoned fans, Wait, uh, no. Wait, I actually <laughs> just thought of this. Uh, let me see if I can find it real quick. Let me see if I can find the comments. Uh... Shit, I don't know where it is. Uh, so I got a comment on one of one of our older. Oh, I think it was on the VOD channel. On one of our older VODs where you and I mm -hmm. were reacting to uh, Connor's stuff, Kane. Mm -hmm. And let's let's see if I can find it because it's. Uh. Shit, it was just it. so good. It was just so good. What was it? It so someone literally was like. Oh man, it's it's so weird that there are so many edgy people talking about Power Ranger nowadays that like to pretend that Money Morphin season one isn't a ten out of ten season. Huh? And I'm huh? like, what? I'm like, what? Uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm like, uh... Oh wait, I found it. Okay. When you automatically omit the first season slash game slash book of any series out of S tier, you know you're looking at a shitty tier list. Without MMPR season one, this tier list doesn't even happen. But sure, that let's be edgelords and, container, uh, and contrarians and label it mid. It that is. That doesn't mean anything. It, li it literally <laughs> is. And it was, it was actually on just one of mine. I forgot. I made a tier list of MMPR like, like two years that, ago. That doesn't mean anything. If you were to have arguably the first ever made sandwich compared to, I don't know, something from uh, Jersey Mike. A Michelin star or, restaurant yeah. or something? Yeah, or Panera Bread, which mm. is, you know, again, series down the line. What would you say is the better sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> That's the other yeah. crazy thing, because in that tier list, I, t I like highly praise MMPR season three. It's not like I shit on all of MMPR. It's just season one, I think, was like mid. Season two was really rough and then season three was like the biggest turnaround and actually I, genuinely one uh, of the best seasons like i, I don't know, understand <laughs> i don't know i don't know I man don't it just sounds like someone's understand. a little salty yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway sorry i just i remembered that because we would no, literally just got so into this <laughs> let's just move on to season three yes mainly because i want to talk about the movie I like the nearing movie. the finish line, Bo folks. Movie time. With movie time, good. Let's go. Not only being the shortest yeah. of the You're the finish line. Also, which season had the Elvira cameo? Season. Elvira hey, cameo. Hey, Elvira was in Power Rangers. That's news to me. If there, wait, is I don't know if they're. One, I don't know I if they're like joking or not. Yeah, I want. I want to know. Is this? Is this a real thing? Did I this would actually love happen? to know new trivia about Power Rangers. Genuinely, that would be All so right. cool. Uh, to Google Elvira Power Rangers cameo. What is who? Who is that? Um, Elvira is a musical artist, correct? She's the the mistress of dark. Never mind. Maybe I don't know. She she is an actress. <laughs> uh, Elvira oh, is like okay. a like a her like character. Uh, okay. she has she has like a wiki entry, but it doesn't say why in Power Rangers. So I, I don't I don't know. You know? It's a mystery. <laughs> it's a mystery. We'll never know. Oh, hi, Hazumi. Hazumi, if you want to join us, you're more than welcome to. We just can't go back and explain <laughs> season two because we'll, we'll be here you're for just gonna have to hours. deal with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. Oh, my God. Okay. Anyway. Uh, she was Vanna White character in Wheel of Misfortune. Oh. oh. Interesting. Very. We, God, where was that? Wheel of Misfortune was about Kimberly's spinning wheel, right? Yeah, that was... Oh, there it is. Good. Oh, right there, right there. Do you think it would show it? Uh, no, I don't think so. Probably not. Probably not, huh. you know? Anyway. Mm -hmm. no, let's continue. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. That's crazy. I didn't know that. Let's see where it takes us. 
we kick off season three with a three-parter. Now, this three-parter is pretty interesting. Side note, guys, oh, if right, you like right, right. side note, guys, if you like Common Rider, uh, I am starting up Common Rider nights again. Uh, come hang out in Discord. Actually, just went Discord and chat. Uh, every Saturday, we're gonna be starting off. Uh, we're picking back up again with Common Rider Blade because it's just where I am. So, Common Rider Blade. Blade. Nice. Anyway, the main purpose was to act as a backdoor Blade. pilot for another Saban project, The Masked Rider. We don't talk Black the RX. Backdoor pilot for actually those of you who hella don't know, good. Is essentially a way of introducing a character Black or RX series so good. through an already established one. For example, Breaking Bad. I didn't expect to talk about Breaking Bad in a Power Rangers <laughs> video, but I digress. Oh, this the kills show me. introduced Saul Goodman, the slimy and charming lawyer. He became so beloved that the again. network asked Discord. for his own show to mm -hmm. be made. But here, True. we get introduced to the Masked Rider, a hero who lives on Edenoi, which is the planet Alpha is from. True. Alpha gets a distress call from their king. I got raided by Apollo. Oh, hello, Apollo. Hello, Apollo. Hello, Apollo. Hello, Apollo. Hello, Apollo. Thank you for the raid. Hello, hello. hello. Hi, everybody. I am with Roy. I'm with Kane. We're currently watching Power Rangers. We are uh, deep in. We're actually at season three, so. Yeah. <laughs> and we're yeah, just we starting. Deep in. We're just starting as well, so if you guys want to also hop on along, grab some drink, grab some food, get yourself some comfy blankets, it's going to be a long one. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Please feel free to get comfortable, and if any of you are going down memory lane with us and have any questions about Power Rangers, please feel free to ask. Oh, I should. I need to pin that. Uh, have questions, feel free to, to ask, ask anything about Pluto. Power Rangers mm. yes, you yes. want. Bam! And then pin that. Nice. We, we got what, it. I mean, that's usually what it what, like. Oh my god, why can't I pin this? Mods! <laughs> Mods! <laughs> Mods! Mods help! <laughs> Mods help! <laughs> you can't. You can't yell. It's mod appreciation day. No, I'm not that's yelling at them. I'm yelling. For, I'm asking for help. Thank Is you, Mods. Laz? Hi, Laz. Hi, Laz. Hello. Hi, brother. How Thank are you? you? I can try to answer some questions too. Oh, thanks, official power morph. Much love, much love. Big okay, love, goodbye, big Paula. Big love. Mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs> Funny thing here, and I cannot remember the exact reason. Maybe official Morphicon will remember. Maybe Kane will remember. Kimberly's okay. not mm. here, and she's not part of the initial three parter. And this was is, it like this is around the time they were kind of phasing her out? Like, because mm. because the the episodes were never filmed in order. So like, yes. they, okay. So for this specifically, was the story or the plot line that she was sick? Is that what it was? She had to. I think so. She stayed on Earth. I'm sure. Okay. Yay! Uh, official Power Morphicon got it. Yeah, she's sick. Because I remember there's like this one scene where I just have it vividly in my brain where she morphs and then sneezes in her helmet and complains about it. Anyway, sorry. Yes, 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 yes. That's right. <laughs> I, had to think, I, I just played the episode in my head. I'm like, yes. Yeah, that's just exactly like, what you like think about it for a while, right? You know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry. Uh, continuing on. We're that that's that gonna happen a lot. That's gonna, gonna happen a lot tonight, guys. Edenoi is a pretty desolate planet. I'm surprised the technologically advanced Sepia robot tone. like Alpha just. That's how you know it's a desolate. See. Anyway, from they, here. they just put a filter over it. Yeah, yeah sepia tone. Figures. The figures are under the assumption that the <laughs> Rangers are invaders, and their leader known as the Mask Or Mexico, true. We did fight. talk about breaking that. That's 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 all good guys do when talk things out. Nah, nah, well, nah. That's wild. Realizing they're on the same side and retreat to a nearby cave, the Mask Rider reveals himself to be Dex, and we get... <gasps> Whoa. What? Remember this Whoa. character when he was totally in Power Rangers? Never? <laughs> Bro, could you yeah. imagine if this was Richie? Like, <laughs> he's I like, just, I, he's like, I knew you guys were the Power Rangers. I just had to uh, somehow eventually get you on the line to like bring you to Edenoi to help. You know, I think my favorite part That'd about that crazy. was you asked Zeus, and Zeus went, "Nope, of course I don't remember." <laughs> <laughs> true and real. <laughs> true and real. True so and real. True. True and real. So true, Bestie. A long history about his people and the power of the writer. I mean, Again, since this is a backdoor pilot, the they writer. really want to establish the main premise of this yeah. new show to the audience. The B plot has Balk and Skull trying to impress some girls, saying that they'll show them to the Power Rangers. Ah, yes. Another genius plan. Mm -hmm. The big baddie of Masked Rider is someone named Lord Dragon. You know, like dragon. <laughs> Just like Rita, they're use Japanese dragon. Dragon. So the Rangers Dra and the Riders team up to find <clears throat> the bad guys. Dra I'll be honest, okay. I'm not a fan mm -hmm. of the Masked Riders costume. All right, that I don't like because I I actually really like Black RXs. Yeah, uh, I really like it. I think it's objectively. It's, what do you think about the Zeus? Uh, I mean. Just based on suit I, it's, design it's, alone, he's got a sword. It's very. 
uh, the the I would say the helmet is very bug themed. It is bug. But themed. everything else, it, it looks it looks very nice. I would say it's much more simpler than I would say the Power Rangers is one, and which True. I like about that one. True. Mm -hmm. Now, Zeus, did we talk about Common Rider at all when we indoctrinated? I mean, uh, we talked introduced about you? it a little bit. Okay. It wasn't super yeah, but like not the actual like story. All I know is that Common Rider is like bug themed superheroes. Usually, that's so, all I know from it. In 1971, <laughs> oh, God, uh, Common, huh? Pardon? Common Rider, Common Rider, 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 Rider. <laughs> I, uh, so, kick. 1971, Sorry. Kamen Rider officially mm. debuted. This is uh, one of Shotaro Ishinomori's uh, official, like, one of his first flagship series. Uh, mm. If anyone mm. is familiar with Cyborg 009 or the manga Skullman, uh, he is also the creator of that, and then Kamen Rider came later. Um, mm -hmm. But Kamen Rider was around for uh, possibly, I want to say five-ish years prior mm. to super sentai which is you know power rangers as yeah. we know it um roughly like it's like four and change but it's close enough to five but it's, yeah it's basically like you know five four years yeah, yeah. Uh, but anyway um so essentially it's usually around one person fighting off uh, mm -hmm. a whole army of people and, and typically the 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 whole gist yeah, of a common writer is they it. usually have the powers of their enemies it, but it's about what they use how they use that power and how they mm -hmm. fight for justice yep. and whatever it may be. E each individual series is more or less separated. Yep. So you can watch one without having to watch the other ones. Uh, they're all okay. in their own little pocket universes. Uh, kind of similar to Power Rangers and by extension Super Sentai. But that that's a whole other thing. So like... Common Rider is still airing to this day, and the current one mm. that's airing is called Common Rider Gunshard. Um, but I, I yeah, actually forgot that's... what was airing right now because I'm so far behind on Common. Don't Rider. worry, I got you. I got. I'm not. I'm not watching Gunshard. <laughs> the some of the, fight scenes, some of the I... fight scenes are fantastic, but for the most part, it's not. It's, it's all right. <laughs> and then last fun fact, and then we'll get we'll get into this. Uh, yes. Cool thing about Common Rider, I, I like how you pointed out immediately. Oh man, they're bug themed. Um, so you know how Pokemon? Have you, you played Pokemon, right, Zeus? Yes, Pokemon Scarlet recently. You know how Just you know recently how... beat it, the Ch Paldean oh, nice. champion. Yay! Hey! You know how I might, uh... have to, I, I might have to actually not continue it because oh. of complications. <laughs> oh, huh? I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> uh, oh, your switch. switch. Uh, I my did see switch, that. Yeah, my switch. Uh, after we played, it went it went orange screen, solid orange screen, like twice. So yeah, I, I, um, I I hope it can get fixed or like I, yeah. I, I, don't, I hope. Yeah, I, I really do hope because I heard the I heard I can't technically save oh. it on a cloud save. So what in the world? You can I, transfer yeah. technically, but Monka Giga. I, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, anyway, it's fine. I already cried about it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> what what it's I was going good. to say pertaining to Pokemon? Did you know <laughs> that in in, po in in Pokemon? Oh my god! In in Pokemon, did you know that Bug types beat Dark mm. types because of Common mm -hmm. Rider? Wait, really? Yep. It was inspired because of wait, really? Yep, <laughs> because the first couple of Common Riders were all bug themed, so and they're all fighting mm. evil, so. A lot of them are still like bug themed, mm -hmm. um, but every now and then you'll have a common writer that is one theme and then mixed with another bug. Mm -hmm. So like, uh, there's common writer Fies, which is we don't way talk about down Fies. the line. We don't talk about they, Fies. We don't stop it. We don't talk okay, about Fies. But th there's a bug and a shark, kinda. It, it's a it's a weird little <laughs> mix. <laughs> and a cell phone. <laughs> that was out Open of your eyes for the next Fies. More like throw it in the trash because Fi sucks. <laughs> okay. It's okay. It's not. It's not. That bad. Roy doesn't. Like it. Okay. Okay. Other, other, okay. Understandable. Not it's, it's not that bad, but Roy. Doesn't. It's anyway. my least favorite season that I've seen so far, and I've seen a lot of Shoa. I'm just saying. Oh I would rather God. open my eyes for watching V3 again. Honestly. <laughs> oh. Anyway. Okay, uh, okay. Like a beetle. But not the Beetleborg. Not the Beetleborgs. That's a thing. The Masked thing. Rider is from okay. another series. Oh, right. Oh, he was going to explain Kamen Rider anyway. Rider. Super There's Sentai and Kamen Rider so many fall of them under now. the umbrella yeah. of Tokusatsu. The Masked Rider comes from the series Kamen Rider Black RX, RX. which came out in 1988, mm. which is why Dex's transformation looks a bit dated. 
So, yeah, the Rangers help out Edenoi and return back to Earth. Meanwhile, wow, the crazy. girls show up to see the Rangers, but instead just see Bulk and Skull. Oh, my God. <laughs> yep. They're in their oh hero. Oh, my gosh. All right, phase. Era. That's uh -huh. not, not what the kids say. Era. Uh, their, their hero era. Uh, hot dog Okay. okay. Hamburger Saurus. Hamburgosaurus. Anyway. <laughs> you once again get absolutely humiliated when the monster shows up. Which is just a the recolor the of... It's like the third recolor of this monster specifically. The third recolor? <laughs> it's like the yeah. third time this monster specifically has been oh recolored. Oh my god. <laughs> humiliated when the monster shows anyway. up. So the rangers fight the monster in what seems to be American-made... Which it is. Megazord <gasps> footage? Yeah, we get these cool down below angles to really show off the Megazord's height. We've never seen anything like this up until this point. My God, they point. actually Kinda they cool, actually use their own production. That's crazy. Well, yeah, that's nutty. Good three parter. That's crazy. Again, never watching Masked Rider. I don't know if the show is even any good. I will put this out there. I have seen the hmm. first two episodes of Masked Rider, like it's... double digits times, but I've never seen past yeah. the first two episodes. It's okay. It's not <laughs> great, but it's. It's oh, definitely God. a cult classic. Um, for reference, it's literally a slice of life show, but with superhero elements kind of mixed in. So after the events of this episode, Dex goes to Earth and lives with a sitcom family. Yeah, I, that's the best way I can really it is. explain it. And has <laughs> yeah. a, a Furby sidekick. And I'm not kidding it you, is Zeus. Furbus. Its name is literally Furbus. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a giant... Uh, probably up to your waist Furby with a duck bill. It's kind of um, terrifying. I'm not going to lie. It's it's like cute in an ugly sort of way. Hold on, let me find it. No, so it's like the Barbie Gibbles, was it? <laughs> or Bibbles? I don't, I don't know if you want to look it up right now. It's really, it's not terrifying, but it's like... Furbus? It's what it's called? Fur Furbus. Yeah, like fur Furbus. and then bus, like together. Furbus Max right. There you oh go. Oh my god! No, 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 not the scream! Not the scream! No, no, those eyes are not, they're not natural. So is the beak, and so is the, the, so is the yeah. facial beak. Those are not natural. Yeah, listen, I mean, it's you're, okay. You're totally right. That's a person in a suit. But yeah, that's, whoa, that's besides the point. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it's more for time. <laughs> anyway, but this is technically the first team up in Power Rangers. I always like seeing the True. Rangers take on a new thread of monsters and villains, so <laughs> this was pretty cool. I tried to watch a few episodes of Masked Rider for this video. It is just, just not for me. <laughs> I have heard good things though well, about Common Rider Dragon Knight. I need to go back and watch this. It's good. Oh, oh. It's so very good. okay, that looks really nice. Yeah, okay. yeah. So these are the more recent suits. This is oh, air, qu air quotes more I recent. Say 2004, 2003. I want to say around there. Mm. Yeah. So, so America tried twice at adapting Common Rider. The first was and, Mast Rider with right. with Heim Saban, and it did not go well. Uh, Which. Uh, the the Toei Toei in Japan was like, no, we're never letting you touch Common Rider ever again, until Common Rider Dragon Knight, uh, which mm -hmm. is this right here. This is the secondary rider. This isn't the primary rider. Um, okay. So uh, side character, but also anyway, um, Common Rider Dragon Knight was the attempt at air, like airing Common Rider to an older audience, yes. similar to a mm -hmm. CW show. Like he even had it like the was Aaron on the slot. CW. Yeah, it, it was, well, yes, yes, it was akin to, it was written for an adult, or teen, rather, like audience. Like, late teen audience, yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. it had, like, a really late uh, time slot and everything. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. the late time slot honestly kind of killed it. The problem, yeah, the problem is, one, time slot, and two, they didn't have the toys to kind of, like, promote and, like, gain revenue from the show. So they mm -hmm. finished the show, but they didn't make any money off of it, and no one even knew it existed. Yeah. And so oh, Toei, gosh. so Toei at the time was like, "Well, you failed Common Rider again, so we're never giving it to you again." And the shitty oh. thing about that too is, it was a completely different company that had nothing to do with Saban. But Toei was like, mm -hmm. "Well, that's two times that America failed at Common Rider, so just mm -hmm. never again." So Man. that's great. But uh, more recently, more there recently, was one attempt, and and I'm not. 
even sure if this was a real thing. It was a... Mm. It happened on an April Fool. It happened off of April Fools, but it was around the time that it could have been considered one, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. where they tried the copyright of Power Rider. Um, oh God! Yeah, I don't know if this is for sure a April Fools. No one has ever debunked it mm. or confirmed it, but mm-hmm. I think it was another attempt at bringing it over. So okay. anyway, oh, there was a dub <laughs> for Kabuto as well. Oh, but that happens in like. Asian countries like the yeah. Philippines and uh, yeah. Indonesia, I believe. Mm. But yeah, anyway, this did really poorly when it aired. However, more recently, as in like within the past like four years or so, for some mm. reason it had like a resurgence because some of the main mm-hmm. actors were literally like, hey, you should pirate this show because it's never getting released anywhere and we're really proud of it. Oh, yeah. And then oh, people yeah. started watching it. Very, yeah, he's very vocal about just watch it. Yeah. But Aww. but the crazy thing is the people that have been watching it recently they're like this is actually really good it's like, really good it's getting like reviewed like well it, it has its own now you guys are actually audience. making me curious on the that's why I want to like, watch I, it no because like here's the thing here's the thing I, I like I I was planning on having to watch like Mighty Morphin by myself like oh, season no. one all oh, the way no. to like whatever is the new season you I, so well no not new season but like what do you mean? sorry like. <laughs> I didn't say sorry. I said I'm so proud of you. Oh, okay. We got her, Because like I, I actually do want to like get to we know all her. of the actual episodes, sure. and hopefully, like if ever, um, I want to continue the other like Power Rangers or yeah. whatever they are uh, called. Because I know there's Samurai, there's like Super Samurai, or, like Megazord, or like Super Megazord, and yada yada yada, all that jazz. <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> uh, you just start. Start. Listen. You don't have to worry about those for now, okay? Well, well. Okay, okay, okay. If Connor okay. ever gets to those, we'll talk about those. Okay. Connor, okay. For for now. Uh, anyway. Another attempt by Sabon to make Kamen Rider. Okay, okay, wait. Should I watch Common Rider first or Mighty Morphin first? Okay. Uh, or Super Depend. Sentai? Do Depend. I watch the Japanese one first? What? Oh. Uh, oh. Wow, Kyo. Kyo. Wow, Kyo. Hi, King. Oh, just hi. Hi. Uh, hi. Just, just says hi to Kane. It's my join sound. Just, just has to Kane. <laughs> oh, because Kane's so punk champ. Uh, he's no punk champ. <laughs> Roy isn't punk champ. Damn, Roy. I'll just, take it. I'll take it. Damn. I can't uh, is, are okay. you guys streaming? We are. That's why we're in yes. the, yes, the live stream channel say hello to everyone <laughs> yeah. bonjour bon- bonjour. Uh, bo- uh, bonjour 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 bonjour, bonjour. Well, bonjour. welcome to the indoctrination of power rangers yes i, I was like, a little bit curious after we talked about mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. absolutely I, i'm like okay absolutely. i'm watching the stream uh what is this what is it okay so first of all we're I, I can't go back and answer too many of your questions because we're no, that's okay. It's okay two hours and 15 minutes into this video already mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. Power but, rangers five five uh teenagers, teenagers with attitude dude. It's spandex. That's not really spandex. It's a whole thing. We're not going to go into it. It's not spandex. Um, mm-hmm. Chosen by an intergalactic space wizard stuck in a time warp tube um, and is on a daily basis told, telling them to fight for justice and freedom and all that. Yeah. Also, they have a robot companion. Also, is in the 90s. Mm. In a yeah. juice bar. In a juice bar. This is amazing. Yeah. Uh, mm. Zeus, to answer your question, if you mm. want to, like, start, start, like, old, um, Kamen Rider has aged very differently than Power Rangers has. Yes. So if you're if you're like, man, I really want to watch or get into Kamen Rider, which I have been very much enjoying, and I actually think I like Kamen Rider more than Super Sentai, uh, which mm-hmm. is why I want to watch more Kamen Rider more than Super Sentai, but it's also because it's oh. new to me. But if mm-hmm. you if you go back, like some of the older seasons of Kamen Rider are a little harder to find, and because they're from the mm-hmm. 70s, you either love them because you're you can respect that hey this was made in the 70s or it's oh this was made in the 70s and has not it aged did, well it really depends on the kind of stories that you want to yeah. uh consume uh, my community mm-hmm. knows that i love common rider because i'm very vocal about it but i also mm-hmm. love super sentai and power rangers just as much i'm yep. just not nearly as vocal about it yeah um mm-hmm. but if you're looking for some Super Sentai have like darker storylines in addition to like mm. uh, what Common Rider is able to produce, but typically mm. you'll find like more grounded, more uh, air quotes realistic. I know, yeah. I know, I know it's not yeah. really realistic, but I, I know, yeah, yeah. There, there is a Common Rider series for everyone. Yeah, uh, one of one of my uh, friends, Yumi. Now, their very first Common Rider was Common Rider Build, which is a series that aired in two thousand. 
19? I want to say. Oh, yeah, that's build, build that, is yeah, newer. That's, that is new. Whoa. Yeah, it, it's relatively new. And it's it's uh, it's really, really good. Uh, yeah. Quick mm-hmm. uh, synopsis of it. Uh, there is this uh, box, the Pandora's box that was found on the moon. They brought it to Earth. It accidentally activated and divided Japan into three different sections. And so each different section developed their own different culture and things mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. And uh, it's just a matter of uh, how Japan kind of like... Uh, came back together after that. It's a very interesting story. Mm-hmm. I will also mention this. Uh, Kamen Rider, more so than Super Sentai, is divided in three eras with Japan's actual like ruling eras, which is uh, Showa era, Heisei era, and now the, the Reiwa era. Yeah. And you can see clear jumps in quality, but also shooting directions for all of them. And I will say, just because I've watched a lot of Showa era, and now I'm in the Heisei era... If you hmm. want to skip the Showa era, which is the, the older can. dated stuff, I, you can. I personally have. I the, the Heisei era has aged very well. And I'm saying, like, the mm. first one aired in 2000, but it's shot at 60 frames a second and in full oh. HD. Yeah. In the year 2000. Wow. So, like, here, I'll, I'll send a GIF to the, the open chat, and you can see okay. from one of the Blu-rays that came out recently for Kamen Rider Kuga. And Mm-mm. that's the that's like when I when I finally like decided I was like, I, I love Common Rider was was uh, like mo- literally these shots. Most people that want to jump into Common Rider usually start in modern day anyway. Usually start at the Heisei oh, era because much. this is the flashiest, more, uh, well put together. And that's not even like the right terminology, but it, it's the easiest for most people to consume. Mm-hmm. There we go. Look how clean that is. Oh my that god. That was filmed in the year is. 2000. Wait, why does that look so good? It's year, <laughs> filmed in the year 2000. <laughs> also, that's going hard. Holy. He's beating. This yep. is not it's not going to look great on on stream, but like that's the gift that I posted and it looks oh, way better on Discord. It's fine. Yeah. Oh man. But it just okay. looks it, it just looks so it good. It actually looks very crisp. Yeah. This this fight is it's so visceral. Good. It's, it's so good. It's Gory. Yeah. <laughs> it's it, it, it is. It's really it is. gory. Remember, common common rider's a little bit more for like like early to late teens, where Super Sentai is like adolescence to like preteen. Yeah. Oh, I don't mind like darker, like I would say story parts. Mm. I, I for me, I would think that that gives a lot yeah. of like stories more depth that way. Some, yeah. Sometimes so. it does. Mm-hmm. But anyway, let's continue on. With this wacky mm-hmm. world, but if you if you do want to watch Common Rider, I think Heisei Era is a great place to start um, with Kuga, okay, especially because okay. there's I can Blu-rays of it. If you want, yeah, because talk I to know Kane. Roy oh yeah, please. Is relatively recent to the Heisei Era, but I can direct you. I'll talk up Kuga because yeah. there's Blu-rays of it, and I love mm-hmm. Kuga. Mm-hmm. Kuga's my current favorite. So, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> all right. Send me some links to watch them, and I will watch them. We will. Mm-hmm. We will. Mm-mm-mm. It was released anyway. in 2008, and people actually seem to like it. Yeah. I don't know much about it apart from its kick-ass theme song. Listen to this. Riders, together. That, oh. I think it's <laughs> together we will fight the fight. Yeah. Yeah. Rider, Dragon Knight. Together we will fight the fight to let ride. I got to have it memorized. The theatrical Power Rangers movie was coming out. And do we show them the cursed helmets, Kane? <laughs> what? Let's, yes. Uh, wait, yes. we we will show them the cursed helmets after the movie segment. One hundred percent. Because are they bad? It is an example of people in charge not understanding what is in their hands. Okay. <laughs> it it will show you what Power Rangers almost turned into and why. Like the the movie itself was technically a, a it was a it was a hit. It was a success because it, it made money. Okay. It made uh, money, but very, very easily it almost wasn't. And we'll show yes. you why after okay. they talk about the movie. So Yes. Okay. Go ahead. It's definitely one of the movies of all time. Okay, first of all, you can you can just shut the f- up right now, because I swear <laughs> to God, Ivan Ooze is still the greatest Power Rangers villain of all time. Okay? <laughs> Ivan yeah. Ooze. He missed the Brady Bunch reunion. The Brady Bunch reunion. reunion. <laughs> Oh, where's my autograph book? Where's my autograph book? <laughs> anyway, sorry. Teenager. Go teenager. Don't say, don't say, no, don't say that. <laughs> sorry, that's a line from the movie because he was smelling something and he, it smelled like teenagers. Oh my God, stop. Teenagers. 
Yeah. Wait, what? I just realized what was happening. Oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, I don't yeah, know what you're talking about. That's crazy. Uh, what, are you God. God. what are you talking about? Skydiving. Guys, skydiving. Oh, skydiving. Yeah. Wow. I was bored as a kid. This, scene goes this is amazing. Like, First I've of all, always, that looks cool. One, I've always wanted to go diapers. skydiving with a snowboard specifically because of That's this. what I'm saying. <laughs> Bro, and Red Hot Chili Peppers? Uh, is it safe? Yeah. You think the Power Rangers yeah, would do dangerous are. things in the if 90s? Never. never. If everything oh my goes god, I suddenly remember that, like, the fucking the, the stunt actors are oh probably not even getting paid about this shit. Oh no, don't no, remind me. No. These were, this, this was a Hollywood production. Oh my god. Yeah, this, so, this was money. Do they yeah. have a contract of, like, they can actually go to the hospital or something? Probably. Or so, do they have insurance? Technically, yeah. yes. So this oh, was, this movie was, to my knowledge, you <laughs> win. It also, okay. Another fun fact, uh, because we have so many of those, uh, this movie actually revolutionized Australia as like a place to film movies. Yes. Um, mm. they, they filmed this movie and because they were able to accomplish so much in just Australia, it, it kind of opened the eyes to the rest of the film industry. And a lot of productions moved their moved to Australia because one, it was cheaper. And two, there was a lot of biodiversity available to yep. them. Yeah. So mm. you'll see some like really, really nice sets. Uh, that look just genuinely good and they're natural. Ah, so. so I can see why you guys say that this is like production production. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is kind of ironic because it doesn't happen here because Power Rangers stays in California until Wild Force. But then when Disney yeah. takes over during Wild Force and into Ninja Storm, they actually move production to New Zealand, which it's still in technically right now. But I think they confirm mm -hmm. if they continue it, it's not. But yeah, regardless, yeah, there was an article that came out basically saying if we continue Power Rangers or something along those lines, uh, it's California. not it's not going to be New Zealand. Just coming back to Wait, California. is it going to be discontinued? No, no, no. Uh, well, that's, that's, actually, it, yeah, it's it, up in the air. Yeah, we don't know. Oh. Good question. We, we really hope. Hey, uh, official uh, Power Morphicon uh, in chat. Uh, can you confirm whether you guys are going to be showing off a new Power Ranger season? Because uh, Ken and I have been like dying uh, to know is that legal? since, oh, since that Cosmic Fury. Can you um, can you let us know? No, you know, um, what if I showed you cosplay of me with Johnny Aaron Bosch? What about that? No, anyway. it's funny. I am yeah. not involved if anything illegal happens. <laughs> That's I'm not crazy. <laughs> Listen, it's Power Rangers. What's the most illegal thing that could happen? Time yeah, force. <laughs> to listen to this Red Hot Chili Pepper song I don't really like. What? But okay, cool. It's so good. We all eventually land and we can get down to business, right? Wrong. Yeah. They then go on oh. an epic rollerblading adventure for five Aww. more minutes, oh and we listen to more licensed music. This time it's that free ride. Come on, let's get to the new ride. Come on, let's take a free ride. Free ride. Free ride. <laughs> <laughs> this construction crew dig up this Love giant evil-looking egg. Zordon What's a morphological being? What the heck is that? What the heck is that? What the heck is that? Its name is Ivan, Ivan Ooze. Ooze. He's a powerful wizard that a former group of heroes led by Zordon buried away. That's crazy. Unfortunately, Zed and Rita take notice of this and set him free. I like Ivan's design. It's pretty unique Wait, Zed and, and Rita scary. are still part of this? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> the movie is, it takes place in an alternate universe. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, it's not directly it's connected. It's not canon, canon? Or... No, it's not, it's it's not, not timeline canon. canon to the it's rest of the series. Yeah. Okay. Um. The reasoning for that is because the showrunners who picked up Space. the movie at the time did not know Power Rangers. Yeah. They wanted mm -hmm. to create their own story while taking okay. different elements from the show. Um, okay. Which is ironic because a lot of the, the elements that were used in the movie ended up being used in season three. Yeah. Um, which is why the production value seems higher because they used yeah. they used props from the movie. Because but... this movie was filmed during season two. Yeah. The be very beginning of season two. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Well, welcome to uh, cutting corners, but actually doing it smart. <laughs> like they okay. did. They did it smart. We'll, we'll take it. Yeah. yeah. We'll take Freddy it. Krueger. We'll take that as a dub. Total smart ass. We're the Power Rangers. Woo! Woo! Where's my autograph book? I love him so <laughs> much. Are pretty creepy, and the Rangers got to fight him. Oh, he's a sassy and villain. I, I like those. Honest, this is one of the worst fight scenes. I ever. hate him so much. No, God, I hate him so, so much. Connor is so wrong. Action boy now! Action girl now! Be Welcome prepared! To my nightmare. <laughs> Welcome to my nightmare. Elevator hey, going up, elevator going down. No, that's Talk later. Not a splitting headache. That's later, that's later. Oh, I know. Hey, oh. Wanna play kick the can? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here, let me get the door. <laughs> Sorry. Power Rangers Sorry. History. Anyway. The choreography is really lame. That's so good! Flips and not enough punches to the face. 
It is saved, though, by the really awesome morphing sequence. The rangers get these cool yes. new morphers, and even their suits are beefed up with some armor. Hello, oh. it's me from the future. Okay. This part of the video keeps getting hit with copyright claims, so unfortunately, <laughs> I just have to give you oh, the well. TLDR version of the movie and kind of rush through it. So, real quick, just because we got to that point. So, mm -hmm. he talked about how, like, cool the morphing sequence is. For mm -hmm. some reason, I have found I have found one. MMPR movie... Japanese dub. I found the Japanese dub okay. of, of the movie, and this never gets hit with anything. For anyone that has never been here to one of our streams, I need to reiterate, Japan, for some reason, loves Power Rangers when it's dubbed back into English. So you're talking about a Japanese show adapted into English and then redubbed back into Japanese. So and Japanese funny. audiences love that, and I have no idea why. And, okay. and this, for no reason, just goes hard in Japanese. It's so good. So really? just just please please enjoy the experience of this because it's just so good. Okay, okay. <laughs> Are you ready? The spotlight on them though. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, Kate! Mamusu! <laughs> Alright, Kate, it's your turn, let's go! Why do I go? Kate, I love you. It's so good. It's Where'd so they good. Go? <laughs> Where they go? Like literally, the bad guys leave while they're morphing, <laughs> and then they have to go chase them. It doesn't show. Yeah. Oh, they actually did it away. They're just like, you know. Yeah, what? they go. literally just left. <laughs> they're like, I right, deuces. Oh my gosh. It's really they're funny. They're villains that doesn't wait for the transformation. There, oh my there's God. a lot of there's a lot of the jokes. Obviously, like when you look at Power Ranger parodies, where it's like, oh, you know, mm. I would just attack them while they're transforming. Uh, mm. In the Power Rangers world. When they morph, typically it's literally just a flash of light, and then you mm -hmm. know we we see what the audience sees, right? Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Mighty Morphin is one of those exceptions where it's like they have to take the time to yell their dinosaurs, and then they can mm. morph. Yep. So yeah, they can just leave. <laughs> Wait. So we and we have confirmation that Zeo is the same. Yeah. Because because of the turbo movie. Yeah. <laughs> because of cat slow motion morph where she breaks oh, her that's leg. Right, that's right. Yeah. So anyway, instead of just like a flash of light and they're rangers, no, there's there's a process to these earlier seasons. Yeah. Anyway. Mm -mm. Ivan Ooze destroys the power chamber. Zordon is dying. Oh no. The rangers in turn lose their powers and travel oh, to no. a distant planet to find the hidden powers. Of Australia. This is all still in Australia. The rangers it get attacked. Like Wait, they're in a different <laughs> planet right now? They, yes. they go they to a different planet. planet of <laughs> How are they breathing? Uh, 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 uh See, uh, there's uh, a simple explanation for that. There's a, giant birds. Okay. They almost die until they're saved by Dulcia, a Magic. local warrior. Okay, I, I have to point this out every time I see Dulcia. Uh, has anyone, ha, have either of you seen Law and Order SVU? No. Oh, <laughs> I'm actually sad. <laughs> the genuine no. confusion. That no. sucks. <laughs> there, I, I will explain it for everybody else why, why I paused it. There is an actress named Mariska Hargate. Uh, she is one of the main characters on Law and Order SVU. Uh, and I think either was just starting SVU at this time or mm. right after this started SVU. Uh, but she is, no, this is not her. This was supposed to be Mariska Hargate. And apparently Mariska Hargate filmed like 70, 80% of her scenes. But, but they were pregnant. <laughs> no, oh. Dulcia was pregnant. Yes. So th this current actress was pregnant. So Mariska Hargate was a backup choice. Uh, so they went with Mariska Hargate, but then it was Christmas while they were filming this. So Mariska Hargate was like, hey, like, I've already finished, like, the majority of my scene. Is it cool if I go home and spend Christmas with my family? And oh, they were that's like, right, that's right. Yes. And, and they, they were like, yeah, I guess, like, no worries. And she went home to spend Christmas with her family, and then they replaced her. What the fuck? Oh, wait. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. So, she, what? she talked about it in an interview on a Jimmy Kimmel, like, Tonight Show, like, thing. So it's like, yeah, like, confirmed, confirmed. 
Legit lore. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> the Hollywood deep lore. and by extension Power Rangers doesn't waste any time mm-hmm. with any of that. Um so the the original script of the Rangers movie it's supposed to be significantly longer, and there's a lot of differences. Yeah. Um, and a lot of it has to do with Dulcia, this character, mm. um, which I'm assuming and was also told by Rangers on interviews saying that they filmed it. It just never actually, yeah. you know, aired. But Saban is such a great guy, right? That would never uh, happen. Uh, that would never. Uh, uh, Who's sexy for this movie? Uh, True. She grants them temporary ninja. I'm powers. a frog. Rocky the ape, oh. Tommy the falcon, Kimberly the crane, Billy the wolf, Aisha the bear, and Adam. He's a frog. I'm a frog. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ivan Ooze <gasps> creates. This no, he doesn't play this. I forgot. Okay. He doesn't play. It. I, again, I will talk it up because I love John Young Bosch. And I love this movie mm. so much. So John Young Bosch, who plays Adam, which I will roll back to the scene. Um. Mm-hmm. Mm. So he looks like dad inside. He he is in this scene intentionally playing that up. So mm-hmm. everyone everyone else got all these awesome animals and Johnny Bosch in interviews has explained like they're going down the lines and like you know Billy's a wolf and you know Tommy's a falcon and you know Aisha's yeah. a bear and they get to him and he's a frog. And he's like can I just like be upset? Can I like ad lib being like upset that I'm a frog? And the mm-hmm. director at the time they were like you know what? Go for it. Have some fun. So the line is I'm a frog. And it's so deadpan funny, but then she goes, yes, a frog. And then she kisses him on the forehead, like, like the one you kiss to get a charming prince. So um, it's just a very endearing moment of Johnny yeah. Bosch actually being allowed to act and being a good actor. It's Aww. funny because the reason why he's a frog is because this is based on uh, another Super Sentai. Where ninja they all Sentai. Get, yeah, they all get ninja Kenta. animals. Yeah. And Western audiences don't quite understand that. A frog is also like a, a a martial art kung fu, you know, form mastery. Style? You know? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, style. That's the word. Naruto had not come out yet. Frogs were yeah, not cool. And so frogs were not cool yet at this time. And so mm-hmm, that's mm-hmm. why this is so funny. It's like, oh yeah, everyone has some cool animal. Me, I'm a frog. I'm a frog. I'm a frog. <laughs> and we will bring that up later when we get to Power Rangers Turbo and Adam gets upset again, which didn't make it into the movie, unfortunately. But uh, uh, let's just say let, let's just say uh, the same thing happened where everybody gets cool cars and he gets a, a soccer van. He gets a minivan. He gets a minivan. <laughs> a minivan? <Yeah>. Oh, no. <laughs> anyway. And Adam, he's a frog. I'm a frog. It's true. Meanwhile, a frog. Ivan Ooze creates this ooze that when parents touch it, get hypnotized and become his slaves. The Power Rangers then fight a dinosaur. Parents specifically? They almost die. Yeah. And then they yeah, fight okay. these alien warriors. And once again, they almost die. It was actually pretty great. Them, oh my gosh. And they manage to receive their brand new powers. AKA their old powers. How come their suits are still dinosaur themed? Uh, whatever. They We've go talked about this so many times. And we'll talk about when we get to the beginning of season three. And I'll find the picture yeah. at some mm. point. There's actually a, a fan artist created what their helmets could have looked like if they yeah. went with mm-hmm. the new ninja inspired stuff and they're mm-hmm. so good and i really wish we had them but anyway grove and ivan has summoned two giant robots to destroy the city so the rangers summon their new zords and fight him where they take him up to space Ooh, and go with that's it. cg yep. and then with the power of friendship that's CG, yeah. Zord do, you we Insert a- do you remember what we learned as long as we believe in ourselves anything is possible Kane, i'm gonna punch you that you got this line wrong <laughs> to those who great, who possess the great power, those who anything is possible. Power? No, possess the great. <laughs> Kane, I swear to God, I'm gonna pull out the movie I'm right now. You guess yourself, but you, you're getting it. You're getting it. <laughs> I'm gonna go get the movie. We're gonna watch it right. Streams cancel. Everyone, come to the Discord. We're gonna watch through Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie. Those who believe in the great power. I hate it here. <laughs> it's possible. to those who possess the great power. Anything is possible. <laughs> And then they all circle up and it's <laughs> Rangers! They play the scene in reverse. They do, they, they literally do. The scene in reverse. <laughs> anyway. Being seen here. Also, that one Van Halen song. You True. Know the one. So, yeah, sorry I had to rush sure. through it. True. But essentially, yeah. that was the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie. There's Kane just chose not a lot chaos going today. On. Even as a kid, I felt like that. 
it was technically a success, grossing $66 million on a $15 million budget. Oh, yeah. But critics and fans kind of weren't impressed overall. I liked that it. Honestly, That's it's wrong. Okay <laughs> yeah, I had fun I with that. That's very wrong, actually. Hey, Raiders, <laughs> welcome in. We're watching Power Rangers so related that, stuff. Let's Come hang out. on with season three. Okay, before we get into season three, let me find the cursed MMBR Helmets? movie. Yeah. Yes. That would be so, our and movie. also the fan arts. I actually want to see what the fan arts look like. Yes. I'll so find the thing mm -hmm. about this movie, which is going to be very apparent with the way that um, Roy is bringing it up. So the producers of this movie did not know what Power Rangers was about. What the fuck is that? Wait. So the helmets were supposed to be like this, and I'm not <laughs> even kidding you. With this no visor. Real, this was yeah. the original concept. They're, they they've gone on to say like in interviews, and there's like even like things in scripts that like. This is the way that the helmets were supposed to be because they were sure that the actor star power, if you will, would allow <laughs> them to make the movie sell. But of course, driven by people that don't know the source material, um, that's what this was supposed to look like. Until everyone else that was from Power Rangers that was like, no, 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 hold on. Don't do this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay, thank God. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and then... The someone redesigned what the helmets could have looked like, and this is what they came up with. Because Adam's a frog, Rocky's an ape, oh. Aisha's a bear, Billy's a wolf, Tommy's the falcon, and uh, Kimberly was the crane. And yes. these are so close enough to the original helmets that they just look so good. It could have been they a actually simple enough do. Yeah. yeah. Those are really good. Really, really Flashbang! Good. I like them a lot. That oh, hurts no. my eyes. Oh, my God. That actually hurts <laughs> my eyes. Oh, please, please. No, another really quick thing. The suits, those suits are very yeah. heavy. Um, Jason David Frank, uh, the White Ranger, uh, Tommy, mm -hmm. uh, was constantly told by directors and everyone else, like, hey, stop messing around in the suit. But he, he was such a prankster on set. He was just doing karate moves and jumping around that he eventually, like, ripped the bottom half of the suit. And they what? had to patch it up multiple times to the point where they just oh couldn't my... do it anymore. So in some sequences of the movie, you can see that there's, like, tiny tears at the crotch oh. area. <laughs> yeah. Why would anyone look at the crotch how did, area? How did people notice question. that? Uh, people no, notice anything. It? That, but that's the thing. You couldn't notice it until, like, the stories kind of came out. Like, yeah. hey, he just, he wouldn't stop moving. Yeah. Um, there was a Blu-ray copy of the movie that, like, was shown in theaters very briefly. I didn't see it myself, but I was told that it's it's more visible there. Also, the Megazord looks awful in oh, HD. Yes, it does. Yes, mm. it does. It's so bad. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, goodness. Because it was 90s animation. <laughs> 90s CG, yeah, they yeah, yeah. yeah. They tried their best. Yeah. They tried their best. Okay. All right. Now we're done with the movie. Yes. The Ninja Quest. An One of the greatest power. openers. There's a reason I to say a power I'm talking season. about the movie up until mm. now because the movie is not canon. However, they clearly liked a lot of aspects from the movie and wanted things. to integrate them into the show. So the ninja quest is essentially we have <laughs> yeah. the mind. I love this meme so much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because these are just the ninja suits from the movie. Oh my god. Yeah. They're not. <laughs> They're not. They look like they went to a Joanne's and just kind of like, all right, this is yeah. your color. Put this on your head. This is your color. Oh my god. It looks like they just got the like cloth and for somehow like just stick it together like okay there you go that's your costume these yeah, are definitely no, like we're, we're downgraded versions of like the movie mm. ones because they don't have like the giant metal in the center and everything like that mm. but yeah yeah the yeah. morphin power rangers movie at home we start off with zed and rita getting an unexpected visitor oh man this bony this? swordsman named rito rito revolto who actually turns out to be rita's brother sure why not he's a really silly and likable guy kind of dumb but has good or in this case, bad intentions. True. <laughs> As a late wedding Aww. gift, he wants to destroy the Power Rangers. Well, it's crazy. eggs on the moon that'll come into play Imagine later. That. Meanwhile, back on Earth, Bulk and Skull have a big announcement. Yeah. They are joining the Junior Police Academy. Yep, the next evolution <laughs> of Bulk and Skull. They do this because they overhear girls talking about how they love a guy in uniform. Yeah, so become a it's cop. Not oh the my best God. To join, but hey, yep. they commit to it and everyone is, well, shocked. Meanwhile, Rito and a bunch of past monsters. Huh. What? No, I just think it's funny now that he's kind of just said that. Th those two girls 
altered the course of Power Ranger history forever. They did. In what, <laughs> in what sense? They, Tell us the lore. The, the sense that they were like, oh, isn't a man in uniform hot? And then Bulk and Skull became cops. And they're became the... cops, which was kind of integral to them later on down the line. <laughs> yeah, because in space. Becoming a good guy? They, they are the main say... characters kind of Power of. Rangers, okay? That's all you need to know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> I've just never real. Anyway, continue. Well, anyway, Sorry. Rangers ambush the Rangers, where they morph and summon their Zords. Oh, I love this. Where things are not going very well. Oh, we didn't well. get to actually see it. Gosh. Like, at all. Rito and the monsters oh, overwhelm the Rangers, forcing them to flee their Zords oh. as Rito completely destroys them. Yeah. <gasps> the Thunder Zords are no more. <gasps> Oh my oh Unlike no. the dinosaurs that are just sent into the center of the oh God, earth, actually, you actually no. see the Thunder Zords fall apart and crumble. It's kind of sad to see, honestly. Not yeah. only are the Zords completely destroyed, but the overload of power destroyed the command sensor. And also, I'm sad we don't get to see it, and I don't want to pull it up because it might get uh, demonetized. But in that mm. in that scene where like the Zords are like falling apart, Zords like fall apart mm. and crumble, you can kind of see. see Not only them. The this part where Kimberly's like running up, she screams mm. like viscerally. So Kimberly Amy Joe, the actress, is one of the only other like trained actresses on the show or actors rather on the show mm -hmm. and acted her mind off in this scene. Yeah, it this was, was heartbreaking to watch. It was visceral because, hey, we love the Zords. They're, they're really important. They've been with us for a long time and... They just got destroyed and our powers just got broken, kind of, you know, and, and obviously got got. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, to a bunch <laughs> of kids who are like, you know, that hate the idea of change, you know, seeing these zords that you just spent, what, a year, two years, more or less, yeah. depending on rerun, yeah. mm. it just destroyed everything gone. That's wild. Mm. Yeah. And bought toys as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. My toys don't mean anything anymore. Yeah. <laughs> turn it to Toys R Us, Mom. I don't want it. Yeah. <laughs> or broken. Broken. Or more importantly, <laughs> more importantly, take me to Toys R Us so we can buy the new toys. Yeah. <laughs> Thunders always fall apart and crumble. It's kind of sad to see, it's, honestly. It's messed up, dude. The, the White Tiger's head just falls off. It's like really like, oh, my God, dude. Oh, yeah, the Zords completely uh. destroyed, but the overload of power destroyed the command sense. Damn, look at Billy's arms, man. He just, he just guns out here. <laughs> he just, like, you can tell, too. Like, look at it. Look at, look at Billy. Damn. Comparatively Damn. to Jason David Frank and to Steve Cardenas. Like, you, it's noticeable. I'm just saying. Okay, okay. I'm, just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He's, oh he's schwole. God. Season three, they let him wear uh, tank tops. I feel like, I feel like Roy also, wouldn't, like. I like, like, you know, skip a beat with having to bite that arm. Would you bite it? Hmm. Respectfully. I see. Mm. Respectfully. Respectfully. Yeah. There you Destroyed go. The There's Rangers the answer. Powers yeah. entirely. With no other choice, Zordon tells them of a place where they can hopefully find new power. Wow. To find a man named Ninjor, who created wow. the power coins in the Ninjor. first place. And Ninja, wow, help. definitely Meanwhile, not on the nose. Skull are no, no, that's crazy. Mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. mean, to be fair, his like Super Sentai counterpart, his name is Ninja Man, so it's not much oh my better. Oh God, please. So. Make it <laughs> <laughs> oh no. What do you got, Please like make the name sound Japanese, <laughs> like not actually actually just say Ninja. N N Ninja Man. <laughs> Yeah, Ken Sun. Uh, uh, you know, yeah. okay, yeah, that works out. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. We'll take what we can get. I'll take what I can get. In the True. first episode are finally hatching, releasing hey. the Tengu warriors from the movie. They get Those faces to the look to attack weird. The These they got fuzzy face. They got... Uh, watch the Tengu! Watch the Tengu! Watch the Tengu! Tengu! <laughs> <laughs> anyway. These things are clearly more powerful. Wait, how many Power Ranger series are there? Come to the right place. Listen, <laughs> how many how many seasons are there? Is it like twenty six? Because there's thirty years of it, but we didn't get a season Alexa, every year. How many seasons of Power Rangers are there? Did you just ask Alexa? Archibald.com. As of twenty twenty one, Power Rangers consists of twenty eight television seasons. Twenty twenty one different. Don't don't listen, <laughs> Alexa. Stop. Yeah, I was don't gonna listen. say that's like <laughs> don't, that's don't, definitely that's, not right. That's wrong. <laughs> 
Anyway, okay, well, it's it's like it's like 26 because like we got a couple like duplicate seasons where like it was like super and I think most of us consider them like to be like the to same be the same series. Yeah, um, it's so. weird. Uh, we've had like 30 plus years um, by this point. Yeah, but mm. as far as how many teams of Power Rangers, it's like 25. Yeah, something like that. it's something like that. Anyway, mm -hmm. well, then the putties, the Rangers can barely put up a fight against them forcing them to retreat into got a no cave, powers. where the rangers continue on their journey until eventually stumbling across Ninjor. Hey! He is also a silly goose who doesn't take much seriously. Okay, he says there's no Get powers here for them. Um, Zeus, if you were to look at this character, what do you imagine their voice being like? Some Something... <sighs> I don't know why, but like the first thing that came into my mind is a seiyu, is, a, is like a Japanese voice actor instead of like an American voice actor. Oh, would you imagine them more like, uh, you know, kind of masculine, very smooth or anything like that? No, it's like not that? Kite Hasegawa, okay? I, <laughs> I was thinking like they'd sound either like, like maybe like Kane, maybe. That's what I, I would see. think. Okay. Mm. Would you believe me if I told you they sounded like Marvin the Martian from Looney Tunes? No. No. Wow. No. That's right. interesting. That's interesting that you don't... You you wouldn't assume that voice for Dinjor. Anyway. So anyway. Is it but Tommy takes a stand and says <clears throat> even without their powers, they're still the Power Rangers and will fight no matter what. This Very interesting to me that both... Uh, well, not both. I was going to say both, but there's three. Two of the three ninja seasons both have this stance of... You know, we may not be rangers, but we still have power. <laughs> power of air. Power of water. Uh, you guys literally power lost. <laughs> you guys literally lost a while ago. I don't know. Because of thunder. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry. Ninja's oh, heart, who gosh. changes his mind and says that he yeah. will. Yeah. Uh, ju just so there's no uh, goofing, gaffing. Uh, Ninja's voice is very much like, oh, ranger. <laughs> no, it, it's okay. Hold no. on. Let me let me no. try and. No. <laughs> Oh, Tell you've me made me a hopping man! Oh, I'm, no. trying to, oh, I'm trying no. to remember because, Please, you know, he's no. very... Tommy, would you like to do this? Oh, no. <laughs> Let me show you the power you of the ninja! Power <laughs> <laughs> the power of ninja! Because he does say My it like that. Is ninja! <laughs> that is how he speaks. We're not, not exaggerating. I'm sorry, but that... that but but, but yeah. it makes it sound like rather than him actually being like this all powerful dude that can give them new powers, it makes it sound like they're just a, an anime fan that watched whoa, Super that's, Sentai like two seasons that's after. That's crazy. That's. Whoa, that's. <laughs> anyway. We're at the whoa. Rangers' new powers. <laughs> a ceremony takes place bestowing upon them the new powers of the ninja. Well, that's crazy. It's the same thing as the movie, complete with ninja suits and new animal spirits. With these new ninja powers, the rangers are now able to whoop the Tangu and even get some cool new abilities like teleportation and whatnot. It's so, I actually Just love those like the most. The movie, the they rangers they were able walked to into their so oh. um, Naruto could run. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> 100%. I want to I put out something small that Kane and I realized on our first watch through. Um, mm -hmm. And this is this is like, like so movie, small. This is such a fan thing to notice, by the way, and no one else would ever <laughs> notice this. Have never seen a, a single other Power Rangers fan point this out. So mm -hmm. remember how when the Thunder Zords literally just got destroyed? Remember how they mm -hmm. talked about that the Rangers' powers were destroyed? Mm -hmm. We have later confirmation, which you will eventually find out, that they they were only air quotes destroyed because the Morphers were so badly damaged. So the, like they're cracked. We've seen them later on, yep. just cracked, destroyed, and told that if you were to ever morph with these damaged morphers, it would hurt you. Yeah, it would like actually like oh. it might end your life. But the funny okay. thing is, the Rangers never get new morphers, except it's always the same, except for here. Oh. So they they they're never given these physically. They only ever have the coins the physically. Coins. So mm -hmm. Kane and I deduce that as a the morphers that they have from the Thunder Zords are the only actual physical morphers they ever got. Because a lot of a lot of us as like fans were always like because of oh, things that happen later. Morphers, you know? Yeah. Mm. We just assume they have morphers. But But they don't. We never in any of the footage that we see in season three, except for the morphing sequence, they never have morphers. Yep. 
Mm -hmm. So they just never got their broken morphers replaced. They're only able to morph because of the ninja coins. Oh. Just, just a very small thing that we it's noticed. Such a fan thing yeah. for us to notice. <laughs> and, like I don't expect anyone else. Like you could have gone your whole life and never known that, and you would have been fine. But <laughs> we noticed this on our watch through, and I, my mind was blown. I've never once thought about that. Yeah, true. The what's, more you know. Oh, what's the Cocker <laughs> Ranger morpher like? Doran Changer. Also, someone in my chat, I think we like said something. Uh, 30 television seasons of 22 different theme series, three theatrical films. So Power yes. Rangers. that that sounds right. But yeah, it's 30 years is the important thing to know. 30 years is the important thing. Yeah. That was the, the mm. anniversary uh, landmark of Cosmic Fury, the last season. Yep. Mm -mm. Or most recent season. Yeah. Okay. Also, <laughs> also just because somebody asked, these are the Doron changers from uh, Ninja Sentai Kaku Ninja Kenzon. Um, no. They they had these coins that they would slot into these middle sections, uh, and these are technically the morphers for the Alien they Rangers. They have been using, but they didn't. They they did not, but they kept the coins because the coins yes. are canonical to them. But the morphers are not, and I don't really get why. I feel like they could have very easily have put these over. Like, it was a toy sale, but they didn't capitalize on it. It feels okay. weird that they didn't, honestly. I don't. Uh, it's morphin' time. The Rangers were it's able morphin' to time. I'll stick it for the raid. Oh, hey! Stick it for the raid! Hey, stick it for the raid! It's just the dinosaur helmets. <gasps> he brought them up! I forgot! I, oh, I feel like I forgot this every time that he's brought these up. <laughs> <laughs> it's so easy to forget that he does. Yeah. Uh, this, this is what they should have been. 100%. There's, there's no reason they could have just remolded the, the yeah. suits or the helmets mm. <sighs> they look so good man i really wish we did get these line created by jordan gibson it's concept art for what the ninjetti helmets could have been they still resemble the mighty morphin helmets just altered ever so slightly to yep. match the new animal spirits that looks so good. like having the tusks removed from the mastodon to be a frog or this big ape nose to replace the tyrannosaurus mm -hmm. like i'm yeah. not asking for much but if the rangers have new animal powers why not actually commit to that? Anyway, the Rangers toy sales. get new Ninja Zords just like in the movie. They destroy the monster, send Rito back to the past. I, get new I, Ninja Zords I really just like, like Kakure Daishogun. I have a lot of, I have a lot of, I have a lot of issues with it. Mm. But so this is the the Ninja Mega Falcon Zord is the American okay. uh, <laughs> name for it, uh, mm. which is just the Ninja Mega Zord. Uh, with the Falcon Zord on its back. Attached to it. Yeah. So um, it gets but, the name Ninja Mega... F F Ninja Falcon Zord. Mega is it, Ninja Falcon Zord. Was it the yeah. Mega Ninja Falcon Zord or is it Ninja oh, Mega wait. Falcon Zord? I thought it was Ninja Mega because I always remember it sounding Ninja. weird. Yeah, see? Oh, goodness, <laughs> Any, I don't remember anymore. Anyway, <laughs> it, do, it doesn't matter. This it is, doesn't matter. This is the same one from the movie. So the toy sales they mm -hmm. were able to push over worked. And mm -hmm. oddly enough, this is actually the second Mecha from uh kaku danger they actually went out of mm. order and used this one first yeah okay it's the ninja falcon megazord okay thank you mm. monster send rito back to the palace and with these new ninja powers the rangers have a new lease on life and hey to yay wrap up, the rangers even go to balkan skulls police <gasps> academy wow. graduation where they are now official junior police officers wait after everything that it's happened nice to see the they immediately graduated happy. While it happened, they were in the school. They were in the academy. Yeah, yep. and they graduated so fast. Damn. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Damn. They they passed with flying colors. <laughs> yeah. What's the, what's the problem? Good for them. Is good, all, yay! Good, good for them. them. Yay! Let's go. Yay! Let's go. Yay! Yay! Let's go. Pretty good. To be honest. Well, they bring up the white pink swords thing. Yes, well. Like it more than the movie, mainly because there's no skydiving or rollerblading. Okay. First of all. <sighs> First Let the all. teenagers be Come teenagers. on and That's take right. a free ride. <laughs> That's Come right. on. And... Anyway. <laughs> I think I think I think Cotter's forgetting that they're technically just high schoolers. The yeah. actors are basically yeah. like, you know, playing as high schoolers. Let them live their life of being Let high schoolers. Live. Let them be themselves. <laughs> Let them live a little. Let them yeah. have um, dudes. I yeah. I really have to use the bathroom. Are you guys okay if we take like a real quick bathroom break? Yeah, sure, cool. sure. Please right. feel free to. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the bathroom real quick. You guys keep listening to them and enjoy this Power Rangers background while I look uh judgingly I guess down at Zeus since she's the closest one to me. Okay. What? Huh? Uh, Roy's judging you. 
Why? 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 What, what did I, I do? Don't, I, don't, I don't know. You just happened to be the closest one. What so did I do? I you, didn't I, do nothing. You didn't do anything. I was just here. Yeah. Hmm. No, you're being great. You're doing. You're doing great. So are I'm you, doing Kiel? It you're doing I, I'm just being quiet, but I'm like absorbing the information because you guys have like talked about it, and I'm like, mm. I remember like loving Power Rangers when I was a kid, and like you're, mm, you're like mm. reigniting that like like that flame. You know yes. what I mean? Let's go. Yes. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Honestly, like I would totally um. If I were to start with one that you think of, like, I don't know, like, I would say something that's, like, more okay. mature-esque. I got you. Like. I got you. Okay, so, obviously, Power Rangers isn't for everyone. And if you don't mm. like it, for anyone in chat, that's completely fine. I understand. We're talking mm -hmm. about a show about people in spandex fighting rubber monsters. You know, I get it. I <laughs> yep, understand. Uh -huh. However, Power Rangers, for a lot of people, is, like... Uh, Star Wars, you know, there's a lot of history, there's a lot of legacy, and there's like little things like, oh, this is this planet, and these are these powers, and whatever it may be, right? Mm -hmm. If you are a fan that fell off of Power Rangers for it being too kitty or too cheesy or anything like that, I highly recommend you check out Power Rangers RPM. Power Rangers RPM came out around 2009, 2010, I want to say, um, mm -hmm. and is a very mature take on the franchise because it was supposed to be the last season of Power Rangers. Um, so at the time, Power Rangers was owned by Disney and Disney didn't want it anymore. So they were trying to cancel it like and just get rid of it. And so but it was but it was good. It was successful. The, the problem <laughs> right? was is that the the director was given a whole bunch of money and was told, listen, if you're if this is the last season of Power Rangers, do whatever you want. And unfortunately for Disney, he really did do whatever he wanted. He went over a budget and he created an incredible story. So much so that they didn't just end it. They had to fire them and rehire someone else. Um, Damn, that's crazy. Just to take over. That's crazy. Um, but essentially, the reason why I say that is because it's a lot of tongue-in-cheek jokes. Um, the, the original Japanese Super Sentai of this season is called Injin Sentai Gonja. Uh, and it's a series about the Injin Rangers being, fighting for um, a clean planet and fighting against pl uh, pollution, right? And their, their, their zords, their cars, are sentient beings from a whole other planet, like Lightning McQueen-looking yeah. things with anime googly eyes, yeah. right? <laughs> um, and I, that is an exact quote, anime googly eyes. I need yeah. you to remember that. So mm. when adapted into English, they turned it into Terminator. Um, <laughs> not, <laughs> not kidding. I'm not kidding yep. you at all. Um, so essentially, there is one single dome city of humanity left on the planet. Corn. And the only team that can stop them is Power Rangers RPM! Get in gear! So that, that's how the theme song starts. Sorry. Anyway. Mm. Okay. Um, the, the creator of the powers, right, is basically saying, these are your powers. I will answer whatever questions you may have. Oh, this episode. And, some, and so they bring up a lot of questions that people usually have about Power Rangers. Like, why is it spandex? The creator, the professor, it is not spandex. It is a nanomachine bio something something. <laughs> it gets cut off, right? But the, the thing is, there is an explanation there. We just don't hear it. Yeah. And the other question, um, what do you mean? What explosions? You mean the ones that happened behind me? Can that, like, happen to me in the kitchen? <laughs> it's so funny, too, because the explosions didn't really start happening until, like, in space, Lost Galaxy it, it, yeah, and on. It was, it's a in space era thing that they kind of picked up from uh, yeah. Super Sentai. Mm -hmm. Sort of, kind of. Yeah. Um, but the last thing is, like, so remember how I just said that they have anime googly eyes? They referenced that. Um, it's like, so what do you mean, what eyes? I mean, on the front of our Zords? You... They are not eyes. They are bio recognition um, for your A two D display. I remember that oh. specifically. Ooh. That in order for you to I see kill outside the front I of your sword, him. you need Wah. some sort of uh, windshield, quote unquote. Yeah. Um, and so there's little explanations here and there throughout the season, giving it the the more mature take on Power Rangers. So if anyone fell off of Power Rangers... Oh my god, they're like, asking my questions. <laughs> Who's asking your questions? <laughs> they're asking my questions. I'm like, what are the eyes for? What oh. are these things for? What are they for? There you go. For? Exactly. <laughs> like, <laughs> if you fell off of Power Rangers and you want to try get 
to get back in and, and feel that spark, that energy. I highly recommend Power Rangers RPM. Good pick. But mm -hmm. if you are a fan that likes the campy ridiculousness of Power Rangers, like, um, you know, that that constant gift that gets shared around that the Power Rangers just dancing and having fun. I'm personally not a fan of that. I don't like that. That's not my Power Rangers. However, however, not if that is Power your Rangers. thing, <laughs> if that is your thing, Power Rangers Ninja Storm is good. more up your alley where there's a lot of silly. There's a good amount of balance of uh, fighting, danger, and all of that. Great, fantastic writing, yeah. but there's a lot of campy and cheesy, and it's not my thing personally, but I know a lot of people like that. And if you want a combination of both of those, which also doesn't super rely on previous uh, seasons, uh, I think Time Force is a good in-between of those. Yes, 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 yes. So, yeah. Mm -mm. Uh, anyway, hey, I'm back. Uh, let, us, uh, back. let us continue. Welcome back. Uh, nice. Also, I can't also, wait. Uh, I saw someone in my chat say, oh, Dino me. Thunder still had the best opening song, IMO. Did you know? Uh, Roy, that singing, Dino sorry. Thunder, <clears throat> I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, is one of the only openings to not feature the word go. Really? There's a light in the distance. I see it coming closer with the force of ages. Centuries, Centuries gone, gone by! by. <laughs> Protectors <laughs> of the right! Defenders sworn to fight! fight. Ba -da 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 uh, sorry, am uh, sorry, guys. Oh, you know what? We'll get there. We'll get there when yeah. Connor gets there. Okay. 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 <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> Dino Rangers okay. roar! Power Rangers go! Okay, Kane. Sorry. Be strong. Be strong with me. It. I need you. Uh, no, I need I you. I need you to I be. Just... We have to be strong, Kane. We have to be strong. Okay. Stay before these evil forces. Power Rangers, Dino Thunder, victory is ours forevermore. Forever. Oh my god, I love how, I love how passionate both Sorry. of you are. Sorry. We have to remember, so Kane, we have to remember not everyone's like us, okay? Yeah. Official Power Morphicon's yeah. not here. You know, they can't back us up. <laughs> We have to remember where we <laughs> <laughs> they they are they were in chat. Yeah, Wait, they were they were here they were really? earlier. Yeah. yeah. Am I getting the guest lady? No, 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 they were here. No, they were talking. Actually true. We, were, we were actually like Yeah. It's like it's the Power Rangers convention were. that happens, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so cute. I love yeah. that. Is Please play the song. You don't have to show it, not spoil it, just in the background. No, the problem is I would I would probably get copyright Copyrights. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't yeah. I don't wanna I don't wanna get hit with it. Because I did that for I did that for my karaoke stream, which is fun, you know? Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's continue. Now that we have new shiny ninja powers, let's get into the sh one of the shortest seasons of Power Rangers ever, but also one of the best. <laughs> this also marks and definitely the best of MMPR. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, where the Rangers shout out their dinosaur names when they morph. Now, instead saying, White Ranger Power, etc. Ninjor is also a fun little yeah. addition to the team. Yeah. He's able to actually grow himself oh, to assist the left. Rangers during Let's Megazord go. fights, since Tommy Zord is now a part of the main teams. Mm. I wish they kind of just committed to using the ninja suits. I get why they couldn't abandon the Mighty Morphin suits altogether, True. but it's just kind of silly going from ninja mode to ranger mode. Like, <laughs> it, I, I would argue that's really cool, but I again, like it. But a behind the scenes thing that I really like about the ninja suits is they did it as a way to take the the actors off like st stage off set so they could have uh, stunt actors come in and do yeah. more professional looking stunts. Which that's why they had like the full on mask. Yep. In comparison to the ninja movie suits. Yep. Mm -mm. Exactly. Like why even do this ninja stuff in the first place? Just morph into Power Rangers. Listen. Ninja and the Zords come from Ninja Sentai <laughs> Kaku Ranger. So that's a total of three Sentai so far that's been adapted yeah, for Mighty Morphin. Kenton. Let's keep trucking along. All right, first of all, Kaku Ranger is amazing. Don't say it like that, okay, homie? <laughs> Kaku, Kaku Ranger, Ninja Ninja. Brush with destiny. Kimberly's mom is dating this French painter and is moving to France. Kimberly obviously doesn't want to move away from her friends to give up being a ranger. This anxiety causes her nightmares that Zed and Rita take advantage of, turning her nightmare oh. monster. Ninja Sentai Kaku Ranger is so incredibly seeped in Japanese mythology that every single monster from it is something from Japanese folklore. 
So that is actually so nice. It is such a fun season, and it feels like a really nice history lesson because the narrator is actually a uh, Rakugo uh, host, which is an ancient form of um, uh, stage play uh, that they would do in Japan, where they would tell a story with a like a almost like a, a punchline at the end of it, but it'd be a really long-winded story then punchline. So mm. every single episode had like a story to go with this monster, and sometimes the monsters. It didn't really make sense as to why they got translated over, but you know, it's still cool to see, you know, <laughs> still cool to see. The costumes yeah. are good to see. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, if you want to learn more about Japanese mythology, Ninja Sentai Kakurinja is uh, mm -hmm. really good, and you don't need to see other seasons. And it is where the gif today is Friday right. in wait, California. Wait, 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 that's where that's from. Yeah, here, I'll play that's it. Ninja yeah. Sentai Kakurinja. I'll play it. <gasps> I love that. Yeah, see, oh my God, that's, that's what I mean. I that. People don't know. People don't know they're Tyson. using. Yeah. <laughs> so today that's so awesome. is. <laughs> so this is. Like made my. That made me smile. <laughs> All right, here you go. <laughs> Shoot. Huh? So yeah, that's uh, Ninja Sentai Kaku Ranger. Yeah. Oh my God. Friday in California. Huh? It is indeed Friday. <laughs> it's it's go. so funny because a lot of people have been consuming Super Sentai and not knowing it. Yeah, it makes <laughs> it makes me really happy. Like when we tell people I that, and they're you. like, "Hold on, a second. wait a minute." What Did do you, you see the that? Twitter account that does it like every yes, Friday? Yes, I retweet it every Friday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cute. I love that. <laughs> okay, We're into a reality. There's a nice moment with Zordon where he tells Kimberly not to give in to her fear, and Kimberly says that she's not afraid of the monster. And Zordon says that he's fully aware. And what he was actually referring to was Kimberly's fear of moving away, saying that her mom would never do anything to intentionally hurt her. This gives Kimberly the courage to fight the monster, I love save that her scene, friend, because it's a real explosion. And he offers to let Kimberly live with them until the end of the school year. Passing the lantern, Adam Aww. gets a lantern from his family. Okay, this episode pisses me off so much <laughs> because it's. Why? All right. Do you remember the Wild West episodes? Yes. Yes. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. So Yeehaw. Well, that's that's one reason. The other reason is because um, Power Rangers at this time frame could not differentiate Asian. Yeah. So. Uh, oh my god. A Adam oh. Park. Oh no. Adam no. Park. It's, it's the uh, the jelly donut syndrome. Yeah. So Adam Park oh, no. is Korean, and there are several other points in the episode where they're trying to make it seem like. He might also be Chinese and might also be Japanese. And it's like, no, he's Korean. And we have confirmation that he's Korean because his family is from Korean. From so, Korea. uh -huh. yeah. The Lantern apparently being a tradition yeah. passed down from generation to generation. And like, <laughs> the Lantern is very like traditional Chinese Lantern. So, yeah. <laughs> it's a valuable life lesson. So, Zed and Rita turn it into a monster. Dang. Before that. Okay, so there you go. To Japanese Garden. With all the oh, lanterns. It's a, it's a, chi it's a Chinese, it's a Chinese lantern, lantern going to the Japanese garden? In the Japanese yeah. gardens yeah. that the, the Korean ranger was holding. And I'm just like, yep. he's Korean. Like, you guys wrote him <laughs> as Korean. His Mr. name's Mr. Adam Lord. Park. His family's from Korea. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <sighs> oh, no. They send down Rito to capture all the lanterns. No. Where Bulk and Skull come across him, and despite being terrified, oh, yeah. managed to sneakily steal away at least one of the lanterns. Oh, they're, I love, I love the how they're the actually wearing, like, police yeah. outfits. Yeah. They're not, like, they're usual. They're actually progressing them. So, yes. Yes. Oh, so glad. So much yes, Zeus. Characters. Yes, Zeus. You're getting yeah. it. Yep. And it's, <laughs> it's the best part because their bully arc is over. You'll never yeah, see them being, yeah. like, being, like, jerks or, like, crazy evil or crazy bullies I again. actually do like that because like in the beginning right they were being bullies to the entire team yep. and yep. then later on like I, like slowly they, they're liking the rangers and they yep. want to become like the rangers yes! and so they want to become like the rangers yes! in, a, in a subtle way yep. they kind of become like they got into the police force academy and now it. they're actually trying to help I out other people that is so nice things. me too I, she's <laughs> getting it Kane. she's, she's getting, getting it, it. the she's indoctrination's it. working <laughs> Uh, would you like some fruit punch, Zeus? Ah, uh, yes, I, I, I would. Great, I would like great, some. great. Thank great. you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Turns into a food fight immediately. Oh my God. <laughs> food fight! 
We got her! We got her! <laughs> we fucking got her, guys. We fucking got her. Oh my god. I actually listen. I, I actually do like having to like listen to like what other people are passionate about because it just makes me so happy listening to them. Hey. Like, about it. Let's I actually go. love it too. Yeah. All That's also the reason why happy. I started I started One Piece. Because a friend of mine was oh, so damn. so very passionate <laughs> about it. <laughs> I got through a lot of episodes and fair. through the manga because of them. Okay, you know what? Fair, 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 fair. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to destroy a piece of his family's history, but with no other choice, they destroy it in order to save the city. Adam learned what the lantern's true purpose was, though, and realizes he doesn't need it to have courage and faith in himself. However, Bulk and Skull have a surprise for Adam. Yeah! The lantern they managed to save was Adam's family lantern. Look at that. That's so cool. Oh, mm -hmm. This stop. is such a better there use you, of oh. Bulk and Skull. Yup. Now they're, uh, like, they're going to actually make me like, like them more because of this. So that's the great thing Just is wait. Bulk and Skull get great like character moments there. And Adam has his like first real character development episode. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Oh my uh, gosh. Hey, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Let's go. <laughs> Only 160 more subs until I try and find a way to communicate let's with Iron Mouse go. and ask her to make a tier list of Power Rangers with K. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, he trades places with his science teacher for some school program, where a teacher goes to a class for a student, and a student teaches a class for a day. That sounds absolutely terrible. It's bad. Rocky's teaching a science class and doesn't know too much about science. I feel like that's something you would give him, to seniors rather than I don't know what year they are. What? Did you just get vaporized? Okay. He got <laughs> yeah. He got oh, turned into a monster. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Just just yeah. wait until the Rangers get turned into footballs. Huh? Don't worry about it. Into a giant anyway. monster and captures all the Rangers up or get turned into I was going to say chemicals. To center to use that brain of his to save the day. Yeah, cuz the Rangers Through got turned science. into chemicals. <laughs> what the it's fuck? Who needs to save the day with science <laughs> and not Billy. Hopefully learning something about the difficulties of being a teacher or something. Something. For something long. It's another rock football episode, with his uncle being a famous football player and coming to Angel Fo Grove. Football! Meanwhile, one of Rocky's friends. <laughs> this show came out of the 90s, right? Yeah. Started in 1993. This season is in 1995. Yes, yes, science yes. and might be getting kicked off the team. It's then Rocky who decides to help tutor his friend and not Billy, which is a really nice play off the last episode. Yeah. So what do you think happens next, huh? Zed and Rita create a football monster that I like turns the fact that, like, footballs. the Red Ranger, who's <laughs> very sporty, use... right? Isn't yeah. just sporty. Yeah. They're actually making him, like, he, he, he's actually very, very smart, maybe. Whoa, Who that's knows? crazy. They're actually doing, like, subverting that's expectations in season three. Trait from Whoa! Them. That's so crazy. You are Whoa! picking up now why season three of Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Yep. Is really much better. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because by this point, they know their characters. No one has left the show yet to ruin, like, the flow of things. Yep. Um, and they have, like, you know, actual stunt teams to do the thing. And so combination of all of that together, it just, it's a better season altogether. It produces an actual good show. Who would have thought? <laughs> Bye, Kyo. Have a good Bye, night. Kyo. Bye, Kyo. Thanks for Thanks hanging so out with much. us. I, I appreciate it. I've been quiet, you. but I was just like listening. Hey, I appreciate it. So you're much. totally good. And if you want to learn more or if you want to hang out any other time, like mm -hmm. feel free to pop in mm -hmm. or talk to any of us about Power Rangers because yes, of course. Kane and I will yeah, talk to you all about it. I, I still don't know this. I'm not an encyclopedia <laughs> like these two. <laughs> Kane, give, give, me, give me the sauce later. Ooh, mm -hmm. the sauce. Bye bye. Sauce. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Okay. So that just was, you know, the three of us. Really the just the, sorry. the three what? of us. <laughs> anyway. Science to save the day. I mean, damn, I'm glad they're finally giving Rocky some kind of character. True. Even why are you laughing? Are you don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Why are you laughing? Why, why are you laughing? <laughs> Did we just forget about the wheeze and the laugh thing? No. What no. <laughs> wow. So that what? was Kyo. He really is the greatest insert. Okay, well, Kane. I wouldn't go Kane, that far. Kane, I was, I was just gonna let it go. I was just gonna let it go. <laughs> well, Zeus didn't. Okay. Zeus didn't. And Zeus, <laughs> Zeus, you gotta let it go. You just gotta let it go. You just gotta let it go. Trust me. Trust me. You just gotta let it go. You just gotta. You just gotta let it go. Nope. You just gotta let it go. I'm so confused. I'm so confused.
I ever tell you guys about that time I got baked into a pizza? I'm so lost. Yeah. I'm so lost. Owl down, owl down, Kane. Owl down, owl down. I would like to bring up one thing about the previous episode that I really liked oh um, that they didn't that Connor okay. didn't touch on. Um, mm -hmm. Something really cool because it was the '90s and they were trying to be very uh, inclusive to uh, either disabilities or learning disabilities or different life situations. Like, hey, Kimberly's parents are divorced and then want to move away. Uh, Rocky's friend here actually has dyslexia, and they have like an infomercial type thing in the episode that oh. explains what dyslexia is and how it affects people, and that Wait, kids should be nice to each other so friends good. with dyslexia. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. It, this this is like when when the corny side of Power Rangers is I think at its peak because yes. I feel I feel good about it. I'm like, oh wow, whoa! I didn't know about like as a kid I I didn't know about that. I was like, whoa, all right, cool. That's Life lessons. So nice. What the heck? Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. An after school yeah. special. Thank you. That's that's probably the phrase that I was looking for. I guess this is like this is like one of the reasons why I sometimes like like kid shows like I'm I I'll say it that like I I really wholeheartedly like My Little Pony because of the amount of my lessons that they give like they give yep. to to the kids and to everybody watching because they're actually really good lessons. Be loyal to your friends. Be honest to to not lie. Be kind to a lot of people because kindness is is such a rarity. <laughs> true, true. It's true. Ha. Rarity. Yeah, they're, they're ha. good lessons. Ha. Oh, I get it. Ha. He's in rarity, and that's a ha. pony, and it's funny yeah. because... Yeah. I get it. Anyway. I understand. <clears throat> that was an intention. Sorry, bye-bye. I, I understand. Uh, okay. Yeah, moving on. Moving on. The Hate moving Master on. Part 1 and 2. Kimberly and Aisha sign up for some club, but Aisha gets turned down for reasons, reasons. as the bully puts it. With the name of this episode being Stop the Hate Master, I thought Power Rangers was really about to tackle racism. It turns out, oh. though, that the mean girl just wouldn't let Aisha join because her family doesn't make enough money. Whoa. Huh? She's too poor to join the club. That's crazy. You have to pay no, to she join just, a... No, she just doesn't like the fact that she doesn't have money. No. Uh, what? Yeah. Aisha has a talk with her grandma and makes her feel good. Telling her that the best way to deal with hate. This is King of Fighters music. Hateful people is to just ignore and rise above them. Meanwhile, Zed and Rita create a hate monster and makes the Rangers hate each other. Wow, that's crazy. Saying wow. mean things and acting wow, like dicks. Wild. Again, that's something that never happens. Definitely. It's right? Never yeah. happened. Ever, ever. It's never yeah. happened in Mitchell. Ever, ever, never, ever, ever. Yeah, never. Never, ever. No. Mm, don't, I, yeah, no. well, it can happen twice, right? Maybe three times. Could be wrong. Hmm. No, there's no way. There's no way. Yeah, I don't no way. Think, no yeah. way. Mm, yeah. She's mm. learning. Mm -hmm. For the Rangers quit the team until Aisha is able to teach the Rangers true. that you can fight negative. Not even once, true. Mindset. They all turn back to normal and destroy the monster. Kuro, Mel, and Matara explained MLP. Though, nice. Oh, like, we didn't talk about this at all. This is the, another reason why you know they had more money in this. They made cockpits for the Zords that actually look oh. dope as hell. Oh. Oh, this yeah, this is American cockpit footage. Yeah. Now. Oh my. Okay. Yeah. Now, now that I realize, That's because so like good. in the new ones that I watched way before when I was like a wee little goddess, there they had cockpits like like these types of things. <laughs> they just didn't in the previous never, season. Yeah. Like I in season two, they didn't. I never got to notice that actually. Now that you talked yeah, about it. Mm. They look so mm -mm. good. Like those I are nice. Like the power of Titanus. Whoa! Yeah, what? Titanus, huh? is Titanus is back. How come you've never called for his help until now? He's kind of super useful and maybe could have saved the Thunder Zords. <laughs> nah. <Whatever. laughs> but the Thunder Zords don't Plot fit reasons, in Titanus. Guys. Plot no, reasons. Li literally, the Thunder Zords just didn't fit in Titanus. I'm not even exaggerating. Like, even in the remakes of them with the light, not mm. the not the Lightning Collection, the Legacy Collection. The toys. They just mm. just did not fit into Titanus, but the Ninja ones did. So. Mm. <laughs> oh my God. So that's why they only brought There's up Titanus. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. To, to resell him. Which they did. It worked. Angel it worked. It worked. Yeah. It worked. Monster or True. Whatever. So it gets I just noticed to Billy's and... not wearing glasses anymore. Whoa. Yeah. That's great. Wow. There's no Ooh. in-show reason for it. He just stops wearing glasses. Really? Yeah. He, just, he just stops. Yeah. Yeah. The Rangers huh. fight it. I, this is a pretty nothing. Yeah, this is a pretty nothing episode, but it's also really creepy. This thing steals people's faces. And the, oh, oh. Yeah. Um, 
this episode kind of lives in my head, uh, rent free. Rent free? Damn. Like, more than I care to admit. It's a very creepy episode. <laughs> it's, it is How really creepy. What creepy. are we talking about here? Everyone's faces um, that get stolen get replaced by these, like, like clay slash molded outlines and it just looks really like unsettling i thought it was i thought it was just like a clean like so it's a blank face yeah, yeah. with nothing yeah it's just unsettling looking i don't think there was anything oh. on it actually i think it was just like a clean uh smooth clay mask or something i think it was like that but i think like you could see the outline of the person's like face underneath that's that's what i meant Maybe it was just 90s degradation footage. Or Very likely, you know. honestly. <laughs> Good day. It's brought well. to life and... Like an avatar. Oh, so this is what I was talking about. I, I forget what specific Japanese like myth this is based on, but I'm sure this is what Avatar took inspiration from for Ko the Face the Stealer. The Face Stealer from Avatar, as someone yes. in the chat said. Yeah. Mm. Not not this specific Face not, Stealer not from Power Rangers. The, but the, the legend of the original yeah, Face yeah, yeah, yeah. Stealer. <laughs> I just I just don't remember what it was in Japanese mythology, but mm -hmm. yeah, there there is a story of something like some sort of monster yokai that would steal faces. The Rangers fight it. So, I, this is a pretty nothing episode. True. The potion <laughs> notion. Oh Rita, man! Of all people, uses the leftover Potions. of Rita's love potion to use on the citizens of Angel Grove, Aww. where once again Kimber Kimberly's in love with Skull again. Falls in love with Skull. Wow. This is the first Maybe time, deep though, down Kimberly's they are meant like... to be. If for some reason, she just falls in love with him and not the actual person she's actually in love with. I don't know. Weird. <laughs> so yeah. there is a fan theory that later on they eventually get together. Yeah. Huh? Wait, so, really? So I don't know whether or not this is a fan theory or this was like a leaked info dump from like the power rangers samurai the one that you're familiar with yeah um mm -hmm. a writing team so there is a a boy uh named spike who yeah. is supposed to be skull's son um okay and he teams up with his uncle bulk and if you've seen samurai i think you vaguely know what i'm talking about mm -hmm. it was just like you know they were the bullies quote unquote of the show okay, um yeah and so for the duration of the entire season we never know who is skull's uh, mother. mother. However, mm. we there is a mother, yeah, yeah. running Spike, Spike. band. Oh, Spike's uh, mother. mother yeah, yeah. We never know uh, who it is, but there is a running fan theory, and I don't know if this was like maybe a showrunner kind of leaked something, but they were implying that Kimberly is actually the mother. I like it personally. I I kind of I kind of see it because for some reason, if she's ever like had a love potion thing if that happened for some reason why is it always skull literally yeah. always a hundred percent of the time it was always, always skull yeah what well, yeah like why unless secretly she actually liked him way before but then because he was a bully it never actually got progressed but I not mean, because he's actually being a better person maybe deep down she's like okay maybe whoa, he's actually a decent that's man, you know? crazy I mean, he fixes himself, to be fair. He fixed himself. Maybe, but maybe she doesn't know that. Yeah. He fixed himself. He fixed himself. It's all good. Also, like, our skull, our skull and book, like, the police in their school, I don't know why they're in the school. Okay, so they're junior, they're junior police. So they're like. Okay, so they're in training. Kind of, yeah. Okay, okay. Just go with it. I think this is the last season that, I think they're seniors this year. Okay. So, yeah. Sweetly in love with Skull. Usually she falls for him when she's under a curse and acts like a punk. Yeah. It's a weird plan because Zed didn't approve of it. He basically makes Finster go down to earth and remove the spell. Where, yeah, Skull is having a good time and once Aww. the spell is off Kimberly, she's like, ew, gross, get away from me. It's so <laughs> mean. Yeah. So being so rejected mean. Like this. It's so mean. So the Rangers Bro, Skull gets rejected so many times for no reason. It's so sad. Oh my God. And then when we learn about like his history, kind of, in, Z in Zio. <laughs> we'll learn it tonight. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh god! Don't tell a me park it's sad. Sad? Is he like an orphan or something? It's no, not no, sad no. per se. No. It's, okay. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. We'll, we'll, see we'll get, get there. there. Yeah, we'll okay, get there. Okay, okay. Here's the feet, the I trust. Like, like actually, we will get there tonight. Goes mm -hmm. to the Junior Police Academy dance. Wow. Where we do actually get a sweet ending. 
Kimberly notices Skull by himself, and she feels bad that she treated Skull the way she did after the spell was removed from her. So she tries to cheer him up, saying that she's sorry and that they are indeed friends. It's nice seeing Kimberly acknowledge that fact, which it is. It is oh, actually. So cute. It is actually kind of a nice scene. <laughs> like, like, like joking aside, because like she's like we're friends, you know, and he's like, are we? Like, it, it's mm. actually like genuinely like an are we friends kind of thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's kind of messed up because when you look at like MMPR season one and, and some, two and some and of season two, two. the yeah. Rangers are and kind of like really mean to Bulk and Skull a lot. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> because of the thing of like they're bullies, they're pulling up pranks and antics. Yeah, and, you know, not being that great with the Rangers. Yeah, so you know. So, but I, I did like this scene for a kind of like, are we friends? And yes, they're friends. So does cheer up skull and they have a little dance together Aww. i personally Yay. love the way the season treats tell, like no skull. They're, they're tell me like there's no way themselves. that they can't be a, like an actual couple by the end of this like come on uh, me <laughs> well we will talk about it there's there's one specific mm -hmm. scene in zeo that we will talk about and the reason why we're not okay, talking about okay. it yet and you'll understand okay. why therefore okay. more good things tend to happen to them yeah oh I'm dreaming of a white ranger. Okay, so, uh... <laughs> Christmas! <sighs> it's you guys don't like Christmas, Christmas episodes, specials. do okay. you guys? The, the problem is, is this is around the time that Power Rangers started forcing a Christmas and or Halloween episode. What? Mm -hmm. You don't pop them on, I swear to God. <laughs> I'm gonna come over there and hug you, okay? If you don't watch oh. out... <laughs> God. Power the audacity of this man. definitely a filler episode with not much happening. There's a little girl who's alone for Christmas, and the gang want to help cheer her up and feel good for the holidays. Rito does invade the North Pole and Santa and the Power Rangers team up. It yes, it is actually Santa. Also, yes. this does happen in Kaku Ranger where they team up with him, and Santa is a ninja, and it's really, yes. really funny. What? It's really, really <laughs> funny. And all of his elves are like also ninjas. Yep. So. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's so funny because like I I remember like Christmas was like a big deal in Cockroach. Like it was actually like it was a genuinely enjoyable episode. Yes, Ninja Elves, Ninja Sand. Don't worry about it. Okay, watch yeah, Cockroach. Don't, don't worry okay. about it. Don't watch, think about it too much. I, I watch it's Cockroach. Fine. It's a Christmas episode. They're usually spinoffs. I don't uh, really care. About them. There is one Christmas special that Connor never talks about in the time that we've watched this. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's personally my favorite because of how ridiculous it is. Oh, um, Alpha, uh, the robot from the command center for anyone not paying attention. Um, children. <laughs> <laughs> Alpha, Alpha kidnaps a bunch of children. And kidnaps a bunch of children, knowingly, <laughs> with, with good intention, <laughs> to spend Christmas with him. Yeah. <sighs> I heard about this before, I think. I think you guys told this yeah thing. yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> it's sad and lonely it's sad and lonely yeah there is good it intention good behind intentions. it however yeah. alpha kidnaps a bunch of children who yeah. don't question it mind you to spend christmas with alpha and not their family <laughs> and not their family uh, they, like, uh, <laughs> I'm very like, like that the parents like ask the police or something like hey I think, uh, listen, I think my kids uh, gone uh, this Christmas don't don't worry about it listen the police aren't really okay. they, the police don't really matter in Power Rangers until like maybe like Lightspeed Rescue slash Time Force uh, uh, the, the police didn't matter oh, until like Turbo and Bulk are in there Tur yeah. Turbo they like. matter mm -hmm. and then they don't matter again until Lightspeed Rescue and Time Force mm -mm. <laughs> anyway honestly and kind of feels like a fever dream. A ranger catastrophe part one and two. Well, that's crazy. Kimberly and Aisha a cat? stumble upon this cute Ast homeless oh. cat they want to adopt. Wow. This cat, cat however, cute. is no ordinary it looks house so cute. Pet. It's Kane's favorite character. Oh god! Oh god! Ah! All right. Okay. One more time. One more time. That. Not the most because flattering. Uh, stop it, however, stop it, actually, stop it. Stop it. Animorph. By Rita, controlling this young woman with mind control. Her name, funnily enough, is Cat. That's her actual name too. It's that, Catherine that Sutherland. In fact, her actual name, yeah, Catherine Sutherland. Okay. In How in perfect. the show, her the name is with a K. In real life, it's with a C. Yeah. 
is actually anyway. a pretty solid one. <laughs> to be able to infiltrate Kitty! the ranger's ranks without anyone batting an eye. Here's your favorite and animorph, Cat. advantage of that. For example, Cat <laughs> goes into her human form to, like, hit on Tommy, asking for his yeah, help with her car. Tommy likes that's, her car, and she persuades him to give it a smile. ride. Just... I know it's a kid's show, and you can't <sighs> Hey, Cat, Shiva! Like, thank you so much for the raid! Thought, Tommy, uh, but... Welcome, man. I hope you're I doing thought, fantastic. Like, uh, Kim Kimberly and Tommy were an item. They are! Because I remember... With the anyway, <laughs> yeah. So cat cat is intentionally trying to be like, trying you to, should okay. cheat on Kimberly with me. Oh my god, she's under mind control. She doesn't Do know any better. I, I mean, I get it, I get it, but like, under mind control. Is, is, yeah, yeah. Does Tommy like get like get like get a hint that like, oh, she's trying to make a move on me or something, or is <laughs> is he dead? Whoa, that's. Uh. Anyway, this is a pretty close <laughs> second. And seeing him actually give in to the temptation is pretty refreshing. Oh, no. It's nice to know he's okay. human. I love that the license place is perfect, by the way. Like, perfect. Where the two of them get transported to a dark dimension by Zed and Rita. Oh, no. Tommy is once again forced to fight Goldar one-on-one, -on -one, while the rest of the rangers deal with Cat in her monster form. Oh, no. They eventually force her to retreat. Tommy defeats Goldar and gets set free. Oh, no. But the day isn't exactly saved. Oh. The rangers are oh, glad no. Cat is safe, and because of this mutual trauma they become friends wow cat now be a part of wow the i Whoa. wasn't definitely stealing your boyfriend earlier well they don't know yeah. about that they didn't know yeah. they yeah, don't know yeah. about that they they genuinely okay. thought that cat was trying to get tommy to help her fix his uh fix her car Aww. and then they both got kidnapped and that's it that's all they know okay yeah. thankfully thankfully yeah. he's dense enough to think like oh she just wants my help yeah okay thank thank goodness yeah Without this Where master morphing, you, you ain't nothing but a cheap copy. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. 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 Listen, Kane. Kane, you need to be a rock. Damn. You need to be a rock, okay? okay you need to be a rock. Bro. <laughs> okay, bro. Damn. You ain't nothing but a cheap copy. <laughs> but without a master morpher, you ain't nothing but a cheap copy. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Are you okay? You sound like you're dying. I was out. I was out. I was out. I was out. <sighs> Water, please, anything. Oh, oh my God. God. Wait, but it's time for more Megazords. Apart from Serpentera, I guess, because a Serpentera. giant planet destroying Zord isn't enough. These forgotten Zords are the Shogun Zords. Ooh. Meanwhile, oh. Cat has been tasked Shogun with stealing Zords. away the power coins from the Rangers. During a Tengu attack, Cat sneaks away and manages to steal. So this is what I was talking about before and why I nerded out so hard. I think this is the moment I realized it too. She just takes the oh, coin, yes. but there's no morpher with it. It's Generally just the coin. In the path, they would take out the morpher and be like, yep, the power is mine. I'm going to take this for myself. Slip yep. that in the pocket and uh, call it a day. But here, she takes out the coin specifically, implying that there's mm -hmm. nothing else. Yeah. So, yeah the pink power coin and with the coin now in evil hands kimberly starts to feel weak and the bad oh, news no. doesn't stop there oh, oh, no. oh, oh no now in control of the coin she's able to board the falcon zord and steal it for zed and rita <gasps> oh no and hey while they're at it they also managed to steal ninja away. oh no the plan's going pretty what? well so far <laughs> yeah what i really like is that it's rita's plan and not zed just casually she steal them okay herself, yeah which seems to be her specialty Kimberly gets weaker and weaker with each fight, to the point where she's completely exhausted of power and gets taken away to Zed's dimension. Thanks, she got kidnapped. Her life form will slowly be drained until she's no more. So in order to That's save crazy. Kimberly, Zed wants to cut a deal, where we then get a really this. awesome and intimidating moment. Zed teleports himself yeah. and his throne into the power chamber. He looks so threatening, not oh, since his initial damn. debut so has he looked good. this scary. He says he'll spare Kimberly's life if the Rangers do his bidding and control the Shogun Zords. Also, I love somebody just cheered 60 bits, uh, Scargentum. Uh, that's another way oh. of saying you're a third rate Ranger with a fourth rate Morpher. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> hey, calm, calm, calm. Remember, calm. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I mean, they write. They write, though. <laughs> They right though. Oh, they oh. right though. They right though. Is that an original American character? He is. He's one of the best things about MMPR. Oh, 
the rangers of but i want to ask no, why do they why does zed want to like put them in the shogun megazords so they are air quotes evil zords but because they oh. like they still need like rangers to the pilot them they yeah them as like keys if you will yeah like a power okay source. so okay. he's like hey if you pilot my zords and like destroy shit then i'll let kimberly go free otherwise oh. i'm gonna murder her and they're like, well, I guess we got to pilot his evil zords. But in doing so, oh my God. only leaves Kimberly's fate unknown. Well, that's crazy. She's being held in a dark dimension that Zordon only has enough power to teleport one ranger into. Gee, I wonder who. surprisingly, it's Adam that goes, no, I'm just kidding. It's of course Tommy. <laughs> Tommy goes in there, but when I he arrives, this. he's met with a surprise. Oh, they got me the first half, not going to lie. <laughs> where he even gets his hands dirty and fights the white ranger one on one. We've never actually seen Lord Zed get physical, but here we see he's clearly able to hold his own. Tommy's barely able to even scratch him. It's pretty cool. Meanwhile, yeah, Zed literally bodies yeah. Tommy free. Oh like it's gosh. not even close. So it's it's a very like, oh wow, like Zed is actually scary. Like as a villain, like this is gonna be hard, you know. The only other yeah. time we ever see Lord Zed fighting, technically, other than comics, is the the fighting game, uh, Battle yeah. for the Grid. And he has a devastating move set. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy. So, With the okay, Falcon okay. Zord under Zed. I think the tape is still on his staff. God, I hope not. <laughs> God, I hope is. not. It probably it is. It probably is. Don't, don't, don't. Immersion, immersion. Or they immersion. replaced <laughs> it with the one from the movie. <laughs> they could have just reused that prop. Maybe. True. Zord. Billy, however, is able to create a device that reverses the evil polarity, polarity or whatever. Yeah. And now. Hey, new Zords. New Zord. New Zords. Hey, so these are the first Zords from Cocker Ranger. Um, oh. And the Rangers actually like are bi the Zords. Like they bio merge with them. Okay. E well, Digimon, I, I see what you did there. Yeah. Digimon. No. <laughs> Tommy. <laughs> yes. Okay. So somebody pointed it out. Um, so, fun thing to note. Do you notice that there's a color missing? Pink. Yes. And it just so happens that Kimberly is kidnapped, and it worked out really nicely for them. Because in Cocker Ranger, okay. there is no pink ranger. There is mm -hmm. there's oh. white as the female ranger and the leader mm -hmm. and the rest of the other colors that you see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but there was never a pink ranger. So, the yes. crane was close enough because it had, like, pink in it, kind of, that they were like, oh, it's just Kimberly's. But okay. here with these five, there's just no replacement for Kimberly. Yeah. But it worked out story-wise because they were having Kimberly get her powers taken away anyway. Mm, so it was it was it was a good coincidence. Yes. I, I don't know if it was coincidence or they wrote it specifically like that. And I think that may have been why they reversed the order for the Zords, so mm. they could write this storyline for Kimberly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. A lot. Of, a lot of Mighty Morphin is a, a lot of. Be it good writing or lucky coincidences, um, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Oh yeah, and the uh, the the white one looks like a falcon. Yeah, but it's actually a white cark, mm. which is a, a weird bird? Question mark A cark, K, K A R K. I've never seen that bird. <laughs> I, I hadn't either. I'd never heard of it until I watched Cocker Ranger. But hey, white o cock. And now that's how the it's pronounced. Apparently, the missing Shogun Zords. Tommy never anyway. stood a chance against Lord Zed, so after managing to save Kimberly, they're able to be teleported out. But things still aren't good. Yeah. While Kimberly herself is saved, the power coin still lies in the hands of evil. Oh no. Kimberly expresses how oh, scared no. she is to Tommy, and he promises he won't let anything bad happen to her. It's a pretty romantic scene. The three-parter is pretty solid. Cat being a constant presence is really what kept my attention. I like how a lot of these episodes say, are connecting with an overall storyline yep. with Cat yep. and the Pink Ranger, but not being a multi-parter where it needs to be front and center. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The other big thing that I th I think he does talk about, but I just want to say it just in case he doesn't. Mm -hmm. Kimberly going to Tommy and being like, hey, I'm really afraid of losing my powers, where he just went through that same thing when he was green to white. So yeah. it's, mm -hmm. it's a very nice contrast to see him being like on the other side of trying to console somebody that is going through what he went through. Yeah. So... Even with the following, he went through it a lot. He out. did. While yes, he did. Really being a filler episode about Bulk and Skull helping Kimberly find a thief that stole her car, yeah, and then going on a Aww. silly chase. Oh, now, by the way, yeah. Glimpses of Cat showing up to try and deceive the other Rangers. Rita then. Yeah, she's like she's like a looming constant threat now, essentially. Yeah. 
Jesus on the side, up, yeah. just maniacally laughing, knowing what's know happening. That yes. she is a threat. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Monster. Okay, okay. <laughs> Zordon then gives the Rangers they make a new motorcycle. Oh my god, they got bikes! The shark side. Yeah! Bikes. These are American-made vehicles to obviously sell more toys with. Some of them are American-made. Yeah. Some not, of them. Not all of them. The, so okay. all the Rangers in Cocker Ranger didn't get shark cycles. I think it was like Red got a solo one. Um, mm -hmm. White had a like a dual rider with blue and black and yellow were together as well. Yeah, some I of them think. Had side okay. Yeah, so similar to like what Zhu Ranger did, but I don't think we talked about that much during uh, season one of MMPR because they never had the motorcycles show up. Mm -hmm. okay. But anyway. But what kind of shocks me hey, is that Toku it took Savant. this long to introduce Thanks for the them. sub. I appreciate it. I say this because... Oh, there it is! See? Oh, there it is! Savant knew this yep. even before filming episode one of Power Rangers. So but they I'm were never they used. Never yep. used them. They were toys, though. Again, the best part of the yep. episode is Balkan Skull actually catching the car thief and turning him Aww. in and returning Kimberly's car in one They did it again! They, they did it! They did it! One piece. Look at them. Balk's face after getting hugged Aww. says it all. The different shit. Not even a hug for, like, for. Oh, come I think on. You might I mean, they tried. This is going. A famous German gymnast coach you comes guys to dance Angel together. Not even a hug is fine. He takes her under his wing so she can join the Olympics or whatever. However, she's going to have to dedicate herself completely to her gymnastics. Oh, no, that's crazy. Oh, no. Ranger, they're going to take her out of the show, aren't they? Well, that's crazy. I don't know what you're Jordan talking about. Kimberly, why, why would you assume that, like... I've my life. Yeah, why, why would you assume that because, like, a, a, a cool life opportunity is coming up for somebody that they immediately get taken out of the show? Oh, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> what are you... <laughs> anyway. It was never his well, goodbye, to take Kimberly. Away it was nice Rangers knowing you. <laughs> He tells her to follow her dreams, and he won't call upon her unless absolutely necessary. Which is a lie. So naturally, there's a very ordinary Tanga attack, and they call for Kimberly's help. Great. Was this really life or death? No. We also learn a bit more about Kat. <laughs> She's a normal girl who just so happened to be brainwashed by Rita, similar to mm -hmm. Tommy. She's been trying to battle Rita's spell by remembering when she was good. However, the magic is too strong and constantly is taking over. Which is another good contrast for everything that happened with Tommy. Because, hey, uh, mm. Kimberly's losing her powers like Tommy did. Kat is fighting mm -hmm. the brainwashing or evil like Tommy did. So exactly. it's a lot of like, mm -hmm. hey, remember these really good parts we did? What if we did them again and did them just as well? They're trauma bonding. Oh, my God. That's They're trauma bonding. Oh, that's, oh my that's God. That's nutty. However, that's after crazy. seeing Kimberly try to balance being a ranger and become an Olympic gymnast, Kat manages to break free from the spell. Remembering how she was once trying to be an Olympic swimmer. Kimberly stays late to try and make it up to her coach, where in her exhaustion, she slips off the balance beam and knocks her head pretty hard. Kat was the only one there and takes her to a hospital. Yeah. When the other Aww. rangers show up, Kat explains everything to them. That she was under Rita's spell, stealing the power coin and everything. Oh, I got a, I got a raid. Hello. This hey, let's go raiders! Ali, Ali, Ali Kurzer? I think that's how you say it. I could be wrong. Welcome. Oh, hello, welcome. Dragon Ray, Danny Dragon. Hello, hello, welcome hello, in. Hello. We're watching Power Rangers. I'm being um. Indoctrinated. What's the word, you guys? Okay. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. Uh, educated, um, educated, um, educated, educated, uh, educated. Uh, using? We're educated. not even hiding at this point. Ah, that's crazy. <laughs> I am being educated slash indoctrinated of Power Rangers of Mighty Morphin. We're oh, at no, season that's three. That's we just finished, I think, the movie part earlier. We did. And mm -hmm. now we're we're here. Hey, we've got cat. 13 minutes left of this, and then we go into Zio. Mm -mm. Yeah, we're going to go to Zio after this. So if you guys want to, like, you know, grab some drinks, grab some blankets, grab some food, and yes, to lurk and listen to us ramble, me me giving questions and stuff. True. <laughs> True and real. This, this is my first time watching uh, watching uh, the old Power Rangers before, um, you know, any any other new ones. She's I learning. Just know mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and not only that, so Zeus is brand mm -hmm. new to Power Rangers, but anyone coming in from the raid, mm. Roy and I are very, very well versed in the Power Rangers universe. Very, Power very Rangers. well versed. Um, they are in encyclopedias. Yeah. <laughs> Power, Power Rangers. Did you Power say, Rangers. So did you say you Power questions? Rangers? Hmm. Power, Power Rangers. Oh, oh, you mean Super Sentai. Oh, okay. I got it. Okay. I got it. I got it. Okay. Okay. If any of you have any questions that you would like to ask mm -hmm. us, be it about Super Sentai, Power Rangers, or even Kamen Rider, because we've talked about hey, that. Hey, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate us. it. You're more than welcome to. Favorite Power Perfect. Rangers, I go with RPM, sir. There we go. Good, good season pick. <laughs> Good season pick. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Good season pick, I said. Also, thank you for the sub. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. True, true, true. Mm -hmm. true, true, true. 
Cat gets okay. kidnapped and once again gets put in the dark dimension. Whoa. However, due to the stupidity of Rito, Cat's able to escape and also gets her hand on the pink power coin. Whoa. Who the is the greatest the power ninja? Someone in my chat able... said. Uh... That is a loaded question. It is a loaded question. That is Ooh. a loaded question. It depends on what you consider great. If you are considering legacy, that would be Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> specifically because of fan favoritism and because mm. of the way that everyone reacts to him in certain team-ups. Of course no one would ever doubt the Tommy Oliver. Sorry, that's a whole reference. You won't get it unless you've watched the Dimension Tommy. Ranger. The Tommy. Um, but if you're talking about, say, huh, Forever Red reference, who changed history, who saved two worlds, who has a regulation haircut. Uh, huh? It's a it's a long thing. Anyway, Don't worry about that. Okay. Uh, it really depends on what you consider to be the greatest. You yeah. Know? It's it's too vague of a term. Like you'd have to like we can tell you who our favorites are, but that's not who the best is yeah, or who the greatest. Yeah, but that's right, not right. the best ranger out of all of the rangers. It's true, but yeah. the greatest is actually Theodore J. Jarvis Johnson. But please call him TJ. See, okay. that's funny because it sounded like you wanted to say Adam, but the I don't frog? know why you messed up. Yeah, the frog, like the one you kissed to get a charming prince. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, what was Gold Ranger Morph in Japanese Zio? Oh, the King, King Ranger. King Ranger. Not clue, but yes. Mm -hmm. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get that's there. We'll get there. Season. We'll yeah, get there. Next season. Yeah. yeah. Next we'll season. Next season. Mm -hmm. Teleport mm -hmm. cat back to the command center, and through the convincing of her friends, Kimberly decides to follow her dream. Where she'll be training full time to be an Olympic gymnast. Aww. The gang throws yeah. her a going away party, and it's pretty sad. Tommy, especially, taking it the hardest. However, Kimberly doesn't leave the team without a Pink Ranger, picking someone who will be a strong replacement. Yep. Whoa! Okay. All right. Wow. In the middle one more time that was a surprise. The one who Rangers. stole it. True. Got it. True. Wow. True. Wow. <gasps> Michaela, hello. Michaela, Hi. hello. I don't know why you're covered Hello. in goo or slime, but hey, welcome. Why, We're glad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you covered in slime? What? You're covered in what? Uh, Pardon? Excuse me? Anyway, in chapter, thanks for the follow. Uh, Excuse me? Wait, I'm going to your stream right now. What the heck happened? She just, I don't know. She said it. Or they said it. You're just covered in goo. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> Anyway, hey, Kimberly's leaving the show. Oh, no. And with her gone, oh, no. Billy is the only remaining ranger from the original five. And actually having Amy Jo Johnson be there made the send off feel more genuine and heartwarming. Yeah. I'm not sure Aww. of the exact reason why Amy Jo. It was not a bad reason. She did it not. Wasn't a bad reason. She okay. did not leave the show on bad terms. This is the first ranger like leaving that was like. I, I want... just want to have a better career. Yes. I want to uh, grow as an yeah, actress. That's as understandable. An um, and they went on to do a lot, actually. They did. They even went on to a big sitcom right after this. They which went to do I, Felicity. I, never uh, I know it. they directed a horror movie. They also have oh. a, a steady music career um, currently. Yeah. Uh, and now they're writing for the Power Rangers comic book currently. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's so nice. They actually did. Okay, they actually did move on to greater things. Good for them. Wait, mm -hmm. hold on a second. Hold on a second. Mm -mm. Michaela, you just wrote stuff for your other clients. Slime girls are fun. Hold on a second. Hold on a second here. Hold oh. on a second. You're not, you're not writing... Slime guys and gals and NBs for me. You're not running slimes for me. You're not, I, I like run. I I like slime. Michaela, get out of here. It's okay. Anyway, Joe Johnson left the show. I would assume it was just to further her acting career. It was. She'd go on to star in the show Felicity. Never watched it. I never. <laughs> I've watched seen a couple it, of episodes. I think it was a big right. deal in the '90s. She stated in an interview that the overwhelming popularity of Power Rangers was a lot to handle for her at the time. I would imagine. And even said in 1993 that oh my God, being a lot on of the people. show as Kimberly was something that yeah. she would never be able to live down. But this is Aww. something... Yeah, this is something that she was very transparent about um, for a very, very long time. Yeah. Whenever Amy Jo was ever invited to uh, conventions, she would usually mm. deny it, being like, no, I don't I don't want to associate with Power Rangers. Because the problem, and people usually call this the Power Ranger curse, yeah. is that mm -hmm. once they become Power Rangers, they are immediately typecasted into this very specific role and don't mm -hmm. usually, usually uh, end up working anymore. Uh, there are a couple actors that have kind of like broken out from that yep. and ended up working in Marvel properties and, and things like mm -hmm. that. Um, like Jessica but, Jones. 
Yeah, exactly. Um, but Amy Jo was trying very hard not to. It's only until the last couple of years, I want to say, that Amy Jo has really embraced the fandom and come back into the fold. I wish she was in Once and Always, That is man. actually so I, nice. I'm so mad yeah. she wasn't. Yeah, or Devil May Cry. All right, listen here. All oh, right. my God. <laughs> a lot of, I, genuinely, a lot of Power Rangers do actually go on to become voice actors or, like, motion capture artists. Because, like, um, Jason Font. That's half the role. Yeah, literally. <laughs> that Jason, is half the role. Jason Font, who is uh, Wes in uh, Time Force, went on to do mm. motion capture for video games. And I think still mm -hmm. does to this day. Um, Johnny Young Bosch is an incredibly prolific voice actor. Obviously, he's Adam Park in yeah. Power Rangers, but he's Lelouch in Code Geass. He's Ichigo in Bleach. He's oh. Nero in Devil May Cry. Yes, yes, yes. You know, a lot of a lot of people get their starts. My name so. is Lelouch V. Britain. It's actually yeah. so nice because, like, like, again, a lot of what do you call it? A lot of actors or yeah. voice actors when they're they, they don't want to get associated to like something that's like kids show or something that gave yeah. them like a hard time with like whether it be acting or recording. I, I just think that, like, if ever you gave, like, kids, the, like, these nostalgias, these, like, childhood things that they can never forget anymore, I just think that that's a core memory for yeah. a lot of these kids. And I think that's an honor. I find yeah. it really I, funny, I though. Personally... Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> I was going to say, I find it really funny because we were talking about how, like, the, the Power Ranger curse getting labeled with it. Johnny and Bosch mm -hmm. literally, like, left Power Rangers and the same year voiced Vash the Stampede. He talks about this, though. I don't know if you've ever heard about this, but he, he talks about this where it was a really hard time in his life. Like he was like mm. he was like nearly broke and, and then was offered the role of Vash the Stampede in yeah. Trigun. And then mm -hmm. and then it kind of started uh, picking up um, because this is around the big boom of like anime, anime dubbing. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. So th this is like he just got caught in a good place at a good time. Yeah. You know? But prior to that, especially after leaving the show, he, he's very vocal about, like, yeah, it was really hard at the time. Mm -hmm. I was just saying it was funny because Turbo was 97 and yeah. Trigun was, what, 98? So mm -hmm. that's why it's like the time. I was like the timing, you know? Mm -mm. Yeah. But anyway. Moving on. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Life rescinded those statements and is thankful for everything the show did for her. Which is good. We like Amy Joe. by Catherine Sutherland. There you go, Ken. That's your girl. <sighs> She's so She's so pretty. She's so, so pretty. I, and her accent is fantastic. I also think, genuinely feel like she's a fantastic actress. Um, you know what's really funny is I actually, I think my least favorite cat is in MMPR. <laughs> 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 like, I, I liked her a lot more in... Just, just like Nakia Baris, I really like both of them in the beginning of Turbo. For mm -hmm. some reason, just something about them in the beginning of Turbo, I was like, I don't know. Maybe it's because they graduated high school and they're not teenagers anymore, and I'm just like... <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Women. Okay. <laughs> Women. Uh, actually, Hi. wait, guys. I gotta go to the bathroom first. Oh, yes, Alright, well, we'll just talk about... Yeah. Mm. Catherine, out, literally anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah, literally. Guys, yeah, what do you know about? Me. What do you want to know about Power Rangers? Does Ask anyone us have any questions that Roy and I can answer? Because we we have a lot to talk about. We do. We have a lot to talk about. We have a lot to make mm -hmm. out about as well. You know, it's true. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what would you like to see as the morphers that haven't been used before? Oh man. Um. Like like gimmicks and things like that. Oh. I've always, this is a common writer concept that I've always had, where uh, I've always had, like, the idea of common uh, uh, writers using, um, I want to say discs in a similar fashion to, like, maybe GameCube discs, where they're, oh. each of their forms would be based on different um, uh, music types, like rock and pop, and, you know, they're, maybe their bass form is rock-based, and then... Um, oh, changing forms? Oh! Yeah, and so that would influence... Changing the music style would also influence the way that they fight. Ooh, um, and I in like order that. to transform, they put, like, the disc in the thing, and then they turn the dial of the of a volume uh, thing, and then that's how they would transform. So uh, yeah. they would just turn up the volume. Uh, let's crank it up, if you will, you know? Uh and then, I don't know, their final form would be the remix form or uh, whatever it may be. Maybe combining two different uh, yeah. genres, right? 
that that's a personal head cannon. But Power Rangers, Super Sentai, Common Rider, all of it has been going on for years and years and yeah. years. So it's kind of hard to like come up with a something that hasn't been done yet. You know? Yeah. I I will say just because I think it would be cool, and I'd like to see how they'd be able to make it work. Give give us a Super Sentai season where it's like just three Rangers and make them use belts to Henshin. Yeah. And they have to say Henshin when they do it too. Just for like anyone that doesn't know, Henshin is the the Japanese word for transform. It's not exclusive to Common Rider, but it is heavily associated with it. Yeah. So I I I think that would be, I think that would be sick. I think it'd be dope. You know what I mean? I think about 100 bits. <laughs> I had the same concept, but the main character's the concept, uh, belt main will be a cassette player. Ooh. I'm trying to think about how that would. That that would you be put in different really tapes. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I think that'd be pretty cool. I, I've always really liked that idea. Um, the, my head kind of name for that was Common Writer Pulse because I didn't want to like give, give them a. I didn't want to box them in specifically to music. Should it ever uh, expand beyond that, you know? Okay, okay, okay. I like that. I like that. Hello. <gasps> Hello. Welcome back. Hello, I'm back. Yeah. Glad to have you. Okay, let's go. Let's go. She's let's an Australian go. actress, and she keeps her accent throughout the show. Is really cute if I'm being honest. <laughs> <laughs> How will Cat do as the new oh, Pink Ranger? Boy. Let's find out. <laughs> Rita's Peter. Rita creates a monster that makes Tommy want. <sighs> this is such a weird episode. Just look at Johnny or um, uh, Jason David Frank's like expressions during this episode. Okay. Like junk food. Uh, listen, we just had an epic three-parter. We need some filler. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know you're what you'd expect. Another brick in the wall. <laughs> and they're just done with it. That's it. The episode's over. <laughs> Nothing happens. <laughs> The episode is just him eating junk food. So yeah, yeah. Rita infected oh, him with okay. a monster that like made a, him a monster of the week. He just eats. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, hockey boss! Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, you guys. We're watching Power Rangers. Okay. We're catching Zeus up. Oh my gosh! Continue. The of the episode is now bad eat. eating habits. Yes. Eating habits. Yeah. Nom 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 nom. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was also season three. They started being less of like, hey, let's get milkshakes and hey, let's get like veggie smoothies with like protein yeah, powder. They were really trying to push like, hey, Power Rangers kind of means a lot to a lot of people. Let's yeah. insert more <laughs> good values into this show than Be we healthy, already have. Guys, yeah. eat good food. <laughs> Which is ironic because like the 90s were like wrought with so many like, hey, guys, hey, Dunkaroos. Yeah. <laughs> That too. I was oh gonna. I was, I was going more like food and drink, Kane. But okay. Oh, that too. Yeah. I was like, I was gonna say like Dunkaroos and like Sunny D and High C and like all the sodas and fast food places that got like huge during the nineties. You know. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. the different colored ketchups. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Those Good weren't healthy. <laughs> I don't know. think so. But they may have, here they we may, are. They may have had a safe amount of lead in them, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, so during construction of this home, Rita and Zed make a wall monster. What? Yeah. Okay, so it makes more sense than Kakaranger because it is an actual thing. Uh, it's like ka Kakere Dori or something like that, which is, I think, where the word Kabedon comes from. Um, and it's literally like a wall or rock monster that would like mm. disguise itself as like a fake wall and like attack people. That's true. So, yeah. How frightening. Okay. Yeah, the wall yeah, only. That's it. The Rangers defeat the monster that's it. and then I guess wow, defeat wow. homelessness. They yeah. defeat Wall Maria. Yeah. They Maria. defeat homelessness. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he said. Oh well, cause God. cause Kat came up with an idea to like make like like a new like homeless shelter or something like that, and that's where they made yeah. this monster from. The Rangers defeat the monster and oh then I guess defeat homelessness. They did it. Cat <laughs> and Aisha teach they did a monkey it. sign language for a school assignment. Whoa. Yeah, and Ooh. then it gets turned into a monster. Oh. I, again, there's not much here. Yeah. Master okay. Vile. Okay. That doesn't get brought up enough. That they they literally taught a monkey sign language. Okay. I mean, so that's you, great. Which isn't an easy thing to do, mind you. <laughs> so you know. That's how, so great. Yeah. You know how Cat's been with the team for like, like three episodes now, like as a ranger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's like two episodes left. Huh. Anyway, metallic armor three what, how, what, what? Yet another yeah. evil force crashes into Zed and Rita's. Oh, oh no! This one being Master Vile. 
Rita and oh, Rito's dad. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, thank you just for the like I appreciate view, you. He's pissed off that the world hasn't been conquered yet True. and decides to take action himself. His first plan of attack is to create an energy stealing monster. He then links this monster to Ninjor. Zordon then informs oh, who the they Rangers still had something. kidnapped because the Rangers never Wait, freed they Ninjor. Never, they never, they recovered never Ninjor. rescued him. <laughs> yep. They never rescued him. Is he they just in like the, in the prison cell waiting, playing baseball I or think, something? With I think he was in like a vase or something like that. Like they literally kept. Very Japanese thing to assume. You're just playing baseball? <laughs> <laughs> Why did he have glasses? I watched Charlie's Angels last night and like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, Bosley, for some reason, yeah. just had a baseball in the prison cell, just played baseball with him. <laughs> they legit forgot about him. I mean, to be fair, Kimberly left the team, you know? They had, they had some stuff on their they mind. They had a lot of their mind. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Tommy had to eat a bunch of food. Habits and yeah. Yeah. yeah, and homelessness. Uh -huh. Something <laughs> anyway. The Zeo Crystal. Oh, man. The Zeo the what? What, the what crystal? What they say, well, Zeus? Again? Sorry, sorry, I missed it. What? Wait, wait, one more something time? very important: the Zeo Crystal. Whoa! Oh, that's the name of the next season. What? Wait, oh. is it? Wait, what do you mean, Zeus? What do you? What do you? What do you, what do you mean? I don't understand. I don't understand. Maybe. Well, I, I don't think I'm understanding. Uh, wait, here, let, let's keep watching. Maybe they'll explain it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. The Zeo Crystal is an extremely powerful <laughs> artifact. Master Bio is planning on stealing it and using it for himself. <laughs> is that Zed and Rita's palace was built oh, directly on top of the crystal. However, only a force of good is able to actually touch it. Oh, it's crazy. After being informed of this information, Kat offers herself up to Zed and Rita as a distraction, oh. saying she's evil again, while Tommy Dang. sneaks away into the evil lair in search for the Zeo crystal. The lair plays tricks on your I mind. I love this. But Tommy's why why is Green Ranger here? <laughs> so I love, <laughs> I love this so much as an crystal. idea. Why the fuck is it the cloth shield, dude? <laughs> this scene could have been so... So the, the point is, is they send Tommy to go get the Zeo crystal. Mm -hmm. Because he's, you know, a being of, of pure goodness, which is what the whole thing... Like, the Zeo crystal has to have somebody, you yeah. know, that's good. So it's like the Mjolnir thing of someone like, if you're worthy, you can hold that's the hammer. Sure. Kind of. Yeah. Okay. But remember, okay. Tommy was the evil Green Ranger at some point. So, like, mm -hmm. the Zeo crystal is making this bullshit... For him to deal with, and I'm like, why? Did, why didn't you just give him the shield, man? Like this is this this is the moment, you know. <laughs> Player plays tricks on your mind, but Tommy's able to power through them. When he attempts to grab the crystal, though, it fights back a bit. With Tommy having flashbacks of being the Green Ranger and having that tiny bit of evil inside of <laughs> Go him. Go to hell, shooting <laughs> 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 Damn, bro. <laughs> Wait, I need to. I need to post it. I'm sorry. Hold on. I have to. Post oh, it. I forgot. I forgot how the Green Ranger basically just out of nowhere is like, "Hi, Go punch." To hell <laughs> no, that's, obviously, that's like the one thing a lot of people remember, and why like the Green Ranger is so beloved as the evil Ranger. You know, he just the goes up Ranger. into their home and just backhands punches them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> punches them out of their house. He's like, "This is mine now. Bye." It's, it's that it's that one meme of that guy in the backyard uh mm -hmm. slapping all of those people um mm -hmm. including the kids i don't know if you know what i'm talking about I but do. there is a very specific uh meme of this guy just like slapping all of these people it's very yeah. funny and it's just it was very funny it is i know that meme <laughs> also cannot. welcome in raiders thank hi, you raiders. Raiders. hi raiders hello hello, hello. hello. Are you? a lot of people really want to watch power rangers today hey, listen it's There's just that kind of day you know? yes, yes, yes. we're all vibing the we're all thriving we're all surviving hell yeah ranger up. i'm with roy and kane let's do it guys power rangers we're slowly transitioning <laughs> to power rangers zeal we're yes, almost yay. done with mmpr we're almost done we're getting we're getting there we're getting there so yeah if you if you guys want to hop on watch along listen to us uh well I, I'm, I'm just here listening to them. <laughs> if you want to sit, listen Ranger. to us, uh, have any mm -hmm. questions about Power Rangers, we'd be more than mm -hmm. happy to answer. The most important mm -hmm. thing, though, is you have to... Burn the power sword! Burn the power sword! <laughs> I want oh. Finn, let me send you back to the barn! Stop! <laughs> I call the power of thunder! You oh are my army! God. This is an army! Oh my God. <laughs> 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 Drink, grab some blankets, grab some food. This is gonna be a long, long day. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so tempted to just keep screaming random Jason quotes. I'm not Stop. even lying. <laughs> I'm cold, uh, this oh, Kane, owl down. Oh, 
Hold on. Of course, it's not oh, enough to stop him, and he retrieves the crystal. But it doesn't really matter. Right, there you go. Master Vile is too strong and manages to steal the crystal for himself. Forcing the rangers to retreat and regroup. They got bodied. I also forgot to mention. Oh the yeah, hey. Armor the ranger. That's. Uh, yeah. There's got. It's supposed to be a power up mode, but you can't even notice it. Master Vile throws a party on Earth to celebrate his capture of it. Now keep in mind, there's only two episodes left, and they just got a power up. Okay. okay. However, the rangers managed to sneak away and board the It's also funny to me that like he just throws Vile... throws a party casually on Earth. I mean, like, no yeah. one's suspecting why there's like there's a skeletal dude throwing a party. Yeah. He thinks They're he won. Being, like, oh, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's like, okay. Uh, he thinks he won. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They snatch it away and have a Megazord fight with the Falcon Zord dying <gasps> in the. Hmm. Kakure da Shogun. Subasamaru. Mutek Shogun. Okay, so something something I genuinely love about this shot, which is way okay. too oh, powerful. Him, spaced and kate, honestly, or by their side, Ogun Zord have a have a Megazord fight with the Falcon Just Zord zoom back out. in the Rangers' control. Okay, the Rangers oh my God, no! <laughs> Whatever. It wasn't, it wasn't even a okay. proper zoom out. <laughs> so the cool thing there is in in Kaku Ranger, all of the Zords are mm -hmm. technically gods, and they're like mm -hmm. the the embodiments of the gods. And then at some point, the gods are like, yeah, just. You fucking kill this guy. And the Rangers yeah. are like, hold on a second. What? They're like, yeah. She's like, eh. <laughs> The Does gods it? just decide that they just want to. Well, so the thing is. Themselves? So this is the monster that like absorbed Ninja Man. Mm -hmm. And the gods are like, eh, we like Ninja Man and everything. But like, probably kill the monster. Probably a better idea. You know, <laughs> it'll probably kill. It'll probably kill Ninja Man. But like, eh, fuck him. Quite literally, <laughs> like they're they're literally like ah, just kill him, and then literally at some point, the person that like gave the power rangers yeah. a fucking like basically the bastard. They just went ahead and like yeah, you know, yeah, like, toss him. And then yeah. to make matters worse, because the rangers didn't want to do that, the other four rangers in Ninja Man uh -huh. or in, uh, in Kaku Ranger get kidnapped. Uh -huh. So yellow, blue, black, and then white uh, helmet on the other side. So they're talking to Red and they're like, so Red, uh, you should just kill him. And they literally just keep trying to, and he literally at some point is like, nah, fuck you guys. <laughs> it's just the funniest thing because there's like a whole episode of them just being like, yeah, just, just fucking kill him. Just, yeah. Yeah, don't know what to tell you, homie. Uh, <laughs> it's I don't know murder. I don't know God's literally telling me to murder somebody. It's actually people, nutty. But... Hey, Cocker Ranger's a wild ride because they're not the mentors. Their mentors at this point dead. Uh, because mm -hmm. he sacrificed himself at some point, but like, mm -hmm. Cocker Ranger is nutty and really good. I very much recommend <laughs> going and watching it because oh my gosh. they realize that the gods are kind of shitty and they're like, we don't need a mecha. I don't need that shit. I have ninja. Yo, we may not be <laughs> rangers anymore. <laughs> We're so <laughs> power. <sighs> Sorry. I got it. I got it. Nah, they're fine. Master Vile uh, enters the fray. It's fine. It's a really intense it's fine. fight, honestly. I think Megazord fine. battles can sometimes oh, feel slow. Wow. Wow. Yeah, wow. It's really fast-paced and chaotic. Wow. I managed to run off Master Vile, but not completely destroy him, oh. saying he'll return. The Rangers realize the Zeo Crystal is way too powerful to risk having it fall into the wrong hands. Oh no. So they shatter it into five pieces and Whoa. hide them randomly throughout the universe. Five pieces? that even the Rangers themselves won't know. Whoa. This was once again a really solid batch of episodes. That's the storytelling crazy. has gotten really mature and action-packed. Master Vile is an okay oh. villain. That's from the comic. He's not as That's threatening comic, yeah. as I'd like. Oh. He still cracks jokes and acts a bit silly. Sound of Discordia. Oh, that wasn't what, this sound. The finale. It's another. <laughs> oh, so this isn't the finale. Uh, uh, it's hard to explain. Just play it. Anyway, Just play it. Cat needing to practice a song for some school performances or whatever is not that important or interesting. But oh, okay. do you know what this means? We have now reached the final episode in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Yeah. yeah so sudden, only one episode left? Well, it's complicated, yeah. and I'll explain. For now, though, we have Rangers in Reverse. No. Rangers in uh, Reverse. Returns, this time with a new powerful artifact, the uh. Orb of Doom. The Rangers have their hands full. Very creative, mind you. Very creative. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gold arm. It all becomes too much, and Vile uses the Orb of Doom. With it, he turns everyone in Angel Grove into children. No. Which isn't a new concept, 
but yeah. The Rangers are now children, and the giant Zed and Rita are attacking Angel Grove. It's the same kid actors from then, the previous episodes. That's yep. it. Episode. Yeah, and that's the end of Mighty Morphin Power, Power Rangers. Power Rangers, everyone. That's, that's how it ends. Thank you so much Thanks. for watching. Guys, thank I you so really much. I appreciate it. Yeah. What? Uh, what? We're going to be starting yeah. rating out now. Uh, thank you again, everyone. Appreciate I'm you guys. Really thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here. I really, really, really appreciate uh, go to, it. Go to the end screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. I uh, really appreciate thank it. Really, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. So, real talk. That is... <laughs> Actually, where Mighty Morphin so Power awesome. Rangers ends. That is technically okay. where. But <laughs> let's watch a little bit more and see why there's still eight minutes left in the video. So it ends. Okay. That is the final episode of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Kind of a weird ending, right? A hell of a cliffhanger, but hey, the show had to end sometime. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, no, of course the show just doesn't end right there. Oh. Because in order to finish oh. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, we have to enter. Enter a mini series. This mini series <laughs> is canon and obviously oh necessary God. to continue on with the show. So, <laughs> talk about Mighty Morphin Alien Rangers. Kenzan. Is there a cat? What happened? Where did. With the Rangers as kids oh, okay. completely helpless yeah. to the situation. Due to having their power coins on them, the Rangers are able to retain It's them. not Shinobi Change, it's Doron Changer. God, get it right, Curious. It's like you don't even know Super Sentai. Anyways, <laughs> as opposed to Bulk and Skull and everyone else who just assumes they're still kids. With Earth completely helpless, Zordon calls upon a team of alien Rangers from the planet Aquatar. Whoa. The equations are definitely unique. They need water yeah. at all times to stay alive. And since Aquatar okay. is a water planet, Whoa. I guess that makes them speak with a weird water effect over their voices. Huh? It's totally what? not annoying. We shall do everything in our power to come. <sighs> oh, I, oh, oh, I hear don't it. Worry. Okay. That effect never goes away. It's the not are from bad, but it's also not great. Uh, it, it made understanding them a little difficult at times. However, this yeah. effect was kind of... Uh, Made better ten years later. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Was there? Is there? A, if it's not a spoiler, is there a, like a? It's kind of a spoiler, but not. Never really. mind. Just, All right. Just, on. just know that he. This one. This on one. This guy comes back. Okay. He comes back, and, and they Ninja have Man. to recreate the uh, uh, the effect. Okay. Okay. It's the guy from Galaxy Quest. It is. Ranger. The same time the that Ninja Zords, Shogun Zords, and Ninja are from. Yeah. They don't really have any personalities or any other defining features. Yeah. Now, the Alien Rangers miniseries is 10 episodes long, but I'm not going to go over every single it's one. It's bad. The Alien Rangers aren't that oh. interesting. It's bad. They're just there so it they is can get fight scenes. When the child really Rangers bad. are involved, it's really not that good either. It's your typical Home Alone shenanigans. There's literally a part where Cat stands on Tommy's shoulders and they wear an overcoat pretending to be an adult. And since the Ooh. child... <laughs> Uh, Mighty Morphin Alien Rangers or Super Mega Force? <sighs> Super Mega Force. I'd probably still take Super Mega Force too, honestly. I would, I would, I would take Super Mega Force. Mind you, this isn't bad, but it's also not good. <laughs> mm. Anyway. The actors are, once again, terrible. I want to spend as little time with them as possible. Yeah. The of the alien technology, the equations are able to create a device that will yeah. return the Rangers back to their correct ages. They try it out on Billy, and it actually works. He goes oh. to use it on everyone else, but Rito and Goldar show up and destroy the device. And not only that, oh, no. but Zed and Rita join in on the fun, and with their combined powers, actually destroy the power coins, reducing them to ash. So, you, you remember how I mentioned before, they only had coins because they didn't have the morphers anymore. Yeah, not the mor- yeah. And the morphers are broken, the previous ones that they have. Yeah. So, that matters like two or three years from now. Okay. Okay. And just like that, the powers are no more. Also, yes, they did just lose their powers. Zordon like, actually, the actually, gone. Realize now that their only hope is to find and reunite the Zeo Crystal. <gasps> With its immense power, it should be able to do something. So all the rangers Something. go off on yeah, separate true. journeys to find the crystal, needing to. Oh, someone asked how do they get a hold of the coins? So the the reaging device that uh, Billy invented uh, used the power of the power coins, so they had all six of them slotted into it, and then and then, oh. 
uh, Rito and Goldar and that took that. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So, Mighty Morphin Alien Rangers walked so that Avengers Endgame <laughs> could run. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> overcome some personal adversity to prove they're worthy. You know how this goes. Oh, yeah. They all retrieve Absolutely. their piece of crystal. However, Aisha's journey is where things get interesting. Her crystal is in Africa, where a young girl saves her from a lion. Whoa. Her name is Tanya. Whoa. Her and Aisha become friends, where Aisha learns about this village and how they're trying to take care of animals. Whoa. Aisha is a vet, by the way, which I kind of forgot to mention. It was actually a plot line during season three, which was actually, like, not out of nowhere. They did keep it consistent and was well yeah. like documented of mm -hmm. her trying to become a vet so okay. and she actually decides to stay behind in africa to take care of the animals <gasps> and okay. since tanya I need, in her place i need you to remember what? this Zeus. i'm not going to elaborate until later but i need you okay. to remember this play place to return the zeo crystal and save the world kind of a lot to ask of someone you just met hey want to leave your small village to fight monsters and just like that, Aisha is written off the show, making Tanya technically the third Yellow Ranger in Mighty Morphin's history, although the coins were destroyed before she joined, but True. whatever. I'm not sure why Karen Ashley left the show, but apparently she was promised a send-off episode with her and the Rangers being on screen together, not as kids, but I guess it just didn't happen for whatever reason. And with Tanya... I still don't think we ever found out what happened there. Yeah, I don't think Karen Ashley ever came out about why that happened or why they need to write her out of the show um if i had to assume it might have been a similar reason to amy joe but beyond that I, I have no idea yeah okay returning to the command center hey i gotta raid uh let me, let me go say hello to the hello, raiders hello. welcome in raiders my name's roy tonight we're watching some uh power rangers welcome in zeph uh we are indoctrinating i mean educating i mean indoctrinating oh, zeus into uh, mm -hmm. the wild, wacky world of Power Rangers. We're just at the end of Mighty Morphin mm -hmm. Season 3, and we'll be diving into Zeo. Just a mm -hmm. minute. So pull up a chair, kick up your feet, enjoy yeah. some nostalgic trips back to the 90s. And if you have any questions about Power Rangers, please, please feel free to let us know. Mm -hmm. Please do. Kane actually, and I are like, experts. Uh, my, my viewer actually has something to ask. Ooh, okay. Hit us. Ask them if they wish Drac Dracon became oh, a live action thing or oh. stayed in a comic. Okay. So, uh, this isn't a spoiler, I suppose. Uh, so, yeah. obviously, you've now witnessed all of Mighty Morphin, and you know that mm. Tommy becomes a good guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where Lord Draken, this character that uh, your viewer is referring to, I don't see the comments, so I'm, going, I'm just going to say viewer. Sorry, whoever you are. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, this alternate universe Tommy is the what if of if... The spell was broken, and instead of Tommy becoming good, stayed evil. Like, even oh. after the curse is gone. Yeah. So, okay. Lord Draken basically becomes the bane of everyone's existence. Yep. Goes through different timelines, stealing morphers, becoming more powerful, becoming the most powerful, quote-unquote, ranger in existence. Um, it, it was a uh, Avengers Endgame scenario, if you will, uh, mm -hmm. where... Rangers were jumping dimensions, trying to stop this evil Tommy who knew of these other Power Rangers all throughout history and all trying to stop this one Tommy. Um, in this alternate timeline also, it shows that like some of the other Rangers have already died because Tommy has killed them and, and oh, things like damn. that. Yeah, the, the comic is very... Uh, they don't kind of pull punches. No, um, they murder a lot of people. and things like that. Yeah. Um, there, there is a very specific uh, scene of like some team of rangers going to the moon and immediately getting murked. It's yeah, awful. It's, <laughs> it's pretty bad. First male it's, pink ranger dead in like 30 seconds. Loved yep. it, man. Oh my the god. First... Also, someone, someone, uh, also Belmar said like he also has both the white and green ranger powers at oh, the same time. Same time. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he was. He was goaded, goaded. Oh, he <laughs> is. On top sauce. of that, and then adding all the other ranger powers that he was stealing onto his person, and it's just he became this again. Uh, for anyone that knows Lord Dragon, he became Dragon a god, Lord, basically. A god. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, there my. we go. Look at you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Someone asked they if he stole the Red Zeo and Black Dino Thunder powers. I don't think it was either of those. I think it was actually he stole samurai powers. He stole the samurai powers, and that, yeah. that, I think that was the first one, and mm. that that. 
after that, he just kept stealing more and more power. I, I don't remember what, like, specifically the air quotes the last one was, but I do know one of them or the second to last one or the last one was Samurai because it was, I think, what yeah. led to his, uh, like, final form. So... Yeah, Lord Draken. So uh, what they're talking about is right before JDF, Jason David Frank, Tommy, uh, passed mm. away, he was working with Boom Studios, the creators of the comic, and he made a single live action trailer. Which commercial. we can bring up, but might get okay. copyright. I don't, think it, I don't think that'll get copyright. Okay. Uh, I mean, what is it, Shattered Grid, right? Uh, Shattered Grid uh, trailer? Shattered Grid, there it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you can you can kind of see what they're talking about. It's it's really it's like professionally like giga well done. Okay, okay. Isn't the smallest chance of victory enough of a reason for us to keep on fighting? Ooh. The world needs the broken us. morph. One day the great responsibility of being the Green Ranger will fall to you. Make the world. These are real quotes from the show. Yep. Okay. My mission is to bring you back. Let's rock it! Yeah! Silver! Black! Pink! Blue! Yellow! Yeah. Whatever we do, we have to do it together. Power down! Are these, like, all the different These are all Rangers? different yeah. scenes, different yes. Dimensions? Oh my gosh. So many Rangers. So much potential. Squandered for so long. My lord, the generals are ready. They oh, damn. await your command. What's important to me now is my friendship with all of you. Oh, that's so sad. Change. It won't, Tommy. You'll always be one of us. And it's time to set things right. We will invade their worlds. We will tear down everything. That Wait, that armor looks so good, though. Yeah. Then, when it's too late, when their power. The production looks so nice. Oh my God. They will realize the truth. They could have been, been gods. They could have This was a trailer that they made for the, the comics. comics and it, oh my. it worked the comics are i think they the most profitable work. like piece of power rangers media in the past like decade yeah it's mm. like like they're still going now and People doing well fell off of power rangers and saw this happen came back just to ask questions yeah it's, it's, it's a banger. Because it turned dark. Yeah. <laughs> it it's turned dark. It's, it's dark. It's dark. So that yellow ranger and that red ranger that you see in the background of this scene is mm -hmm. under the assumption that um, he takes all the power coins of yeah. like the previous Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and uses mm -hmm. them as sort of like a catalyst for whole armies. So mind you, they're not nearly as powerful. But to any average civilian, if you were being taken over by any sort of Power Ranger... Mm that's you know that's game over yeah. you know so okay. that's how he was able to take over everyone you know so by putting like the coin and giving the powers to a whole army rather than a single person he was able to mm -hmm. take everyone down oh my god yeah it's... okay now i can see why a lot like you guys said that like tommy being like the i guess quote unquote everyone's favorite not only like for being yeah. Yeah. like the good ranger that they are mm -hmm. but it's like as a good super villain afterwards Damn. Yeah. This man is goaded. Yeah. It's crazy. But wait, oh the legacy God. of Tommy isn't over. We've still got Sir, the Zeo crystal is whole again. <laughs> turning everyone back to their proper ages. Hey! Meanwhile, during this Let's entire go. mini series, pretty much, Goldar and Rito invaded the bottom of the command center to plant bombs. And now that they're aware of the Zeo crystal's <gasps> completion, they detonate the explosives. Caught and this is still a massive plot hole that they never explain. Wait, it's a plot hole. So, You'll see. because in in Power Rangers canon and history, and they established this back in the first season, no one without a power coin can should be able to enter the power the oh. command center. Yeah, the command center. The only time that that was like broken was when Lord Zed came in, but he needed permission. 
There's also the movie where Ivan News broke in, but it was by force. Yeah. But Wait, Goldar and Rito. The power coins get shredded and they're gone? Yes. So that's where we're like, they never explicitly say, like, that's the reason they're allowed in. And of the people that are in, it's Goldar and Rito. So it's like. Uh... We, I, I guess the assumption you could probably make is hey, so the coins are gone. We have to make it so the Rangers can enter somehow so maybe let's get rid of the padlock you know maybe uh, maybe it, maybe, it maybe. could be yeah it could be causing the command center to blow up it's so destructive oh, this is actually and chaotic. so messed really up even jumping in the line of fire to save alpha taking a <gasps> massive explosion to the face with zordon commanding alpha to teleport the rangers outside oh. he does so just in the nick of time with the command center completely blowing up leaving the rangers with no powers no Zeo crystals, no Alpha, and no Zordon. And with all of that, concludes Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And it literally ends on that. That is how Alien Ranger ends, is the command center gets destroyed. They have no Zords, they have no powers. Zordon and Alpha are gone. They just the have place, nothing. Yeah, yeah, the place that a lot of 90s kids and anyone else watching this at this point considered home has just blown up. Yep. It's it's a like we talked about the Thunder Swords getting destroyed. That scene still. Anytime I see that scene, I get like yeah, like goosebumps thinking about it. So oh. and promise tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and promise tomorrow. Anyway, promise tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm serious this time. The That's finale it. acted as a cliffhanger for the next season. Power it's Rangers coming. Zio. It's coming. So, hey, if you want to see a video on that, let me know. Which well, already yeah, exists. That's one hell of an ending, leaving the Power Rangers totally helpless and on their own. It seems like a weird place to end things, but I'm kind of glad they decided to move on and create a new series. Yeah. With the addition yeah. of Tanya, the Ranger team is almost completely unrecognizable from the beginning. It only makes sense to freshen everything up. And I don't even know where to begin on how to end this video. Wait, so they literally just this... ended Mighty Morphin? Yes. In yep. that way where, like, yes. there is yep. no more superheroes to help defend. Yep. So what happened yes. with, like, the bad guys? They just leave Earth because, like, so the alien or something? The aliens at this point have already left. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Ninjor is still technically in captivity. <laughs> no, I think I think they did free him by this point. I think he just didn't mention it. Really? I, I think I, he's just gone. I've always been under the assumption that Ninja is still technically unfreed. <laughs> I thought they saved him at some point. If he anyone was... that is nearly as knowledgeable about us can tell me, because I, I, I genuinely don't know. So the reason I say that is because the episode <laughs> where they fight Master Vile's monster, it used Ninja's powers. I think that's when they saved him. Which was like three episodes prior to that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Or three Maybe? episodes prior to the end of Alien Rangers, you know. Mm. But anyway. Uh, yeah. Probably yes. three hour long ended. video. Yeah. I love There's a Power lot Rangers. of plot holes. Mighty Morphin had everything a kid he wanted in a show. Uh, Action, yeah, don't worry about comedy, it. Comedy, silliness, <laughs> drama. <laughs> I think this video was either able so, to read uh, the love you may have had for the show years ago or educate. Maybe I shouldn't start with Mighty Morphin. No interest in Power Rangers coming into this. There is a Netflix movie that takes place in the current day. There is. <sighs> I'll give my is quick thoughts good? on it since, hey, it's a uh, ending story. I think we just let I think we just let them talk about it and yeah. we can okay. kind of like, yeah. And then we'll add on whatever they miss. Yeah. Okay. Boys. The movie takes place in current day with a robotic Rita who ends up killing Trini. Zack and Billy take Damn, it Damn, the effects are great. Yeah. And the big point is is because Tui Trang, the actress that played Trini, uh, passed away like... <laughs> A, a long in time ago, yeah. yeah. So they so this, they had to come up with an in-universe reason for why Trini is no more. Yeah. Okay. So themselves to tell Trini's daughter Min about the accident. Seeing Walter Jones back as the Black Ranger and David Yost as the Blue honestly warmed my heart so much. Aww. Again, due to copyright issues, talking about it would be kind of difficult. But they did an amazing job with the movie. My only complaint was that it wasn't longer. It I will say that is actually like a, I felt it, it felt very rushed. Like it feels like it should have been like an hour and a half, two hours. Mm -mm. Feels like Power Rangers uh, is yeah. supposed to, and even I, kind of matures. I had a lot of issues with it. I admitted that I enjoyed Once and Always. I didn't enjoy it as much as everyone else did, mm -hmm. but I had a lot of issues. I was, mm, I get it, but mm, yeah, but it was a nice send off. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. With the audience. 
still full of campiness, action, and drama. I watched it three times in a row when it came out, I'm not kidding. There's also the 2017 movie that <laughs> happened. What the I, fuck are I, these I, soup? Okay. What love the fuck? this movie. <sighs> Genuinely love this movie. However, I have to preface. <laughs> this movie got absolutely shafted at the box office. Uh, Cause at the, at the same time, there, what was playing? Was it Beauty? No. There was a Disney movie that was playing at the same time and it just Aladdin? kind of went, maybe. I don't think the no, live action Aladdin was, was out yet. It, I thought it was animated. It was, it was something. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, as a Power Rangers film, as a fan, uh, it is like six, seven out of ten. As okay. a As a movie, it is like high seven, maybe eight. Yeah. Like... Like so literally, it's, a, it's actually a decent movie. It's a good movie if you know nothing about Power Rangers. Okay. And if you can get past how ugly the suits and the Zords look. I actually really like. They kind of look the very Zords. alien. I. Really it's funny you say me. that. Yeah. Uh, no way! Don't tell me it's like something Power Rangers alien something. Well, I mean, if you want to get really technical, it, the Mighty Morphin yeah. powers are technically alien. <laughs> True. Yeah. True. Besides the point. Hey, take uh, care, okay. Michaela. Thank you so much for all your work and everything. These toys were the ugly. Glove. Sleep they, tight. They look like Chinatown knockoff toys. Oh, because no. of how wonderful yeah. oh, no. they were. That's why I don't like, like the Zords. They look fine here because, you know, you have the rendering, you have the, it's the suits, the real suits, yeah. and the CG and all that. But the mm -hmm. actual toys for this were garbage. Like, oh, it, garbage. It's, it's really bad. But, yeah, I agree oh, with Kane no. that, like, if, if this almost wasn't a Power Rangers movie, it probably would have actually been great. It would have been probably mm. fantastic if it wasn't Power Rangers. The problem was, it was Power Rangers. Yeah. <laughs> so if you were Damn. someone that, like, knows nothing about Power Rangers, you might enjoy this film a lot. There's... The team chemistry is fantastic. There's a lot of really good storytelling. Oh yeah. Um, I the character interactions with Rita. Uh, Rita is the the woman in the back. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Elizabeth Banks, and then with the yep. rest of the very team. Pretty. Yeah. Oh yeah. my goodness, it is a fantastic film. Yeah. But it wasn't Power Rangers. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, if you do ever want to watch it, it's not it's it's like not unwatchable, but like it's I, good. It's really good. I think my okay. I think literally my biggest gripes is I hate the Megazord, like genuinely. Um and yeah, I well, what does the actual Megazord look like? Uh, I'll let you look that up later. Uh I don't wanna yeah. I don't wanna make people throw up on stream. Um but I, <laughs> I, I, I will not that bad. I will, it's not that bad. I will say the biggest I think travesty of the entire movie, there is one morphed fight scene that is less than a minute and twenty seconds. Yeah. And one that's not great. One more fight scene that is less than a minute and twenty seconds, and it's not good. Okay. There is a, um, a a concept stunt fight that was kind of leaked onto Twitter of what the full fight would have looked like, but they just never used it. Yeah. Production costs that they rushed the film. What happened? Possibly. Hey. I have no idea. No idea. Actually, Boy, have you seen that? I have. It's. Yeah, I mean, really it would have been better. <laughs> it would have been better. It's, it's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, it incorporates a lot of scenes that were used in the movie and then expands mm -hmm. upon it. Um, they just didn't use all of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But anyway, let's cap off Mighty Morphin so we can move on yes. to yes, Zio. Yes, yes. But should then, mm -hmm. This was a show and yes! series I never grew out of. Even as a teenager, I, and I wish it then. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Uh, Tom, someone drew Damn. fan art of me doing this. <laughs> you know what's so funny? That's, uh, wow, they're really sp spread it out as a Listen, someone would say. Listen, it, it was the 90s. He was going for, like, the leg lock so he could, like, flip someone over, you know? Okay. It's so funny because this specific sequence <laughs> is how I met Poseidon because <laughs> Roy was showing this to Poseidon and I had... I had seen that, oh, Roy's live right now. Who, who's he oh, live with? Yeah. And this was on my screen. <laughs> uh, yeah. This was a show and scene <laughs> I never grew out of. Even as a teenager, when I knew I'd get bullied for liking it, 
I still watched it in secret. Hits it. It made me take up martial arts. Hits it. I have so Hits many it. Hits it. from the series. It's not even funny. Heck, I'll probably do a Mighty Morphin merchandise video in the future. That would still be cool. I'd like to see that, yeah. This one little toy commercial of a show created a 30-year legacy that's still going strong to this day. True. And yes, we yes, have yes. a giant head, talking robot, and a ton of teenagers with attitude to thank for that. Thanks for enduring this three-hour journey with me. I hope you had fun, okay. and I would love Don't nothing worry, more than to cover Don't worry, it was nine hours and every single Power Ranger. Three say, extra hours. Yeah, four I was gonna say, four yeah. extra hours. Yeah. And, and a month. <laughs> yeah, and a month. Yeah, and, and so, a month. Yeah. Connor, and thank you again for this. I hope I never thank have you. to watch this video again, because I don't want to have to watch it for a fourth time. <laughs> Yeah, no. Uh, Anyone else you can watch on your own time. Yeah, I, I don't think I can do this a fourth time. Genuinely, though, I think this is one of the best like recaps of of anything Power Rangers related that I've seen in a long though time. Though we don't quite agree with the opinions, yeah, that's completely fine. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, this is possibly one of the best recaps, especially since Connor goes episode by episode. Yeah, what one of the best, definitely. One of, because I know there are other ones out there that I really enjoy as well. Mm -hmm. I, I like seeing a lot of people's opinions, but that is the end of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, uh, which ended in 1995. Okay, okay. And now it's time to. And what year now, is this? It's 1996. Well, right oh, now, just after it's one year. Okay. Oh, yeah, oh, it is two, mean, 2024. Yeah, yeah, you meant. Okay, sorry. I um, no, I mean, okay. okay. Yeah, you you I know what, Zeus? I, I think what's important here is that we are stronger than. Go Zio! Powered up for more! Go Zio! Rangers at the core! Zio! Anyway. Episode in case you missed that. Well, well, welcome to, uh, Mighty welcome to Power Rangers Zio. Rangers was incredibly successful and popular when yeah. it first aired. <laughs> but as time went on, though, the series started to grow a little stale. Yeah. I did a whole three-hour video going through every episode in case you missed that. Whoa. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Missed it. Guys, maybe we should go back and watch the, the three-hour video first. Oh, we should. Good idea, good idea. Really? I, <laughs> I can't do it a fourth time, okay? I did it with you. I did it with Poseidon. I offered it to Hades. She wasn't interested. Uh, and I did it with Kane. Ooh, imagine Apollo comes in oh and be like, hey. God, I heard oh, we wouldn't be able to do it with Apollo because of time zones. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Jacob needed to be done. Some ideas were discussed, like offing the Power Rangers all together to bring in a new team. Dang. Yes, I'm serious. That's wild. Ultimately, the series would get a whole new cosmetic change. A new name, new suits, new rangers. Yeah. They're stronger than before and higher they can soar. <gasps> they are the, thing. the Power the Rangers thing. Is the thing. CEO. Wait, is this? The highest quality the it can be? season of Super Sentai. Choriki Sentai O-Ranger. Choriki Sentai! O-Ranger! Using a brand Ode. new Sentai once again allows Power Ode. Rangers to be a costume show. footage and simply King remind the Was this new season of Power Rangers enough to revitalize the franchise? Well, let's find out. Yes, it was. We kick off the season with a Zeo beginning part one and two. Listen, Power Rangers is still alive today. So if the answer to that was no, we probably wouldn't be watching this video. So yeah, we would okay, not true, be. True, true. But still, spoilers. <laughs> okay. I, I see Curious already mentioned it. We will talk about O-Ranger at some point because there is important history with it that is kind of ironic with the U.S. O history. O-Ranger, which is the source mm -hmm. material for this. Yes. Oh, because okay. unlike Mighty Morphin, where it had three different seasons with Zhu Ranger, Dai Danger, and uh, Kaku Ranger, um, yes. mm -hmm. uh, Zio only has one source material season, which is O-Ranger. This marks mm. the very beginning of each season taking after one Super Sentai, more or less. Um, yeah, but except for each Mega one, Force and Super Mega Force. Yeah, there, there's little bits and pieces thrown in here and there. But each season from here on is taken from one season. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So All welcome right. welcome back to literally exactly where we left off. Like yeah. quite oh. literally the exact scene. They, I think they replay oh. the scene in the beginning of the episode too. Oh, damn. Okay. okay. Yeah. Picking up right where Mighty Morphin left off with the power chamber destroyed and our rangers with no powers. They go through the rubble of the command center and actually manage to find the Zeo crystals. <gasps> yeah. Goldor and Rito did steal the crystals before blowing up the chamber, but I guess the explosion was so powerful that they dropped them. Ooh, interesting question. They dropped it? What? Yeah, they, they dropped it. Yeah, while they teleporting. Oh, that's, that's, that's a, that's a, what? While teleporting. 
<laughs> the plot holes in this is insane. <laughs> yeah. Interesting question. I will I will briefly answer this just because you know we, we like people asking questions. What do you right, see right, as right. the biggest difference between Power Rangers and Common Rider? Um, the first team of all, aspect is the, the biggest thing. The team aspect is a huge thing. Uh, also, one is Japanese, one is American. Um, because they said Common Rider and Power Rangers, not Super Sentai. Right, right, right. Mm. Um. And I'd say the other thing is uh, because even Super Sentai is made for slightly older audiences than, uh, or sorry, not even older, slightly more mature audiences than U.S. audiences. Kamen Rider is a little bit above that, so they're able to delve into slightly more adult plots. And mm. mind you, it's still for uh, children. It's just that what Japan is comfortable teaching and showing children over there rather yeah. than uh, U.S. audiences. This is very, very different, but still regulated to kids. Yep. Okay. Oh, and motorcycles. Also, the suits are technically different. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, suits are definitely different. Yay. Also, bug themes until like theme and armor. two years ago because <laughs> King, King Oger was like the first bug-themed Super Sentai in 50 oh, years. Anyway. I would say the dragon Not armor looks that, very, very nice. find the two mm -hmm. monsters in True. Angel Grove with amnesia. It's because I play Monster Not Hunter, and I like to fight and Elder Dragons. Helpless, <laughs> <also eventually being. laughs> monster versions of Bulk and Skull. Aww. Meanwhile, a brand So in case you missed that, uh, Goldar and Rito are now without memory, and mm. the comic the release characters. The explosion was so big that they forgot everything. Forgot who they are. Yep. Yeah. So now, yeah. <laughs> we have the new Bulk and Skull. <laughs> Yeah. New threat has entered the picture. The Machine okay. Empire, consisting of King Mondo, Ooh. his wife Queen Machina, their child Prince Sprocket, and their assistant Clank. They'll be our new villains for the season. I prefer Acha and Kocha because they go Acha Kocha, Acha Kocha, Acha Kocha. <laughs> they just they just do that sometimes. That's really funny. Anyway, and I'm all for it. <laughs> While I do love Zed and Rita, I did very out of topic, kind of but like their the costume. The mechanic steampunk Oh, Machine thing. Empire? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of, uh, I'm sorry to say, Monster Hunter's, like, Tiastra armor. Oh, kind yeah. Kind of, in a way. Kind of, a little bit. I'm so little happy medieval... you said that, because I yeah. thought that when I saw the armor as well. <laughs> I'm yeah. not familiar, because I don't know Monster Hunter, but I'm going to take your guys' word for it. Uh, I feel yeah. like it's good to show. Oh, yeah, uh, I yeah, think I'll, like, I armor I is very, very mechanical in appearance. Um, but also medieval of as yeah. well, in a way. It's a very mm. nice, uh, happy mix of both. Monster I Hunter see. World. Yeah, I'm still I'll, happy you know that. I'll show you that. So it <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. yeah, I'll show it in the open chat. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, on yeah. my way. This is what it looks like. Yep. It's regal, but not actually at the same time. Very mechanical, it's but very still, beautiful. yeah. Not my thing, but it's beautiful. I'm, I can't find a like a way enhanced image. I'm sorry. That's the first thing I saw. What is this armor for ants? Oh, armor for ants. It looks so good, though. It does. Very nice. It does. Actually, it reminds me of like high elegant armor in FF14. Mm. Anyway. The Machine Empire oh, even manages to blast at Zed's palace, forcing Zed, Rita, Finster, Squat, and Babu to flee. Oh no. They try to escape oh. with Serpentera, but it's once again out of gas. Oh no. Meaning they'll have to stay with Rita's dad. Cool. C cool. Meanwhile, well, the ground yeah. beneath the original command center collapses with the Rangers falling in. Dad lost all the kids. Regain more. <laughs> <laughs> Quite literally. <laughs> Yeah, oh my gosh. Area, Poor the dad. Rangers anyway. hear Alpha's voice and find a teleporter. Goo. They bravely step into the unknown. This is the goo that Michaela went through. And a brand <laughs> new power chamber. <gasps> but no Zordon in sight. Ending part one. <gasps> part oh, two no. kicks off with Zordon. So <laughs> that tension. He's well, right there. never Damn. mind. Alpha and there Zordon he is. apparently built this secondary power chamber just in case something like this would happen. Remember that. I really Remember do. that. Okay. <laughs> Zordon okay. has a plan for, for everything. everything. So he has like 10 billion of these as a backup plan. I so wouldn't say plan... that. Okay. It's I crazy. wouldn't say that. However, however, <laughs> big however, okay. he does have bases elsewhere, but that's already saying too much. Continue. Yeah. Just okay. just know okay. Zordon is like, he's playing 6D chess. Not yes. not 3D, not 4D, not 5D. He's playing 6D chess. 6D, 6D. oh my yeah. god. Yeah, he, he has like all the bases from base A to base Z, just in case, you know? Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh my god. It's way more sleek and futuristic looking. 
Zordon mm. then informs the Rangers about the Machine Empire, and with the power of the Zeo Crystals, they'll be able to gain new powers to defend Yeah! Them. Although, there is one problem. Oh no! There's six Rangers here, but only five Zeo Crystals. Oh. Tanya nobly offers to step down since she's the least experienced. But, mm. it's actually Billy who offers to stay behind. He says that he'll be more useful in the command center, creating weapons and using his big brain to help the rangers from the sidelines. He's not wrong, but sad yeah. That I'll sadly need to go into more later. But we will we will talk about it later, Zeus. It we is, will definitely he's going away, isn't that. he? Oh uh, my god, we're losing every single cast <laughs> from the OG. It's oh. it's not for good reasons. I can tell you that it's much. Definitely oh, it's definitely not good it's, reasons. Just keep that in mind. It's the okay, it's the worst okay. reason we've seen yes. Yet. Um, okay. so. Really, really quickly, because I haven't, we haven't touched upon this. Sure. So okay. you see Tanya now, um, the the girl from Africa now older, mm -hmm. correct? So mm -hmm. because of everything, uh, time shifting and everything, so Aisha is now technically or should be an adult back in Africa. Yep. <laughs> and there's no real explanation for where she kind of ends up from there, um, or why her, uh. Tanya's parents never question why their child is missing and such and so forth. Well, we know about Ta we know about Tanya specifically because her parents aren't there either. Yeah, because they get mentioned later. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's a whole thing, like the time displacement thing. It's a weird little loophole that never quite gets explained. We do at okay. least know that Aisha goes on to create Space Patrol Alpha with Adam. Story. Yeah, but that's like thirty years from now. Thirty years from now. Okay. That listen, don't worry about it. It's they, okay. thirty years later. They start a foundation that will create a special police force that yeah. canonically in world takes place during our year of twenty twenty four or twenty twenty five. So, uh, according to the Power Ranger world, we should have mutant aliens living on Earth and flying cars. Which okay, we have like one confirmed. From Mystic Force, and that was yeah. that was like it. Yeah. Uh, oh, I want to read this just because it's it's very uh, very kind. Apologies if this sounds cheesy, but I stumbled upon you and Kane ranking different morphs, and hearing you two geek out about Power Rangers rekindled my love for the franchise. Thank you for saying so. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear that. Yeah, thank that's you, awesome. Thank you, thank Let's you. Go. I'm glad you enjoyed. Fantastic. Very <laughs> sad moment that I'll sadly need to go into more later. But yeah, with Billy no longer being a Power Ranger, officially ends the original Mighty Morphin era of heroes. Zordon bestows the crystal's new power onto the Rangers. Cat will be Zeo Ranger 1 pink. Tanya, Zeo Ranger 2 yellow. Oh, here we go. And everyone else would get new colors. Rocky being Zeo Ranger 3 blue. Adam, Zeo Ranger 4 green. And Tommy, of course, Zeo Ranger 5 red. Yeah. Zordon tells the Rangers that with their new powers, they'll be better than ever. And that the Power Rangers, as we I've... once knew them, this is such a powerful scene. Wow! This is such a, like, I think we would get DMC aid for this, but this specific scene, Zeus, is so chilling. It's uh, enough to still give me it's goosebumps. The old to this costumes day. being like there as like statues of the original. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's that's just a nice send off. It's Jordan. it's literally. Kind of, yeah. It's um, Zordon literally gives this whole big speech about how um, the Power Rangers, as you know, are gone forever. Yeah. But then talks uh, about how like a new chapter is starting, and as he's kind of like explaining this, it yeah, pans it. over. Oh, you got the whole quote. Go, go ahead. I am very proud of all of you. As Power Rangers, you have served your planet well, but the Power Rangers, as you have known them, are gone forever. In their place has emerged a new and more advanced fighting force. You now have become the become take two. Oh. <laughs> you have now become the Power Ranger Zeo, the next level in the fight against evil. You, you, editor, please take that out. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, that that didn't happen. Mm. But it is it is just genuinely like, and it, it stays like this for the entire season. Where where you can kind of see that the suits are kind of in the background adorning the wall, so it is constantly nice. a reminder of yeah. don't forget the, the sacrifices. Of yeah, those came before. don't forget where you came from. Yeah, and so it's it's, it's really nice. good because mm -hmm. it, it's and Kane and I will probably talk about this a lot, and I know I think Connor in the video does as well. 
like even in the opening theme, it's stronger than before. It's the first yeah. lyric because this is what we were before, but we're never forgetting where we started because we've become stronger than it. So this is Aww. one of the the big things about that I personally prefer of Power Rangers over Super Sentai or Kamen Rider or anything like that is that for the first couple seasons and then technically into the next like 25 years, the legacy of Power Rangers is connected. So you see the legacy build and build and build and, yeah. and you know that there is more Rangers that preceded them and more still out there in the world protecting different parts of the world. Yeah. And that's what I personally love, knowing that these Rangers were technically the first. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, <laughs> that there's a lot of, like, history there. And you don't quite see that in other tokusatsu franchises other than mm. maybe this specific moment and later on mm. it's also oh, nice God. for those like who can't move on like the kids as you yeah. say who can't easily move on yeah. knowing that like you know they're sad about the actual like cast not being there anymore but the fact that they're remembered in such a way that like it feels like they're still there in spirit yeah exactly mm. yeah on forever nice. yep We'll never, ever, ever see the Rangers morph into Mighty Morphin <laughs> never again. Never. That's a long story. Never oh, again. Right, right? Never again. Chamber. Listen, why do, you, why do you have to do my mans like that? Why do you, why do you have to do my mans like that, man? That's not fair. <laughs> hey. pay respects. The Rangers are then given Zionizers, which are their new morphers. You just got to hold them close to each other, There's I guess, point? and then they act. No, 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 new morphers. I love these. I love the Zionizers. They're so fucking cool. Can I see like the what shot do the on the table? Do? So, so you've got this. See that little go no go okay. ahead. You've got this like brace part. And then okay. you've got this this like crystal compartment. See the, mm -hmm. the hexagon right there? That is a piece of the Zeo crystal. Oh this red thing. That is thing a piece right of the Zeo crystal. When that connects oh wait, no, no. That red button at the top. Zeo okay. There we go. What no, uh right under the where the uh the thumb is connects to that red button it activates the powers oh, so the okay. the so you push this button to there this button yeah. this flips down and the light shines through this thing that flips up and it and okay. this is this is the zeo crystal is right here okay yeah. so so they're actually using the actual crystal, not just like, yeah. you know, it's just it infused into them or something like that like it, that crystal it is, is actually it is infused into them but, like, they still have to morph. <laughs> it's, <yeah. laughs> it's it's kind of hard to say. This is yeah. also a thing okay. that I need you to kind of remember going into, like, future seasons. The Zeo crystals are stated to always, as they're in use, progressively get stronger and stronger no matter what. Yep. They no are matter just what. They are constantly So, like, they're growing. wine, basically. Yeah. Yes. The more basically. they age, the stronger they are. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Um, okay. The longer that they are in use or just exist, I don't think that's ever stated, they technically get stronger. Um, okay. Which is why, uh, I don't know if I've ever told you, Roy, or asked you, Power Rangers movie, 2017. Yeah. When they're defending the Zeo Crystal, that's in the movie. When they're defending the Zeo Crystal and the Megazord comes out of the pit, they never say where the Zeo Crystal goes. My headcanon is that it becomes the Megazord. Yeah. It's the reason why the Megazord becomes. That's what thing. I assumed, too. Mm. Yeah. Also, uh, give me a minute. I think my food's here. <gasps> oh, yes. yes. Go yeah, yeah. I'm just going to get my food real quick. I'm going to eat while, while, while listening. Okay, so, perfect. You know. Yeah, give me, give me a hot minute. Ah. Hi, guys. Guys, don't talk about water, okay? We're not allowed to talk about water during Zeo. All water no. talk is banned. Aquatarians? We're not allowed to talk Aquatarians? about water. No, we're not allowed to talk. No water while we're talking about Power Rangers Zeo. Power of water, power of light, powers unite. <sighs> I swear to God. I'm going to throw you off the side of a cliff and then make it so you have to catch your morph from midair and then make it so you only get half morph so before you, you fall into the, the water. water. Yeah. I thought we weren't talking about water. I'm just saying. Gotta, gotta look out, all right? <laughs> I'm gonna make you film an entire unmorphed fight scene on a beach. And then not put it in the... <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Or just because their Zords became the strongest thing on the planet, and since Goldar became a fan... Uh... 
yeah. became a thing, it turned to him. Yeah, that is that's my head canon. So, in the movie, Zordon says that the Zords are based on whatever the strongest thing on the planet was at the uh... time, and so. When Goldar, the reason why the Megazord kind of looks like Goldar is because at that single point in time, Goldar was the strongest thing. That makes sense, and actually. So, by emulating that, and I think, I don't, it, it's never confirmed, but absorbing the Zeo Crystal, now the Megazord has the potential to endlessly grow stronger. Yeah. Absolutely. And where's Zeus? Yeah. I want to keep, keep watching Zeo. We finally made it to Zio. Go Zio. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> oh, also kind of funny that season one of Mighty Morphin, or just Mighty Morphin in general, very much was like magic versus technology. And yeah. then by the end of the season, it started getting a little bit more into like mysticism versus magic because you yeah. know ninjutsu and everything and now it's the reverse of it where it's mysticism versus technology versus machine. yeah yeah I, I really i've always really liked how they they kind of turned that on its head yeah um that always makes me happy so it's really interesting oh man what's the dragon sword doing right now what's titanus doing right now what's ninja <laughs> doing <laughs> Where's Ulrich the Conqueror? What is the Falcon Zord doing right now? Yeah, where's the Falcon? Where are any of the Ninja Zords? Oh wait, they they use them to make the Zeo Zords, don't they? It's with the Master Morph. Sorry. Oh my god. Sorry. Now he just remade it. He just had it remade because he really wanted the Falcon Zord again. Gosh, that's so funny to me. <laughs> hey, professors, what's the best issue of Power Rangers? Do you mean like comic wise? I cannot tell you. If it's the if you're asking about the comic, I cannot answer that. Yeah. However, I've been told that the most recent one, the one that's been being written by Amy Jo Johnson, is very good. But I cannot confirm or deny that. Okay. Um, I've also heard that the Solar Ranger arc is very good. But again, I've never read it, so I can't confirm or deny. Yeah. Um, I read all of Shattered Grid, um, and I enjoyed myself. I don't know if I would say it's the best. But it's all my point of references. Mm. Um, but it was very good. It was it was very very good. I have the comics on my uh, throne. I'm hoping someday that somebody buys like them for me, so I can like read through everything. Because I've only seen like bits and pieces and like story recaps. So like I know mm. things that happen, but I haven't read it myself because Man, I. It'd be so crazy know. if there was a link. Kane. That, like people could click on. To, uh... Kane, they're like ninety dollars. People are not gonna buy them. Man, it'd be because <laughs> it's so like crazy. It's like if the compilations. Like, they See, click on. It's like it's like the big compilation support. ones. Year year they're one, year two, <laughs> year. Oh wait, it's only the first one that's eighty five dollars, and then it just goes on from there. Yeah, that's just what it is. That's just what it oh, do. Yeah. Uh, no, but the comics are very good. The comics are very, very good, and I highly recommend. I've mm. never, I want to collect them. I do, but the problem is, I, I, I have a problem collecting things. I don't really do it anymore, mm. which is awful for me because I am the kind of person that I don't like reading um, comics or manga or anything like or books in general. Without I don't like reading. It being a physical oh thing. Oh. Um, I don't like reading. I don't like digital. reading. Oh, I, I love reading, but I hate doing it digitally. I don't like reading. It bothers me so much. Um, I don't like reading. <laughs> I don't like. I don't like. Oh, Belmore popped in. Tommy comments at the beginning of uh, episode two for this for Zero Beginnings oh. that Ninjor is back in the Temple of Power and has reclaimed the Ninja Zords. Oh, there we go. Okay, oh. thank you so much. Wait, I what about the? That. I guess the Shogun Zords are what gets turned into the. The, the what's it called zords then because i can't imagine that ninja would have taken the shogun zords oh yeah huh yeah. don't you have a birthday coming up i do yeah you you have a birthday, birthday! i do it's not it's not my birthday now <laughs> it, my birthday is april 21st so nine days uh i'm i'm not streaming on that day but i am i am planning on doing like a birthday celebration stream i just can't stream on that day so I, I appreciate how unquestionably Zeus just <laughs> 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 I heard birthday and Roy was like, Oh, 
was a surprise for happy birthday. No, oh, not, not yet, not yet, so not yet. <laughs> it will be. <laughs> it will be. It almost is. It almost is, guys. It almost is. I mean, it's it's just getting a, there. So, hey, yeah. at least advance happy birthday. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that, though, because I couldn't, I couldn't uh, celebrate my birthday with everyone last year because I was mm -hmm. on hiatus. So, but yeah, let's mm -hmm. uh, get back into it since Zeus is back. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Nizers, which are their new morphers. You just got to hold them close to each other, I guess, and then they activate. Yep. The morphing sequence is nice. I love it. saying their Zeo number I followed by it. their color. I love this morphing sequence. It's so good. Although, I'm not really a fan of their suits. They're really ah. basic with some gold around their necks. I am... As time has passed, I really do appreciate how vibrant they are. Yeah, they're very At bright. At the same time, I am not a fan of a lot of the shapes on their helmets. <laughs> I it, it, it's very weird. Yeah, it's hard <laughs> it's hard it. to not look at it and go why there's a giant star on your face. Yeah. Um but as time has gone on for me personally <laughs> because you know Roy and I've been watching this forever. Yeah. You know, these are very vibrant suits and they're iconic suits. So it's like, okay, you know, yeah. I'm used to it. Still not a fan of it, but I'm used to it. Yeah. Mm. Also the lips are weird. Like yeah. weirder weirder on this one than they were on MMPR cuz they're the same color. Yeah. So. Yeah. And I hate the miscellaneous shapes on their helmets. <laughs> Tommy's in particular, I always hated as a kid. <laughs> Stupid star. They're just as dumb as the putties, but can sometimes talk. The Rangers, of course, beat them up and save the construction site. The episode ends on a high yeah. note, with everyone being reinvigorated with their new powers. Yeah. The Zeo beginning two-parter is honestly not that good i so i really liked it but yeah. i understand his point i think he says it's like really slow but i liked it like that because coming yeah. off of like the high of oh my god the command center got destroyed it's like all right let's have some exposition and lead up and wait the way i laid out the story sounded coherent but the actual episodes are just a mess we hold get, on like, really quickly yeah. roy can you check your twitter really quickly <laughs> no Why i don't not? think i will why? I don't oh. think I will. No, it'll be fun. No, I it's don't. It's like Six Flags, but like not as I, fun. I don't. <laughs> no, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. I promise. Do I have to check it'll it on great. stream or do I just look at Twitter? All right, you can just you can just look. I'm sure everyone can just uh, you know take a look from their own ends. Okay. In fact, let me let me just uh, Twitter. Wow, Kira Rose, thank you so much for for but. Damn, that's the whole. F that's the most expensive book you bought me. Holy shit! Wait, what? Kyra. Roy. Oh my Ky god, Kyra! Kyra thank my you. Mod, uh, my mods. So uh, thank you. Thank that you, means Kyra. a lot. Oh, I'm excited. I can finally oh read. God, I can read no! a physical book. And then Kane, it's I'm gonna task book. you. I'm gonna task you with reading it. We're gonna do a discussion <gasps> off stream, and we're gonna make a video out of it. Let's do it. <laughs> we're not gonna make it a stream video. We're just gonna make it a hey. We're gonna talk for like two or three hours about book one. Yes. And then we're going to give it to an editor and we're going to say, we're going to go. A YouTube video. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Have fun. Is, is the book one just basically summarizing the entire story of it's Mighty Morphin? All of no. the comic books are essentially <laughs> what if stories. Um, mm. However, however, comma, a lot of the writers and some of the official showrunners have said that a lot of these are canon to the show, which I oh. don't agree with. Um, it's. It's weird. So, like, the comics kind of take place during the off moments on screen. So, like, anytime okay. they weren't on screen or w whatever. But then there's a lot of what if moments that okay. I don't quite agree with being yeah. canon. But it's okay. You know, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the the book that they got me specifically, I think, is like the first year of issues put together in like one compilation. So it it, it is not just random stories it's the actual like i think it's the story or the the arc two arcs before shattered grid because it's not shattered grid and the one after that isn't shattered grid and then the one after that one is shattered grid so okay yeah but anyway hey uh thank you again uh was it kyra or you. kira keep giving. Kyra. Keep kyra. Roy. thank you kyra. kyra thank you kyra mm. i appreciate you thank you anyway let's go of the rangers talking then we cut to the machine empire spewing evil nonsense then we cut to rito and goldar who yeah they do kind of suck Vulcan skull they do kind of suck get more nonsense with zed and rita trying to retreat 
Ranger stuff again for two minutes, more Balkan Skull stuff, then Zed and Rita, and then the Machine Empire. It's just such a Damn, nightmare a editing wise. Obviously, mm. the thing we care that's about crazy. the most is the Rangers getting their Hey, new happy powers. early birthday. But the fact that we get two comedy segments scattered throughout is really disorienting. Yeah. They're trying to establish too much at once. On a positive note, though, the Zeo theme <gasps> song kicks ass. Do it's it. a bit of a remix Ready? of the original Go Go Power Rangers. Go Zeo! It feels like a power up natural progression <laughs> so of the original good. theme. But with a bigger and better threat on the horizons and the Rangers being more oh. powerful than ever, what lies in store this bikes? season? They do have well, bikes. They do. A lot of Mighty Morphin Season 1. Yeah. Uh, episode 3 is the sh So, Kane and I will talk about this actively, where... I don't know if Zero you felt the same. Zero is fondly remembered. Yes. Amongst the, the community. Yeah. And for good reason, you know, this is the start of something new, if you will. However, <laughs> it's mm -hmm. a whole lot of nothing. You know how we <laughs> until, talked about... The until the Z second half. You know how we talked about the Zeo powers being, like a wine that's aging and getting better as it goes on. Mm -hmm. Zeo is like milk where like the season oh, no. itself was great oh, when it no. came out. But like now that we've had time to pass, we've gone back to look at it. Uh, it's a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> there's, there's like 40 something episodes for Zeo. And like, I think there's only like 10 or 11 actual like story episodes yeah it's really? a lot of filler that doesn't oh, actually my. do anything a lot of filler and there's i i think this is the one that i i, I feel most angry about the zeo opening theme is a banger it is one of the greatest opening themes power rangers has ever created mm -hmm. however comma the music in zeo is some of the worst the franchise has ever had oh god like <laughs> There are so many random songs that are like Big Bang. Big Bang. It still Big has bang. a lot of the, the rock elements that a lot of the previous uh butt rock. Yeah, the butt rock <laughs> that, that Mighty Morphin really <laughs> had. Uh but it wasn't as good. Yeah. No, you know, to each their own, obviously. Yeah, yeah, if yeah, you yeah. found any of them mm -hmm. bangers, you are more than entitled to that. But it, it just was not scratching the itch, if you will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, I am very happy to see Adam get more screen time, though, because I love Adam. So, yeah. Did you guys like 28-year-old year old milk? No. It sucks, too, because, like, we're complaining about it, but it's, like, it's not the actor's fault, and it's not... It's, like, the show writer's fault. It's <laughs> like, the writers. It's yeah. always the writers. Yeah. 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 Shooting star. It's kind of a Tanya-focused episode. She already has a boyfriend. Damn. It's on. That's crazy, what? girl. In the span of a yeah. day, you left. Don't you like how quickly she eight... acclimated to uh, Western society? Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah, she she lived in Africa Look her whole day. life. <laughs> yeah, went from a child straight into an adult, more or less teen. Mm -hmm. Skipped everything in between. Acclimated. <laughs> That's well. Crazy. I think I think Master Vile turned back the clock on the world. I I think is what he did. So I think Tanya was an adult before, or or a teenager before, and then de-aged from the Master Vile thing, and then re-aged back up with the Zeo Crystal. But, but see, still, that's the thing. like we also, aren't they we're back? getting that. That's Aisha. Yeah. Yeah, we're that's we're assuming Aisha a lot. Back in Africa, that's the thing. Like, yeah, I understand that completely. However, we're kind of just guessing. Yeah, she got a okay. social security card and everything. Yeah, oh like my God. seriously. <laughs> oh my God, who's she staying with again? Cat, cat, and her parents so? or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they just super gloss. Up. Hey, man, the nineties. Hey, uh, I have this friend that just really needs a place to stay. Do you think they could live us w live with us uh, for till college? Till college? For till for till college? <laughs> Anyway. Age 10 years out of nowhere and are a superhero fighting off an entire ah, machine empire. I don't worry about and it. you already got time to find the guy? Anyway, that Tanya is, crazy. is tutoring this guy Sean in math or Third whatever, strike music. but he actually mm -hmm. just ends up stealing the answer oh, sheet and plans on cheating. He tells Tanya this for some reason. That face. Oh, my. I love Nakia Barice. I keep so much. Forgetting to gift this. 
I keep forgetting to gift this. We go, this yeah. is such a good reaction image. There's some really good reaction image images in in Zio, honestly. Yeah. Like the why would you do this? <laughs> why, why would you do this? Why would you do this? <laughs> or was it why would you do that? I can't remember now. Why would you do that? <laughs> we'll find out. Reason and she tells him that cheating on a test is bad and he won't learn anything. Meanwhile, we get wow, some more and skull shenanigans. I forgot to mention, but Rito and well, Goldar stumbled upon the wow. two, and Bulk and Skull took them under their wings, wow. essentially making the monsters their slaves, which is uncool. But yeah, instead of a comedy duo, we now yeah. have a comedy quartet. Which is weird. It's not monster, very good. And, well, you know, the Rangers fight it. We do get some interesting stuff though, with so Billy being hard at work nowhere? creating weapons for the Rangers, yeah. such That's as the Zeo oh, Megazord. Gosh. I would say it's insane that Billy can just create a Zord, but he made a flying car. Anyway. He made a flying car. Yeah, true. Okay, yeah. So good, good like anything can happen. Good like power scaling idea of like Billy now knows how to create Zords. Yeah, which is again, uh, the reasoning is bad, but it's mm -hmm. a good reason for Billy to step back and become the 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 guy in the chair, yeah. if you will. The tech support. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> the reasoning is bad. The IRL reasoning is bad, but oh, no. it creates good lore, and it's a it's an unfortunate thing that becomes very prevalent as the season goes on. Yeah, unfortunate, unfortunate circumstances in real life create really good lore, and it's so bad that it ends up that way. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, God. He thinks possible. As much as it sucks, Billy isn't a ranger. I do really like him in this role. Yeah, he's kind See? of the backbone of this whole operation. The rangers destroy Same the monster, thing. and Sean learns that he shouldn't cheat on a test. I totally forgot that was going on. <laughs> Surprise. Rangers. We finally get a Rocky focused episode and they <gasps> also finally music. give him some kind of character. He's a bit of a lazy slacker class clown. <laughs> Great. That's what we came up with. Which is kind of <laughs> kind of an episode oh, or two we had in season two of Mighty Morphin. Mm. He's an idiot. He's the pachinko machine. Yes. He clearly has a crush on. They're doing some computer project and she's taking it super seriously, while Rocky is more focused on flirting. Not well, might I add. I mean, oh, God. that man says zero is. Yeah. Not, not a responsible. Not a reason. Naturally, the cogs ambush Rocky and Adam. They manage to fend them off, but not without stealing away the project. Oh. The project is a fighting oh, no. game the two are working on, and oh, the Machine no. Empire are able to use that programming on a monster. Oh, no. I like that aspect about oh, this no. villain group. Oh, no. They're able to essentially oh, no. use any oh, piece no. of technology to their advantage. But with <laughs> Billy's help and the new Zeo helmets on the Megazord, they destroy the monster. I love the Zeo helmets as a concept. So the, the idea is each of the, the five Zeo Zords that form... Helmet. Yeah, so they all have a helmet. So they all have different powers. Red's is inside the Zord and whatnot. But yeah. Anyway, continue. So red has the sword. Uh, green's is. It's just another helmet with horns. Yeah. Oh. Um, blues is gravity powers. It's a giant. Oh wait, that's pyramid. nice. Yeah. Um. um wait, yellows. So all, all helmets are all different powers. Yes. Yes. Uh, which so... which makes for some really unique fights. But as soon as they introduce the helmets, they never show up again. Yeah. It's like the Metallica well, like any armor. other series or? Oh, no, just, just like this, just this series. Just this where, series. Like, the helmets okay. are like the, the oh, gimmick. Oh, sorry. The, the Megazord the, gimmick. The, the hem helmets for the Megazord, not the Rangers. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Took me out there for a second. I got okay. you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. That's and Rocky even manages to I hate it here. To a date. <laughs> You know, after she called him an idiot for losing the project in the first place. Yeah, she like screamed at him. It's yeah. really funny. Right out loud. That's exactly Borger? what I was doing during this episode. Borger? So Tommy and Cat oh. are paired Borger? together for a school Borger? project on family Borger? care and relationships. Borger? So to make the project Borger? more realistic, Cat makes them look after a real baby. Thanks, Cat. Uh, Borger. The only thing uh... notable about this episode <laughs> is Tommy. <laughs> Seeing him in a vulnerable position is something we haven't actually gotten in a long time. He's usually Mr. Perfect that can handle anything. So seeing him actually <laughs> human is refreshing. The rest yeah. of the episode is super yeah. annoying. The Machine yeah. Empire enhances this baby's They don't make him human well, levels. though. That's, no, that's my big it, issue. It's like, let's make him human and a piece of shit. It's like, oh. Yeah. It's uh, like, oh. Here's this legend, you know, that's been training in martial arts all his life and blah, 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 and saving the world. And then in his off time, he's just a bad person. 
Yeah. It's not, bad habits. it's not his baby, guys. Kat just abducted a child, you know? Yeah. It just, I don't, did they ever explain where she got that fucking baby from, man? Holy Please shit. Please tell me they did, because ah, don't, don't tell me they actually just abducted a child. That's crazy. <laughs> anyway. And the Rangers gotta find the source of the power. Also, this is such a dumb plot. Literally, the monster, like, hits the baby they're looking after that anytime it cries, huh? it does, like, sonic screams. And, like, if it screams long slash loud enough, it will, like, destroy the world because it's so destructive. Yeah. That is... Yeah. And destroy okay. it. It's just, you're yeah. hearing a baby cry for 20 minutes. It's it bad. It's annoying. It's bad. Rangers in the outfield. Oh, Turns out uh... Tanya is really good at baseball. She accidentally Whoa. ends up embarrassing her boyfriend, Sean. Casey forgot. That's oh, crazy. Damn. Because she struck him out with her fast pitches. <laughs> He's embarrassed because she's a girl and... He's a boy. Oh man! Oh my God! It's sexism. Oh, this kind of episode. Meanwhile, King Mondo sends down a monster. Let's go, Johnny! Baseball. <laughs> There's go kart chases, oh. and go kart fight scenes, and then chase my scenes God. and fights on paddle boats. What the heck? Okay, what all right. Happening? Listen, Oranger. Okay, now is probably boy. now is probably a good time to talk about Oranger. Um, okay. So, Choruki Sentai Oranger uh, mm -hmm. was the nineteenth season. Because Car Ranger was the anniversary season, wasn't it? Dude Ranger was 16. And then Dire Ranger, Ranger. Was 17. Kaku Ranger was 18. So this is 19. 19 okay. Yes. So O Ranger being the 19th season and and um, them wanting to kind of change things up. Because the past couple of seasons they had done were very much themed. You know, we had the dinosaur themed team. We had the Chinese mm -hmm. mythology team. We had the Japanese mythology team. Now they're like, hold on a second. We haven't done like boots on the ground military type team since like Super Sentai started. So they were like, we're going to go back to the basics and make a very much an, a military organized Super it's Sentai very team. Very serious. Very serious. Very like, hey, there's this invading alien force. They're all machines. We are working with the, I think it's just called the UA, which is just the United Alliance of like yeah. military or whatever. It's, it's an Air okay. Force team. But they they are the Rangers. It's that military faction is the Rangers. Mm -hmm. It's like Kane said, it's very serious. It's very dark. For like the first 10 episodes, monsters don't even talk. Like, it's that serious. Like, they're just machines Damn. that are trying to kill people. For the first 10 episodes. It's something so like that. Automatons. So, the problem is, um, have you ever played Yakuza before? No, sadly. Are you, are you familiar with Yakuza at all? I've yes, never played I, I either. Am, yeah. Okay. In, in Yakuza, there's this really funny uh, side quest that you can do as Majima, um, where you uh, join a cult. And the, that cult is actually a parody of a cult that existed in Japan. Uh, this cult was so prominent and so dangerous that oh, they I actually know you're talking about. So that cult was very active and prominent during O Rangers airing and attacked oh, the Tokyo uh, trains uh, oh, train systems. The train station. Oh yeah. My so the God, sarin gas this... attacks that happened. Yep. Oh so my God. because that happened while O Ranger was airing, Toei was like, "Whoa, maybe not a great idea to have like our children's show." be so serious because the world is literally so serious. So oh, no. in the middle of the show airing, they decided to pivot it into being not as serious. And mm -hmm. there's a lot of tonal whiplash. So um, that's why you get things like this. where like, hey, it's supposed to be super serious, like boots on the ground military. Oh, they're in go-karts. Oh, they're in paddle boats. Oh, there's a screaming baby. Um, like it, it make it makes sense. Yeah. At this, yeah. And it I can't actually blame them. it actually almost ruined Super Sentai because the ratings oh were God. so yeah. bad. This is marked as what could have canceled Super Sentai altogether. Yep. Because of how serious and how poorly received it was. Yep. Uh, luckily, and we'll talk about it when we get to it. The season after this did the reverse of that and saved it. So and okay. saved it, which ironically nearly ended Power Rangers. <laughs> yep. So this season for Power Rangers, Z Zio did really life back really into the well, franchise. really good. And I got game. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, so, that yeah. was a dark topic. <laughs> it, listen, we've got a couple other ones to talk about, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll start there. We'll start there. That's okay. that's one of the bad yeah, topics to of Zio. Uh, no, we probably We're started the with the best one. In Japan, no, yeah. <laughs> we probably started with the best, the better one. I I'm not gonna lie. Oh, God. Yeah. 
Anyway. This is aggressively anyway. Japanese. Yeah. The episode also doesn't end on a happy note. Normally, the boyfriend would realize he was being a jerk about a girl being better than him at baseball. That's crazy. But no. Tanya wins the game, and he's still upset about it. So she chews him out and breaks up Oh, my God. Girl, break up with him. With him. She did. I'm glad she I did. Listen, <laughs> Tanya, Tanya, a this boss. Scene actually goes pretty viral on Twitter often, I feel. It's pretty just Tanya just yelling at him. Yeah, she stands up for herself. It's one of the most real and genuine things I've ever seen. Yeah. Damn. It's, you have base. It's good. She's mm. awesome. Their relationship. She's awesome. We love Every a girl boss. Absolutely. Day. Cat brings in a police dog that can sniff oh, fires. So cute. The dog eventually leads her to a cave, though, where the machine oh, empire is. Her hair like that. Really so the nice. the it is. Pasting the planet in lava. Damn, that's kind what of brutal. Fuck? Okay. Yeah. I really like this episode, since there's no dumb teenager subplot. Cat gets noticed by the cogs and tries to put up a fight. She gets knocked down a mountain and damages her communicator and more. Oh, no. It's nutty. So she attaches her broken equipment to the dog's collar and sends him to the juice bar for help. And she just has to survive until reinforcements arrive. First real oh, good episode a... of the season with nice tension and yeah. solid action. So, I want to talk about the Super Sentai equivalent to this episode. Mm. Uh, pretty similar. Uh, the, the pink ranger is out like investigating and and finds that there's like unusual like heat spikes in this area so she comes here to mm -hmm. investigate and she runs into a dog and the dog is apparently supposed to be like like people have seen the dog before and they think that it just lives in the forest or whatever and she fights she gets her ass kicked i think she ends up breaking her leg during it and oh. like is actually limping for like the rest of the episode even like in suit so it's like really like mm -hmm. impactful and she also does the same thing. She gives her broken equipment to the dog. But the the bad guys realize that the dog is trying to, like, get that signal out to her, like, team and try and attack the dog. And the dog is running through real, like, triggered explosions. And it is... Oh, my God. The scene goes so fucking hard just seeing this dog run through, like, legitimate stage explosions yeah. of, like... And then this, this dog is a trooper! Yeah. He's just going. <laughs> the dog is built different. Hey, that dog They're was built different. That dog, different. That dog built, built different. different. Stronger oh than my before. God. Nah, that dog was built diffy. Uh, oh my god, that, that the, dog is a fucking god. They got all the fucking Zeo crystals, bro. Wow, it's so yeah. funny you said god because he's actually the god of the mountain, which is. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why he was there. And that's why he was asking the pink ranger for help. So, <laughs> anyway. Wow, coincidence. The yeah, there you go. <laughs> There's this popular in-universe kids show host named Captain Pete and his little robot friend. Captain Pete. Naturally, the Machine Empire take control of it and oh, put no. the kids under mind control. Oh no! It's another oh, whatever no. episode. Oh. The best parts are actually with Adam training Tanya on how to do martial arts, since oh, so you know smooth. that's Look kind that. of important so when you're a Power Ranger. I would have. I also just love episodes like this because it's like, well, Tanya's not a martial artist at all. Neither is Cat technically. Mm. So it's nice to see them train preferred more of this stuff as opposed to more annoying kids we don't actually know anything about tanya and adam is just there yeah the of just the there okay <laughs> poor adam dude he deserves so much better uh, he talks about this pretty often too where yeah. he was the background ranger oh yeah, yeah. i yeah. remember we talked oh, you guys talked about it where like he had an interview saying that like i'm just mostly the background i barely talked yeah Unfortunately, unfortunate. unfortunately, Zeo and Turbo, it's it's still very much a thing. Uh, he definitely oh, gets God. more limelight in in Zeo and Turbo than he did in Mighty Morphin, but mm -hmm. um, honestly, it's not until certain other events later in the franchise that I don't want to spoil. Uh, okay. That he but actually becomes a very big and prominent uh, fan favorite. Yep, it's mm -hmm. it's why he's my favorite Ranger is is like those moments. So okay, okay. Yeah, what's Adam's style? Yeah, punching and kicking style. I like that. <laughs> the Vongole style. Rocky, Kat, and he just shoves a ring into a box. Know, I believe. So yeah. Rocket gets the idea that to make sense. his own movie, starring the Rangers and their immediate destruction. Again, it's a pretty alright episode. Prince Rocket is actually a really fun villain. I thought he'd be more of a comedy throwaway character, kind of like Goldar and Rito, but he's probably the most involved with creating plans and wanting to see the Rangers' destruction. Which is mm. ironic because it's like that in the Sentai too, where he's the child, but he's the most sadistic out of everyone that comes up with plans. Yep. As yep, for yep, the rest yep. of the episode, it's really weird. The Rangers get trapped in some dimension where they need to fight off this sink monster that shoots water what out of its faucet. 
And All right, listen. Remember what I said about O-Ranger was like, it wasn't in a great place and they weren't really sure what to do with monsters? Yeah, but... There you go. Then they find their way out via a chicken coming out of a well. They yeah, down uh, O-Ranger. Well, and it takes them to the desert where they are riding horses... Yeah, O-Ranger. ...to save a bus from driving off of the cliff. Yeah, O-Ranger. And I guess the day is saved somehow. None of that makes more sense than O-Ranger, I promise you. Okay. Yeah. That was the most Power Rangers thing to ever happen. I'll just, I'll just <laughs> give it a pass because <laughs> of the really bad times. Episode. After a clerical error, it turns out that Billy has enough credits to graduate high school early. <gasps> Everyone's excited, apart from Billy himself. Naturally, he feels a bit directionless. He's now not only not a Power Ranger, but now doesn't even get to have the normal teenage high school life with his friends. Dang. Meanwhile, Sestro, the blue alien ranger, crash lands on Earth in search of Billy. Whoa! It seems there's an issue on alien Rangers. that requires Billy's genius mind. All while this is happening, King Mondo sends down a monster to try and hijack Sestro's ship and utilize its advanced alien technology. It's another really solid episode. It has plenty of great action mixed in with the drama of Billy. He's on the fence about up and leaving Earth to help the alien rangers. But by the That's end of the crazy. episode, Billy decides to actually leave Earth and help the Equations. What's sad is that he doesn't even say goodbye to the other rangers. He just kind of up and leaves. To be fair, wasn't oh, it like... Wasn't it like the middle of a fight that he like left that they were like they had to go or something yeah, like they, that? It was like it was very, very rushed. Like, listen, I know there's a fight happening and I know you need to be here to be like the backbone and the person in chair, but we need to go. Yeah. We need to go right now. Yeah. They're they're literally saying, like, I know you got like this these friends of yours you gotta say goodbye to, but you know, our 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 plan is kinda dying. So we if need, you could we need just, you. You know, hurry up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, could, thanks. <laughs> so Billy went Our to Aquatar. It's polluted, and you need to be the bro. Our planet <laughs> is <Yeah>. falling. <laughs> the danger, danger will we'll test you. you. Better make Better an alliance be rescue. rescue. <laughs> anyway, this isn't the end of Billy, and he will return to Earth in the okay. near future. He'll come back, Zeus. Don't worry. And besides, okay, I thought this was like the end. They're gone. They just write Billy like he's nothing. Yeah, they wouldn't just write Billy off the show like he's nothing, right? They wouldn't right. write Billy off the show like he's you nothing. Bet. Yeah. Right? They just write right? Billy off the show like he's nothing. Right? Right? Guys? Anyway. Anyway. Any, anyway. Focused episode. Once again, You're okay? showing off his Look, a few anyway. bad scenes. Again, few bad scenes. Great character choice for him. Okay. Yeah. The class have to grow plants for some school projects. Wow, plants. Rocky grows this monstrous plant that eats metal. Adam asks him where he got the seeds, and Rocky just says, I don't know. Good answer. Dude, can we just talk about how crazed he looks here? Steve, what are you doing, man? Steve Cardenas, please, homie. Oh my god. Naturally, this leads to the plant growing in size and into this giant monster that the Rangers need to put down. No. Mainly Rocky, since, you know, it's his mistake that got us here. Yeah. Still a nice episode that lets Rocky take charge a bit. A little Instrument bit. Instrument of Destruction. <gasps> this, in my opinion, is probably the best episode of the entire yes. season. We finally get yes! an Adam Focus story. 12 episodes in. Yeah, Seriously, finally. He's not beating the background ranger allegations. Oh, he anyway, is. Angel Grove High has this hooded piano player that plays beautiful classic music. King Mondo hears this and wants to kidnap him as a gift for Queen Machina. Oh. So he sends down the cogs to kidnap them. But I always forget that's why. Adam. Meanwhile, Adam is forced to take a music class for school because he signed up for classical writing, an elective he's already taken multiple times. <laughs> which is honestly kind of funny because that's exactly what I did in middle school. Gotta I took love that creative writing class. class like four times because I knew it would be an easy A. So seeing a Power Ranger do that makes him like me for real. For real, Throughout for real. the episode, we see cogs and monsters alike trying to steal this mysterious piano player, each time being stopped by the Rangers. <laughs> From the end of the episode, though, Adam manages to sneak up behind this mysterious piano player you and reveals this? their identity. And it's none other than Skull. We oh? <laughs> I was what? waiting! Oh, I love the genuine... Huh? <laughs> he is the Phantom of the Opera. I'm so happy I get to experience it. Oh my god, did they, did, they ask, did they accidentally kidnap <sighs> Kimberly or some shit like that too? <laughs> no, this is Skull. This Angel is of music, look at this. This is genuinely Skull. So here you go, I here know, you go. I know, but oh my god. We got you, don't worry. We get this really oh heartwarming my... scene between Adam and Skull, where we learn that Skull actually likes classical music and has been practicing since he was three. But he hides this passion because he thinks it would be seen as uncool. Even dropping the line, I don't want anybody to laugh at me. 
which kind of oh. hurts even more after watching Mighty Morphin, where almost every episode would have Bulk and Skull being embarrassed and getting laughed at. Skull's yeah. also afraid of what Bulk might think, and Adam tells him that if Bulk's really his friend, he'll understand. Later that night, there's a concert where Skull performs on the piano. Bulk shows up and is in shock to see it. After Skull's song, Bulk goes up there and tells him that that was the most beautiful thing he's ever seen. And Aww. everyone gives Skull a round of applause. Do you want to say the thing, Kane? No, go for it. So, aside from this being very heartwarming, uh, Jason Narvi, mm. who plays Skull, is actually classically mm. trained in piano and played piano during this episode. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. So it was a very nice, like, you get to kind of lift the veil a little bit and be yourself. So Jason Narvi also is a currently a very well established uh, and respected college professor in the arts. Oh. Yeah. Um, and so they're so smart. They're so incredibly smart. And so knowing that and then seeing this is wow. There is a that lot is going so on nice. behind the scenes. Yeah. Seeing these characters just grow into these well respected characters is just fantastic. Also, just great because we don't have to worry about their friendship and bulk shows that it's like, hey man, like that was amazing. Like that's you can that do was amazing. Whatever you you want. Why, why didn't you tell me? Yeah. <laughs> like, literally, I think that's the line. He's like, why didn't you tell me? You know, like I love that. It's just, it's just that amazing. is so nice. Yeah, th these are the things that I think are especially for a lot of kids that were watching this. It's very impressionable, you know, that. Yeah. You know, yeah. This is like, to yeah, not hide I can just passions. be myself and the people mm -hmm. who love me will love me regardless. Yep. Yeah, exactly. That's, the episode that's a just good has message. so much heart. I also liked how the episode dropped hints that it was Skull this whole time. Bulk makes fun of classic music at one point and Skull doesn't laugh. He mentions that Adam is pretty good when he plays some basic tunes. And seeing the comic relief character have a heartfelt moment with the ranger always feels nice. We needed more moments like this. It also helps yeah. that Jason Narvi actually knew how to play the piano and had some serious talent at it. Yeah! Let's hope we get some more genuine Bulk and Skull stuff like this, though. This is this kind of thing that Zio needed more of. Like yeah. This kind of storytelling. Because you had already established all these characters over time, right? So this isn't brand new content to mm -hmm. anyone watching. Mm -hmm. But it needed more of this. Yeah, absolutely. Heartwarming episodes. Yeah. Man. Yeah, instead we we go snowboarding. We go snowboarding. Yeah. We go snowboarding for like four episodes. I do love snowboarding. It's not It's not fun. <laughs> I've really? never been to snow before. <laughs> I was going to say, hold on. Are you a snowboarding superstar and we don't no. know it? No. Zero <laughs> God of the slopes? Oh, damn. No. <laughs> this That's just in. wild. Guys, I've never been to the lore. Please. Add that to the lore. Kumlapins, no, add no, that no, to the lore. No, 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 no. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Feeding my chat misinformation. I mean, listen, maybe it's the lore they want to hear. You know? Yeah. Maybe this is what they want for their goddess. You know? After every girl fail failure, I'm finally good at something and it's snowboarding. snowboarding. <laughs> no, I'm so good at snowboarding that I've never tried. Girl oh failed your God. way into being an amazing <laughs> snowboarder. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Disclaimer, <laughs> Zeus has never seen snow. <laughs> um, <no. laughs> that you know of. The oh only snow God. that uh, Zeus has ever seen is the freezer burn of air. Yeah, 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 you're right. <laughs> or uh, a hollow hollow, if you will. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please, just move on, move on. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh this my cool god. This new thing called the internet. Whoa, the internet. The what? The internet. Wow, the internet. Yeah, because 1996. No That's way. That's crazy. That's... Hold on. Do you think they have twitch.tv slash Roy Kiato and Zeus Mythos VT on there? Whoa. I hope they have oh. twitch.tv slash Kane Knight. I don't, think, no, I, don't think, I don't think they do. No, there's no Discord. It's I, only Twitter. I never remember if you have the underscore <laughs> everywhere or not. <laughs> That's just Twitter. Twitter is the only one that has that. Okay. okay. <laughs> What's oh the my internet? God. A mistake, let me tell you. VTubing was <laughs> <laughs> oh You can gosh. send emails and do all kinds of research on it. Nothing makes me happier than seeing old ass 90s internet. Oh my god. Tanya accidentally downloads a virus and we get this dramatic countdown like like that's how that works. And yeah, viruses. Doing some epic matrix hacking to stop the virus. 
This gives King Mondo the idea to infect all of the technology on Earth with a virus. Which is actually genuinely a cool episode in Oranger, Ranger, but he, this one is not that cool. Making everything now functional <laughs> I hostile. I got jump scared, so we find something. Oh no! That's right, everyone panicked, but if they walked Power Rangers I heard the thing and I was like, oh. Oh my god. Gave me a fucking heart. So the Rangers need to fight and destroy this monster that's the source of the virus. And make the internet a safe place once again for everyone to visit. Yay! The internet is still a great place for happiness. Oh yeah. The internet is a great place, right guys? It's great for all of us, right guys? It's great for all of us, right guys? Right guys? all of us. It's right. an amazing, amazing right, guys. thing that we have, right guys? Right, guys. right chat, chat. <laughs> right, guys. It's so good. Huh? <laughs> it's so good. Well. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. The with Billy saying that he's already helped the Equation Planet and is on a spaceship heading back to Earth, leading into Aww. the next episode, Mr. Billy's Wild Ride. On his way back home, Billy's ship gets blasted by King Mondo. Oh no! Destroying all controls, oh, no. most form of communications, oh, no. and even the heat. Not only that, but the ship is now on a direct course for the sun. Oh no! Which I guess solves the cold problem he was facing. That's it's true. a really well-paced oh, episode. Slowly, things start to go more and more wrong. And without Billy actually in the command center, they have no idea what they can do to help. I'm gonna it put a cooler on my Empire phone because I see it. Uh, some kind of plan on Angel starting Grove, to lag a little bit. And the bit. Rangers ambush them and steal a device. This allows them to shoot a beam into space that can correct Billy's trajectory and bring him back to Earth safely, where I'm sure now he'll stay with the team forever and ever. Right? So, as you may have noticed so far, sure. a lot of these episodes yeah. feel like Mighty Mouse. No, 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 keep going, keep going. Don't, don't, the don't answer. Thank you for the funding of Uncharted. The monster of the day shows up Stop giving me heart attacks, please. Sure, oh my god. <laughs> too I was, I was drinking. I was drinking. <laughs> and then that, that sound came along. I was like, oh. The batch of episodes. There's no there we go. Like those toys. Snow now it's time. Part one. The episode starts off like normal, with everyone hanging out in the juice bar. That is until Tommy receives a letter. A letter oh. from Kimberly. She says everything in Florida is going great with her Olympic training and whatnot, but she says that something's happened. Oh no. She's met a new guy. Oh no. Someone <gasps> that she's fallen in love with. <gasps> Kimberly breaks up with Tommy via letter. By she a told letter? Him to text it if they had cell phones. E yeah. I, I'm gonna be real. So, small spoiler. They actually okay. wrote. They actually wrote this in the comics, and I I really liked how they wrote it in the comics. I, how Kane, how is it done in the comics? First, Kane, do you know how they wrote this in the comics? I, it was written in pink, right? I believe so. I I remember seeing it, but I don't remember what it was. So the the whole thing was, uh, Kimberly felt guilty. For moving away and she felt like she was holding tommy back oh so she invented Reply this way. a fake boyfriend that didn't actually exist to kind of let him oh. go because even though she was chasing her dreams she felt that by forcing him to stay attached to her and still be a ranger still technically in a relationship yeah because they're still together so she broke up with him to let him go kind of thing and so it, it's a very yeah. well like written like couple of panels but it's also very heartbreaking it's very sad yeah so yeah there was not another guy she she lied about it god so. damn it dark <laughs> dark and then kimberly goes on to marry skull and have a kid with so that okay so that's where the the the, the fan theories come in is is oh. because she didn't end up with that guy or with tommy mm -hmm. but then skull all of a sudden has a kid in samurai and it's like ooh, hold on a minute a lore <laughs> mm. you know what i mean mm. yeah could be anything could even be Sus. a boat Sus. still kind of a dick move saying uh i don't love you uh wait oh with the whole like skull and kimberly <laughs> thing i mean yeah. yeah but that's like they were high schoolers, you know? They were stupid. They were high schoolers. They were, yeah. until, like, I guess, like, maybe if they grew up into, like, adults now, and then they yeah. realized they have a lot more in common, then I guess it would make sense. True, true, true. Yeah. But yeah, it's a pretty heavy way to start the episode. Tommy, of course, needs to step away for a bit to be alone. We get a montage of Tommy and Kimberly, and it's pretty sad. Yeah. Tommy has Aww. always been portrayed as Mr. Perfect, so it's like, how much better could this new guy really be? 
The out of How universe reason for the breakup been? was most likely due to Amy Jo Johnson no longer being a part of the show. I mean, yeah. And a romance yeah. between what's essentially the show's main character and someone we'll most likely never see again didn't make much sense. Never see again. We'll never see Whoa, again. That's, we'll never that's see again? That's Yeah, we'll never see Kimberly again. We'll never see them again. Oh god, we are, aren't we? No. No. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, snowboarding. Uh, cat take him to a snowboarding for a weekend of fun. Snowboarding, of okay. Is honestly just also, I do think my phone was overheating because that fixed my tracking immediately. Oh, oh gosh. gosh. During this montage, what happened? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you ever do one of these, Zeus? You know, just <laughs> what? Shred shredding on the slopes? <laughs> just shredding on the slopes. <laughs> <laughs> I oh my gosh! I'm never no, gonna play Pokemon no, Scarlet with you anymore. No, no, no. <laughs> no wait, please, please play with me. No, <laughs> the idea of you in your oh outfit gosh. with no snow clothes or anything, just and you're not cold, mind you, because you're a goddess. Just shredding <laughs> it's but, so funny but they have to have like the most generic pair of sunglasses too while they're doing yes. it. Oh my yes, god. Yes, yes, yes. Oh gosh, that's so funny. That, I love that. that is so funny. Just having to shred through the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> on a lightning bolt, mind you. Yes! Oh, that's bolt, that's the shit. snowboard, is a lightning bolt. Easy. Oh, stop giving me stop All right, giving me my uh, like, fan artists, fans get on that. Artists, the ideas. Yeah, fan artists, oh, get on that. Oh my god. Thanks. Stop. Appreciate it, guys. <laughs> Hi, Colt. Oh my gosh. Thought he needs a snowboard when he's not in the sky. I know, that's crazy, right? Crazy. <laughs> and Billy actually run into a famous snowboarder, Heather, and hang out with her. Whoa! Teasing a possible attraction between her and Tommy. The car I would like to point out, Tommy is a high schooler. Canonically a teenager right now. In universe. Mm -hmm. This pro snowboarder is a full ass adult. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, anyway. Oh, sent to attack the Rangers and anyway. the safety markers mm. on the hill. Where Heather flies anyway. past it and is barely hanging on for ah. dear life. Ending part one. Part two kicks off with Tommy using his smarts to tie everyone's jackets together to use it as a rope to save Heather. Whoa! Furthering her attraction to him. That's crazy. Meanwhile, back on Angel Grove, the weather is surprisingly hotter than usual. So really? what's the deal? Whoa. Is Too King hot Mondo to using some device to increase <laughs> the heat? Yeah. That's well, why there's no snow in Angel not Grove. Exactly. <laughs> you see, the reason it's so hot in Angel Grove is due to global warming. Uh, what? Wait, huh? Hmm. What's wrong, Zeus? You've um, never heard of the monster global warming? Yeah, you've never heard of global warming before? Then um, move on, please. Sure. Are you all aware of what the greenhouse effect is? Are you all aware of what the greenhouse effect is? <laughs> the nervous move on. I'm gonna clip that. That's so funny. <laughs> Listen, she asked for it. I'm just saying. <laughs> you knew what you were signing up for, Zeus. I don't have to tell you, homie. I don't have to tell you, Brusty. Okay? What? I didn't know what was so way, yes, huh? Power Rangers, the exact show I trust to handle topics like global warming. Did mm. I remind yeah. you, the next season of Power Rangers is focused on cars, but anyway. Okay, first of all, they are magical cars that run they're on- magic cars. Uh, they're magic. Huh? Sorry, they're, they're magic cars. What? They're magic cars. Well, uh, in Japanese. Uh, okay. It's a long story. <laughs> what anyway. does the American version say? Uh, 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 all right, I'm gonna hit play. The, yeah. The reporter has a split focus on both the Tommy breakup story and global warming. Global warming, I'm not guys. Sure why they even bring this up? Because it's not like the Rangers then try to take part in recycling or alternative energy. They just go back to fighting a monster and hoping that fixes everything. Yeah, like the PSA episodes kind of like stop a bit, don't they? I feel like they kind of do. Like I remember in season one of Money Morphin, it was like every episode. It was like the cleanup club or like, hey, like remember to recycle. Or let's go clean up the park, or let's put on a pet show. Like, I feel like that stopped a lot. Meanwhile, Heather is clearly gaining more and more affection for Tommy, but Tommy isn't so receptive. 
I mean, Jesus, mm. they did just break up a day ago. Give him some time. He's also a teenager and you're an adult. Feels bad that Tommy <laughs> never <laughs> <to go laughs> oh, <laughs> Listen, it was 1996. It was a different time. It was almost 30 years ago. Well, you wait, hold on. <laughs> Genuine question. Did, was it stated that she is an adult? I mean, she's a pro snowboarder. It's like, I, I think mean, the only thing that they you could say. Also be a, you could also argue they're a prodigy. I'm not trying to defend her. It's just like, yeah. I don't, did I, they ever say? The, huh. the thing is, is, anytime I look at somebody in the show when they're like a character character and they don't explicitly say, yeah, I go to this high school. I assume that they're an adult. All right, Kimberly training to be in the Olympics is different because <laughs> she's not in the Olympics. She's training to be in the Olympics. Oh, for us, understandable. Their date with yeah. Tommy, where again, he's clearly just not that interested. Their date's also <laughs> at the juice bar. Like, come on, cat. Anywhere else would have been it's more cute. romantic. Not like it matters though. When Rocky and Adam come barging in for Ranger business, Tommy once again leaps at the chance to leave. With Heather, of course, not being too happy. And yeah, bro, she doesn't have Power Rangers teleportation. She probably drove multiple hours just to see you. Yep. I think the four Aww. other Rangers can handle some D-level monster. So Tommy ditches the date, Heather is upset and leaves, and the Rangers- Yo, man, them mimosas look so good right now. Oh, wait, uh, orange, orange, orange juice. juice looks so good. <laughs> uh... Right, 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 orange juice, orange I've actually juice. been drinking this tangerine juice that Costco has. It's Ooh. very good. It's, mm. it's slightly tangier than orange juice. It's very Ooh. good. It kind of looks like that. But anyway, yeah. besides the point, continue. <laughs> okay, okay. Coming back to the juice bar, Kat apologizes for setting this date up, and the two share a cute little moment, closing the episode with a dance. Yaw. Although, not really, since this is obviously what they wanted to happen. Uh, <laughs> Tommy, the ranger who would actually be on screen true which i do believe in canon tommy and cat are still together <clears throat> and even have a son true Aww. well it's welcome true. to your canon pairing for for tommy this Aww. is yeah well, the canon pairing yeah that Maybe. is so sweet no, well, it's good to know that like both of them both kimberly and tommy at least find like, I, 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 even though it's a fan theory uh, i guess yeah <laughs> Oh, you know? it's, it's our fan theory now, okay? It's, uh, yeah. yeah, it's our. <laughs> Can't really ends up with the uh, skull. It's canon now, guys. For fans, it's canon. Yeah. <laughs> let it be happy. You know? Let it be happy. Three parter is okay. I like it's Tommy awkward. needing to deal with the problem he can't solve with fighting. He's never been emotionally vulnerable since dealing with his Green Ranger powers in Mighty Morphin Season 1 and 2. Yeah. There was a bit too much filler like the global warming stuff and Balkan and Skull side plots. And the storylines don't stop here. Oh, man. The next episode is Inner Spirit. So during the Alien Ranger miniseries, Kid Tommy received his Zeo Crystal from a Native American chief, where mm. now Tommy is having nightmares fearing that the Megazords are in some kind of danger. After leaving the juice bar, he runs into another Native American and offers him a ride. His name is Sam, all while receiving spiritual words of wisdom. Later in the day, a monster attacks, and it's pretty powerful. It's able to drain power and become stronger while doing so. Oh no. The monster is able to severely weaken the Zords and put them oh, no. out of commission. Oh, Luckily, no. Billy and Alpha oh, have created no. a backup Zord for Tommy to use, the Red Battle Zord. What's interesting about it, though... You mean Red Puncher? Yeah, Red... Red... Anyway. It's controlled and linked directly to Tommy's <laughs> uh, Okay. Mind, meaning the monster can't drain the Zord's power. However, with everything going on in Tommy's life, mainly his breakup, he can't think straight and his mind is a mess. Yeah. Causing the Zords to act erratically and not respond to Tommy's commands. He manages to quickly center himself for a bit and uses the blasters to destroy the monster. It's a hollow victory, though, since the main Zords themselves still need three days to fully recharge. Oh, no. And with Tommy still oh, having no. an internal oh, why conflict punch and Mega Zord, I hate it here. he decides huh. the only way to clear his mind I think it's funny is that to go. Tommy canonically just drives Jeeps when they're not Zords. Oh, uh, true, because he doesn't Dino Thunder as well. He does, yeah. I just kind of realized It's either that. Jeeps or race cars. It's those two. That's it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> mm. Interesting. Interesting. Anyway, continue. Oh, Sorry, just realized. Vision quest. <gasps> I guess that's one way to what do it. What the fuck? And the next yeah, they... they... <laughs> what the, what the, what the, what the I, okay. So the other thing, and 
I think they realized it and did it anyway. They put the red ranger on a Native American vision quest. Yeah. Not great. Not great. The first time they kind of did this was a mistake. Doing it this time is kind of uh, not great. <laughs> feels kind of weird. Okay. Feels feels kind of. Is he part Native American? In the show, he is, In but I don't think. Show he I, is. I don't think Jason David Frank was. If I, he is, I genuinely do not know. But even so, like it's kind of just weird to have it on the nose as being the Red Ranger went on a vision quest. You know what yeah. I mean? Episode it, this, this entire season it creates a really like... nice plot line. Again, unfortunate circumstances creates a really cool, like, yeah, plot line thing, but it's still not great. Yeah. Oh, wait, Zeus, this do you understand is... what we're saying? Do you understand why we say this is problematic? Yeah, I, 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 I understand, like, oh, it's in, it's in beat, uh, pieces of it, but so far in, like, a show wise, I've, I've, I've just been like, I feel like, okay. I feel like. I feel like I'm in a different Power Rangers <laughs> where, so, where are, things are left and right at the same time. <laughs> so, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> we, we're saying this is offensive because you know how in season one of Mighty Morphin, the Black Ranger was black and the yeah. Yellow Ranger was Asian? Yeah. yeah. The Red Ranger is Native American now, mm -hmm. which generally that was a, like, not, not a okay thing not still, an okay thing. Thing. still yeah, yeah yeah i mean still e not even, okay king even well. back then yeah just okay yeah. so that's that's what we're kind of like hey like this is not okay and they did it again oh yeah oh, wait, silver wolf has the answer um we're adopted at birth however david was raised on native american reservation and tommy wasn't it was also stated whether or not oh it's not stated whether either one of them are native american or not interesting Mm -mm. I mean, yeah. Hmm. This is just that. Tommy runs into anyway. a guy who bears a striking resemblance to himself. Well, it's crazy. Ignores it for now. That's Sam, wild. the Native okay. American Insane. from the last episode, shows up and helps Tommy with his quest. Wild. Simply telling him to Wacky. follow the Falcon to find his answer. The Falcon Sword. The B plot the Falcon. has him taking up boxing <laughs> Oh my god. Why not? You give the guy something to do. Or, of course, Prince Brockett sends down a boxing monster. They had to have a reason for the Green Ranger to be a boxer because in the Sentai, the Green Ranger's fighting style is boxing. So. Ah, uh, box. okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, wait, let me actually just go to the bathroom real quick. Oh, sure. Gotta go. Yeah, gotta go. Right during Maybe. Adam's awesome morph. Jeez, I can't believe this. Okay. This is the hardest <laughs> <I got it. laughs> morph. It's so good. Wow, we are weak. OG Roy, have you checked your Twitter in the last 30 minutes? Did people Pardon? buy more things? Oh, man. Hold on, hold on. Refreshing. Refreshing. No, it's <gasps> a... hold on a second. People did buy things. Oh wow, wait, so wild. Oh, the first thing that someone did buy me was not the thing that I was talking about, but someone did now buy me the thing that I was talking about. Oh, uh, Hayashida yeah, and Velvet, Velvet thank Rose. You. Thank you so much. Wait, now I need to check. I need to check the room just a. Few <laughs> I'd be like, wait, I see the velvet. Thank what? you so much. What, what was purchased? Now I need to be like, what? Huh, hello. Okay. Also, I, I suppose in the same vein. What in the same vein? Nothing. Don't worry about it. What'd you do? Nothing. What'd you do? It's fine. What'd you do? I didn't do anything. What did you Not do? Not yet, anyway. What did you? What did you... I, mean, I didn't. Currently, I have not done anything. What did you do? Wait, I'm actually not sure what the the Green Ranger one that was purchased for me is. Is that the one after Necessary Evil? Let me go backward. Because it's the one, I just realized it's the new Green Ranger two, and Book One. Um, I actually don't know. Genuinely, I have no idea. Because Year One and Year Two are what leads into Shattered Grid. That's for yes. sure. But Book One, I'm like. What does that go into? I don't know. Now I'm curious. Does do, chat? Do you know? I just <laughs> threw it on my I threw it on my throne because I thought it was part of the collection and everything. Give the birthday money your give the birthday boy your love and money. It's not my birthday yet. Never trust Kane when he acts like this. All hundred percent agree. <laughs> <laughs> like he just got flowers from someone. I don't think I've ever had anyone buy me flowers. 
It's when they split the series and the team. Ooh. Something, something different comics. I Googled it like an hour ago. Ooh. I thought it was curious. True. True, no. Teamwork. I'm screaming. Too bad you're going to get love this month. <laughs> nice try. Not if I hate myself more than you guys can love me. <laughs> are you, are you, you're still laughing. Why are you laughing? Why are you still laughing? Why does it sound like a sound bite? This sounds like a soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> hey Kane. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. <laughs> why would you do that? Why would you do that? Oh no. You know what, Kane? I'm not a master more for you ain't nothing but, you ain't a, cheap nothing but copy. a cheap copy. <laughs> Year okay. I... Someone said it. Okay. Year Year One collects the start of the original run of called Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, whereas Book One collects the start of the two separate sequel run series called Mighty Morphin and Power Rangers, respectively. Apparently. Okay. Cool. But it it is after. Is it after Necessary Evil? I think it is because I think that's when. They were still split. Question mark. I want to know like when I can read it. Because I think that's out of order. I don't want spoilers, you know? <laughs> After Shattered Grid leading into Necessary Evil. Okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hello, hello. Welcome right. back. Let's go see the amazing transformation of Adam. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sir, Why is Roy laughing? That's a great <laughs> question. I have no idea. <laughs> Adam sometimes seems to take over as second in command when Tommy's not around. Yeah. Which again is kind of funny. That's since nice. He never does anything. Whoa. But it's not even Adam who defeats Dust the monster. My mans. Tommy needs to <clears throat> stop his vision quest to go help fight the monster and destroy it. I mean, I, this was Adam's B plot. We don't need Tommy to do everything. It's because the Sentai footage matches up because the red puncher. That's that's uh, literally the only reason. Yeah. They could have made it a two-parter, maybe. Guy from earlier, they dangling from a cliff. Oh, no. Yeah. He can either help him or choose to continue and follow the Falcon. He, of course, does the right thing and saves this guy, who we learn is David, and also has the other half of Tommy's arrowhead. Whoa. Making David Tommy's brother. Huh? Yep. Surprise. Tommy's a Native American. Why not? <laughs> Found in Lost continues the brotherly storyline, oh. with Tommy taking David back to Angel Grove to introduce to his Can friends. You Surprise. Now you might email. be thinking... Can you check your email? Email? What the fuck? Give me one moment. Oh, no. Oh, oh from official oh, power <laughs> Morphicon! Why would you do huh? that? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Oh, no. Why would you do, Why would you do that, guys? Oh. Hold on, hold on. Let me read this really quickly. Yeah. Um... Oh my like goodness. Twitter, Kane's mods have been. What the? Huh? What happened? Let me check my Twitter. What's happening? Oh my God. They were still here. They've been here the whole time. They've heard us geek out about Power Rangers for four hours now. Oh, Thank you. <laughs> my goodness. Uh, you remember that time I got baked into a pizza? Okay. So, you know what? Um, what? official Power Morphicon. Um,. May I read this entire thing on stream? <gasps> yes. I, I want yes. your permission before I, I say all of this out loud. Yes, yes please. please. Oh, I'm excited. <clears throat> <sighs> Title of this email is Opportunity for Power Morphicon. <gasps> Hello, Kane. My name is Joey. I am a representative of the official Power Morphicon. We have been eyeing your collaborations together, and we love the chemistry of yourself, Zeus, and Roy. <gasps> I would love to offer you three a panel to do a variation of that at our show, and possibly a meet and greet should our resources allow. 
If you would like to attend our event in person, we would be unable to provide travel or hotels. We will, however, we would love to offer you memberships to attend should you choose to come. Please let me know if you are interested and we can continue this conversation. Thank you again for all that you do, and I hope to have you at our show. <laughs> no shot, dude. No, no shot. I, I mean, can yes, I know you're currently streaming? You may announce it's on stream. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, guy, uh, you know, I, 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 I'm gonna have to check my schedule. You know, I'm what gonna do have I to. Say? Yeah. <laughs> what do oh, I say to that? Wait, what that, the that, heck? Hello. Uh, when when is that? Uh, um, August. <laughs> August. Oh, I should be free. I, yeah, I, I'll be free. <laughs> I, Thank you? Yeah! Thank you! We just bridged the gap between Power Rangers and V-Tubing! We did it! Oh my gosh! Oh! We're going to Power Morphic Oh my- I've never been! I gotta get a better shape so I can cosplay again! Oh my gosh! Are we, are we are we going to Power Morphicon? Oh my god! Are we actually? <laughs> <gasps> I, uh... Well, uh, Joey, thank you yeah, so wow, much thanks. for the opportunity. Yeah. Truly, that's yeah, uh... <laughs> that's incredible. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I'm, I'm genuinely. I, I don't know what to say. Speechless at this point. Yeah. I, uh, I've <laughs> never been invited to be a guest at a show on stream before, so this is definitely a first. Yes, it's a first. Uh, this is yeah, definitely this a first. Is a first. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Roy, are you okay? I, I feel like you've been stunlocked. I, I, I'm a little stunlocked because I've I've never had anything like this happen before. I haven't been like like invited like this as a guest to anything before, so. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Just, thank you. Wow. Um I'm sure this is a resounding yes. However, uh we will discuss this amongst ourselves, but thank you so so much. Yes. Genuinely. <laughs> thank you. That is oh my god. <sighs> Breathe, breathe, breathe. If you need to drink water, don't start hyperventilating. Roy, you <laughs> if, if, if I could, I'll pat your back right oh now to make God, sure you're okay, dude. but I can't. Roy, Roy oh. simply just stopped working. Oh my, <laughs> oh my gosh, Roy's mods, please, like, make sure that they're actually okay. Please, like, thank I know, I'm, I'm here. I'm good. I'm just. <laughs> Whew. <laughs> <laughs> that just, it just means a lot, man. I'm just. Oh my god. <sighs> self care, yeah, self care. Everybody. I'm trying really Water, hard not to get like emotional, yourself. emotional right no, now. No, 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 it's no. Fine. I don't want it to be. A, listen, I don't want to be embarrassing in front of Power Morphicon right now. They're still here. <laughs> I'm trying listen, to. <sighs> listen. Try not to be a big baby. Simply, they just offered us to do a panel and possibly meet and greet should resources allow and be essentially guests among the legions of other ranger actors and now you are amongst them oh my god that's oh my god if that's not a reason to get emotional Wait, boy, does that mean like the act the actual actors of the shows actually yes. also so, yeah so power morphicon is the largest power ranger convention in the world um only second only to another convention called ranger stop um and usually the turnout is incredible it's just yeah, it's power massive. rangers from every My single gosh, different can, season can actually meet the actors. yes <laughs> that's possible look it oh up on God. youtube i'm still here <laughs> i know you're still here so i'm not crying <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh, I want to hug Roy so bad. Oh, oh. Roy. <laughs> oh, Roy. I, I, need, I need like a hug or something, man. I just need a... <laughs> oh, I wish I could. <laughs> I just, I just oh, need something, my man. Goodness. Oh my gosh. Man, I would, I, I would love to be there in person, but man, do I live in a different country. <laughs> <laughs> I might be able to go in person, but it's okay. Uh, we'll, we'll put you on an iPad. I don't even yeah. know if I'll be able to attend in person, <laughs> but <laughs> should oh I God. do it? We're gonna, we're gonna put you on an iPad and yes, uh, please. 
wheels. <laughs> um, on some wheels. <laughs> oh my gosh. Honestly, like this this just makes me more motivated to actually want just watch the show because I now was, you have I to. Was gen I was genuinely going to watch the show after like this collab. Yeah. <laughs> now, like, like always God. watching. Are you? Are always you official power watching? Why oh. are you saying like that? Yeah, how, wait, how many of these streams have you watched? Hold on a second here. Wait, wait a minute. Have you been wait, watching since like Ken and I start? I was gonna say we've been doing this since like December. I guess a while. <laughs> God, that means we have to come up. We have, we gotta come up with a group name now, or like a podcast type up name. With a group name? <sighs> Man, we have to, with a we, have to we have to commission artists to draw us in ranger outfits. You know. Please, oh my yes. I've seen the seven hour streams. Oh my god. We can make we can make uh virtual sentai V2 Ranger! Oh my god. <laughs> That actually would oh, be so man. fun. Oh my god. That'd be god, so dude. funny. I love oh wait, I just I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I'm looking at Connor's face and I love it's the perfect representation. It really is. <laughs> oh my god. Us right now, he like, huh? Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, oh, topical, comment writer ghost. Thanks for the, thanks for the tier uh, one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my god. Yeah, apparently they've seen the seven hour streams. I Wait, oh, really? Oh god, <laughs> god, dude. Can't Can say I've, I've had a couple been, of them. I've never had this happen before. And oh I'm, I'm thankful that it has. But man. Uh, <laughs> oh, Gokai Red and Gokai Pink saying, are like, gonna hey, be there. <laughs> I guess I should probably watch Gokai turn now. That happened during a Hotful boyfriend stream, so. <laughs> Damn, that's actually nutty. Hey, oh Kyra, God. thank you so much for buying a, uh, a sub for uh, official Power Morphicon. It's starting a hype train. You guys oh, are let's nutty. Go train. Thank you. Let's oh go. my gosh. Let's go. <laughs> Sorry for interrupting oh. the stream, but I was itching to reach out. No, genuinely, we, re no, we really thank appreciate you. it. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you so much. Though I don't know if like if it's I. I, I, I'm, li I'm just new to this. No, no, no. <laughs> your, your, your inclusion is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> you, you're, you're the you're guinea pig for the indo I mean, <laughs> uh, uh, I'm sorry, for the education of uh, our... Like oh, hey, Common Rider Ghost, thanks for the 10 gifted subs. Wow, thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate the... Uh, oh, my goodness. Yeah, also Common Rider Decade will be there. Oh, wow. Damn, that's a lot. I have to watch a lot of stuff now. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Man. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my Thank gosh. You so much. Holy Thank crap, you. guys. What the Thank heck? Thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, well, now I have to do I a Power like, Rangers related. I feel like Roy like... had a dream come true moment for real. So. I mean, no, it no, is. Oh yeah. I... <laughs> Like obviously, uh, I'm, I'm very flattered. It's a dream come true as well. I've never, I've never even considered being a guest at a Power Ranger convention, mind you. Let's and go. That's incredible. I, I'm just. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my God. I am so happy so for both of you. I'm so Have grateful. Have a dream come Thank true you. right now. Congrats, <laughs> Zeus Confetti. Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Vongole, oh thank you for getting yourself as well. All right. Guys, thank you all so much for the crazy support. Power Morphicon, thank you for the amazing uh, offer. Obviously, we're, we're all going to talk about you. it so we can work out the specifics of it, but I, I think mm -hmm. I think it's a resounding yes. We just have to work out the specifics of it. So. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. like management or devs or, or yes. anything else. Mm -hmm. Whoever's in charge of me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, let, me, let me call up MSM, see if they're willing to represent me to send me to this convention. Hey, MSM, I know I don't work with you guys, but like, I just got an amazing opportunity. Do you want to represent me for this? Do you want to represent me? <laughs> Burai is going to be there. Oh. I was gonna, I was gonna say oh. with, that, with that fucking question, I was, I, I was gonna say like, I don't fucking know, representing you, God or some shit. I don't. Know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, oh in, gosh, in some capacity, yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah. The, yes. nin the ninja gods. The ninja gods. <laughs> the nin or... Kenza. Mutek <laughs> Shogun. Super Sentai. Kenza. All, all of the fucking like oh Megazords gosh, representing dude. like Roy right now. I'm screaming. Oh my gosh. All That's right. okay. Oh. <laughs>
Are, are we all good? Breathe, are, breathe. Are we I all? Breathe. I think we're I think, good. I think it's more so for you. Are you good? Yeah, are, are you, you, are you I, okay? do, do you need water? Do you need to like, do you need to like, step back a little bit? I'm, listen, like, can, we can take this I'm going to be too. okay. You know, I'm a professional, mm. you know, mm -hmm. I, I mm -hmm. can, I can keep going. We're going to make the, the rest of the stream amazing. We're going to keep this energy. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a great time. We're going to indoctrinate. I mean, educate Zeus on uh, all of the, uh, okay. the rest of Power Rangers Zio. <laughs> Yes, yes, educate me. Yeah, yeah, educate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, exactly, ed, ed, exactly. Ed, 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 anyway. Ed, ed, dang, how they dang. find someone who actually looks like Jason David Frank's brother? Well, he kind of actually does. He not is Jason <laughs> wow, it's because they're real life brothers. Wait, what? No, what? <laughs> Jesus, I was joking. I forgot I we hadn't said that yet. Joking. Oh, my, my freaking camera fell. <laughs> I bet because I banged my desk. Hold on, my camera fell because I banged my desk. No, no, no. Every, every, listen, I'll be okay. I'll be okay. Okay, I got it's all it. good. It's all good. Oh shit, it fell again. Hold on. Camera return. Return camera return. Okay, it's fine. Nice. Okay, That's we're all. good. We're good. Okay. Nice, nice. Cool nice. that brothers got to actually play. Okay, I've got brothers. my fidget pen. I'm good. And you can tell they're related. <laughs> they have almost the same exact inflection in their voice when they talk and say their lines. I don't know, Tommy man. Tommy is usually very breathy when he talks. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like he's always out of breath, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and they both. It's very true. Came back. I was laughing. I, was trying... I don't understand. <laughs> and they both do it. Hey, nice try, David. Why'd you do that? But you're better than me. After a little argument, I, mean, I, 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 I constantly tease Jason David Frank's style of acting because it, it's very much this. And even in the very first Mighty Morphin episodes, like, <laughs> what, what, what is the line? Kimberly, mm. you're not the center of everyone's world. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Pink Ranger. Stop, 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 come on. You and the other Power Rangers will soon be destroyed. <laughs> I don't know, guys. It could be the end of the Power Rangers forever. <laughs> Remember what we learned? <laughs> There's the biggest, that's the great power. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. And guys, then even, please. even got, in the I'm trying to drink water. Please, okay, okay, please. okay. <laughs> Tell me Oh my God. They yes. should have been gods. Oh my God. Power of God. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Let me know the details. We'll make it work. <laughs> absolutely. By the Machine Empire being placed in a cave adding on to Tommy's problems and further worrying his mind, which of course will affect the Megazord. He uses his Native American powers to Native American powers. Uh -huh. to find him. He's confronted by King Mondo wow. and says he'll spare That's David's life thing. if Tommy gives him their arrowhead. Why does he want this rock? I don't know. I mean, Tommy reluctantly it's gives it to him, but cool Mondo looking. seemingly doesn't hold up his end it of is, the deal. It is, but... Ending oh. the episode. Oh no. I mean... As Did he lose out, his like yeah. powers King Mondo that way? Tommy or? and flees with the arrowhead. With this arrowhead, apparently. Ooh, all right. So what magical... is this giveaway? So to enter the giveaway, take a screenshot that you're following the uh, Power Morphic on Twitch channel and post Wait. screenshot to Twitter. Hey, there you go. What is what what is the hey. giveaway? Yeah. What is the giveaway? Is it like Wait, for what, what, for for free tickets or something? Is that for anyone that wants to go? Ooh. Quite if for... any of you want to see Roy on a Power Morphic on panel. <laughs> Live. Answer right now. <laughs> I'm st I still think I'm in shock. I'm not going to lie. I'm probably going to wake up tomorrow and just be like. Uh, Is this a dream? Was this, was this a dream that I woke up to? Huh? Honestly. Oh, you're on the path to affiliate. Once we hit the goal, we're giving away a pair of Red Ranger weekend tickets and a hoodie. Ooh. Ooh. Absolutely. Yes, we do have to talk to Michaela about a Power Rangers inspired ASMR script. I know. <laughs> But I also need to get someone to design Please, me in a costume. Are you guys just gonna talk like Tommy? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna talk. I can't. I, know. I could not keep that up. There's okay. no way. I think it would be pretty hard to talk like him the entire weekend. But it would be pretty hard to do. Yeah. But you know, if we just believe in each other, we should be able to do it. Just remember. To those the best is the best. Guys, please, I can't take it That's here. Tommy, the red <laughs> Zeo power. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Powers. Oh, moving on. Tommy and the others managed to free David from the dogs. Can we get a shout out for Power Morphicon if we have not already, safety. though? And with no mm -hmm. other choice, Tommy reveals to his brother that he is the Red Ranger. <gasps> so the Rangers defeat the bad guys. They and did Tommy it. and David make up. Wow. I guess I'll call this the guys, Native American Guys, remember the episode where you're fucking... They were pretty good. 
their their boss is like, you can't say that you guys are from, the Power Rangers you know, to anybody. Oh, yeah. Listen, no one. <laughs> yeah, I remember that episode. <laughs> Listen. We just don't worry about that. Seeing him battle with insecurity <laughs> and having weaknesses. Yeah, yeah like sure, I'll just tell my brother about it. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're fine with that. <laughs> Trust in me. Another Rocky Time book. for Kane and Zeus to fight for the Blue Ranger? No, I think Zeus is blue. Kane is white. We talked I about that, right? I for yeah. the White Ranger, technically. I mean... I don't mind. We both have the same, more or less, color scheme. I just yeah. have a darker mm. blue. I think it's up to you guys which, like, you prefer. Like, Kane could be the Blue Ranger. I'd, I'd probably I be I go for yellow. Yellow yellow or white works. Ooh, yellow mm. would look really good on you. Pink, record. yellow, and white? Or pink, yellow, I mean, and blue? We could be the pan flag! <laughs> We can be the pansexual flag! <laughs> Let's go! Wait, where did you get the pink from? Me! That's so oh. funny. Where do you think? <laughs> oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we made up the pansexual <laughs> Anyway. Oh, like, no, <laughs> this new character of being an idiot. He oh. does this by oh. offending a blind person. Oh, wow! Didn't see that coming. This woman is wow. a talented Oh, Poseidon artist, could be blue. I see. I see. Blind. Rocky takes pity on I would her say they're more minty green. I mean, mm. could be. Mm. Permission. I really Seafoam like green. They took with this. I feel Seafoam like we'd blue. all act like Rocky in this exact situation. Trying to carry the blind woman's books and overly compliment them for how much they've accomplished. And Rocky yeah. needs to learn to trust that she can take care of herself. It's a nice little time. Another potential girlfriend character for Rocky also. Yeah. The episode the cogs and monsters attack and Rocky needs to morph without her knowing what he's doing. It came from Angel Grove. A pretty silly filler episode. We do love the filler Adam episodes. Oh school gosh, one night studying when they're when he watches a scary okay. movie and falls asleep. This leads We're to falling a crazy down a rabbit hole sequence where he meets monster versions of the Rangers. You've already fallen a down a vampire the Tommy, hole. werewolf Rocky, and a Frankenstein skull. <laughs> All shown in black and white, which is a nice touch. I, I look away I for two seconds. To Why is there? Why? Okay. What, what did the fans right, turn into? <laughs> listen, listen. No, no, no. It's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. Don't, worry about it. don't even worry okay. about it. We understand that you're busy, okay? We understand. <laughs> no, because like the reason why I'm mute is because I think the the trash, the I think that the garbage truck had like their music, their theme song screaming out, saying like, uh... "Hey, guys, guys, got garbage. You know, you know where to find us. We're outside." <laughs> makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. And it's the like, Halloween episode. I just, yeah. I just, I just turned, saying like, "We have trash." I don't think so. And then I just saw that like there's a there's a like black and white filter. And like, I heard vampire, werewolf, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's like I missed one chapter okay. and I forgot all the story. <laughs> it's, it's the Halloween episode. Just don't don't worry about it. Oh, oh that's the reason. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just the Halloween episode. It's the this Halloween was episode dream, that you don't like. Mm. Come on. Even as a kid, you could spot it a mile away. <gasps> Black hat. It's such a fiction. This is actually bulk the first fiction. ever bulk, like bulk fiction. Episode. fiction. Yeah, not even really bulk and skull, just bulk. Yeah, so the just bulk. The police captain's daughter enrolls in the force, and Bulk quickly gets a crush on her. How far are we from Gold Ranger? Maybe like ten minutes, if that. Yeah. We're, we're like. Wait, there's a Gold Ranger? Bulk. Yeah. Uh, spoiler. I mean, not spoiler. Quick is. What what's a, what's a Gold Ranger? Quick, quick is. Like someone he's not. Uh, he asks Tanya what lightning. she likes in a guy, quick, quick, and what she's doing. Forget the beam. Strong guy. Bulk tries to act all smart. Well, watch out for the Did you lunch, by the way? Yes. Not that the Rangers have to fight. Watch out. But it's honestly the side what plot. It's nothing interesting. Is it real? Just a reason for Power Rangers to actually have the you Power know. Rangers in the episode. This Gold is also Ranger. a pretty important turning point for Bulk. Time for Gold, Gold Rush. Yes! The episode, Sorry. The <clears throat> My bad. The police chief and he uh, fires Lieutenant yes. Stone. Mm -hmm. Oh. With Bulk and Skull quitting in protest. Oh, you know what? By the end of the episode, Bulk learns to just be himself and gets a dance with the girl. Aww. Lieutenant Aww. Stone Aww. to start up a detective agency. And who does he hire to be on his team? None other than Bulk and Skull. So, it's a Bulk and Skull were cops, quit when their lieutenant was fired, yes, and are okay. now detectives with him. And I think Those... are no longer high school students now. Yeah. Okay. I think officially are done with high school at this point. Those two mm -hmm. girls altered the course of their history so drastically. Yeah. <laughs> they they yeah. better people. Let's go. I mean, yeah. yeah? Real feel good yeah. episode. Seeing Lieutenant Stone show genuine affection for Bulk and Skull despite how many times they drive him up a it's wall. It's kind of nice, nice that, like, the Power so, Rangers, okay, kind of, it's not parallels, but more so, like, uh, Bulk and Skull basically make sure that 
you know, the normal life of people are saved. Meanwhile, the gang, the Power Rangers, make sure that, like, the entire Earth is saved from aliens. Yeah. That, yeah. I, I think that's nice. They're both, like, technically superheroes in a sense. Yeah. That's not, and that's really nice. Didn't everyone graduate in Turbo? That's the weird thing. I don't remember Bulk and Skull being part of that graduation it could ceremony. Have been like a uh, Billy situation where they graduated off screen. Yeah. It may, may be. But it also just might be memory playing tricks on me because I remember everyone being at graduation except Tommy because he was racing a car. <laughs> long. You'll, we'll get there. We'll yeah. Get there. Long story. Eventually. Sorry. Sorry. Yellow. <laughs> it's honestly nothing. The best part it's of the honestly is nothing, damn. Stone, Bulk, and That's crazy. That's wild, wacky, inflatable. Tanya sings a song and a record producer wants to sign her, which will make her need to choose between fame and ranger duty. She chooses to be a Power Ranger and... I, there we and go. Man, there we go. I mean, I mean, she just got know, there. Yeah, and also fighting for the greater good. I mean, you can, the greater you can good. be a pop star, I guess, but then again, who's going to save the world? <laughs> the greater good. <laughs> I'm just saying. The greater good. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The great honor. Adam is training for God. a ninja competition <laughs> with Tanya, where we actually get to see Sean again. Yeah, oh, Tanya's no. ex-boyfriend. Oh, he's no. being a total oh, damn. dick, flaunting his new girlfriend in front of Tanya <laughs> and saying how he's going to win. <laughs> the way he said that, though. What? Spoiler alert, he plans on cheating. At least he's... Oh, Wait, God. that's right. Bulk and Skull were chimps during graduation? Oh, you're right. Oh. Huh? They did get turned into monkeys in the first episode. It, it, we'll get there. We'll get there. Huh? It's, just know it's a monkey business. Don't worry about it. I... It's okay. It's all right. Anyway, it's guys, this, this Again, season is slowly whatever. starting to what? not make sense. This real. is not Zio. That's it's a okay. turbo. Don't worry about it. Okay. You guys want to hear about that time I got baked into a pizza? Huh? We're gonna, yeah, yeah. we're, gonna, we're gonna toss your salad. Between Sean and Adam, where Sean has a change of heart and decides not to cheat. Oh. Adam wins. Hey. Apologizes and everyone becomes friends again. See, that's Friendship. the Power Rangers special. Wow. Remember from Mighty Morphin? Got a problem? Become friends with it. Yep. Yeah. Easy. The power of friendship. Woo! The I love Adam. Power of friendship. Uh, go, go, Roy's Rangers. No, we're, we're the VTuber Rangers. I'll have you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we are I, now. I saw my chat earlier said the Pan Rangers. <laughs> okay, well, that's just because the colors matched up. But no, I, yeah. we'll, we'll work on a team name, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah eventually. It'll probably eventually. be like, you know, VTuber Rangers feels like the, the obvious one, you know? I don't know. I was kind of digging Sean as the new bully character. His actor plays a good a-hole, and having someone who could actually be a threat and not succumb to slapstick like Bulk and Skull would, would have been interesting to see. But now, the v -Rangers. we finally reached mm. something, you know, interesting. So far, Zio oh has been this pretty game. mid- like, sure, it can really break up Mid stuff and burn the storyline. Okay, bro. But it's nothing that's really had an impact, you know? This video well, game is wild. It's all about to change. It's pretty nutty. <gasps> the power there it is, gold. see? King Mondo hatches oh? a pretty solid plan what? to send down cog oh? attacks huh? spread throughout the city. How are the rangers gold? to split what? up and have gold. their forces weakened? Mm -hmm. The cogs slowly start to overpower the rangers. But they're saved by a mysterious force. Oh. Billy analyzes oh. this data and sees mysterious that the frequency force. of it matches that of the Rangers, possibly meaning that they were oh. saved by another Power Ranger. Wow. After another cog attack overwhelms the wow. Rangers, they see this. Gold Ranger! Gold Ranger! Sorry. He's awesome. Oh my god, He's I think I've seen this before. <laughs> Quick <laughs> as lightning, strong as steel! Actually, when I was watching Cartoon Network. Green and white ranger from the last season. Oh, I love Although him. the suit's more black than gold, but I guess gold ranger sounds more mysterious and powerful. I mean, that yeah. and they couldn't call him king ranger because... There's connotations on the word king. Well, also because he's called king because the kanji on his visor means king. Yeah. So, mm. like... <laughs> After the fight, the anyway. rangers try and talk to the gold ranger, but he quickly disappears. When the team returns Bye. to the command center to tell Zordon and Alpha about Saves this, the gold rangers Billy leaves doesn't elaborate. <laughs> but where was he? Shouldn't he always be there during the fight to assist the rangers? Yes, they did talk about the Dear John letter. Yeah, we are past that. Yes. Mm. Interesting. Hmm. Man, Let's Billy's see. been missing every time the gold ranger's shown up. That's that's so mm. wild. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. to remember. It's a Christmas episode for some reason. Why is it right here? Why is it placed in the Gold Ranger arc? 
Next. Next. Okay, yeah, let's just skip it. With a small no, problem. go next. Okay, wait, hold crazy. on. A season to remember is the Christmas episode where we learn that uh, uh, Tommy and Kat eventually have the kid. And they're, it's Nate. It's name. It's name. Their his name. name. Yeah. His name is JJ. Yeah. Um, and he has a whole comic about him. Yep. Uh, and then reference in a future episode. Okay. Yeah. But that's literally the only plot relevant thing in that episode. Um, the rest of it is just it's Christmas nonsense. So it says the season to be jolly. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. I totally forgot to ask this while it was happening. Uh, mm. I hope someone clipped Kane reading the offer from Power Morphicon. Because <laughs> I want to tweet that out afterwards. <laughs> Sorry. I was just thinking about it. I was just thinking about it. Has the voice over after. I was just thinking about it. I was just, Yeah, didn't oh uh, I mean, I guess we I feel like Roy is going to print and... that and frame that somewhere <laughs> in the office. You're going to put it in a digital. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, yeah. Uh, I apologize. That's my voice. It's not about plan. It's not about plan. <laughs> Oh, you sound amazing, though. We do. We do. We all sound fantastic. Hmm. Drink things. He turns Cat and Tommy small and puts them in a terrarium. Oh, no. So where tiny. they then show a giant real-life tarantula. Don't worry, I'm not going to show oh. it. And I'm just like, why? Bro, I hate this episode. Anything with spiders pisses me off. <laughs> Was there a warning like a for those who are... Yeah. Um, yeah. No, no, it was the 90s. The oh, God. Yeah, it was the 90s. Yeah. That doesn't matter. Well, yeah, okay. absolutely. Well, hey, Biggie Hugs. Okay. Thank you so much for the uh, raid. Welcome in, Raiders. We're uh, Welcome Raiders. 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 Hello. Hello. Yeah. Not Turbo yet. Turbo's going to be whenever uh, Zeus Kane and I get together next time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So only Zio so for today. But the Gold yes, Ranger's yes, yes. here. Well, not only Zio, but y you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> To help everyone and for today, as for today, I think it is for today, today, for today, for today. Oily to bed, oily yeah. to rise. So that sink monster is back from the movie episode. Oh my and plans god! On polluting the Earth's water supply. We also get the return of David, which was hey. honestly unexpected. The main point of this episode is to try and plant seeds as to who the Gold Ranger might be. That's crazy. Cat enters in a surfing competition, and David apparently is also really into it. Tommy's like, I never knew you were into surfing. Which, may I just say, you just met your brother. I'm sure it's a small list of stuff you do know. <laughs> yeah. Replies with, There's a lot you don't know about me. Wink, wink. Wow, that's and so wild. Wow, oh, that's crazy. That's so wild. Yeah, that. Oh, you know what? I bet Richie's the gold ranger. That's a good point. That's a good point. Good point. <laughs> Zeus unracking their brain. Zeus trying to remember who Richie is. <laughs> and I am. And at the same time, I'm just like, it could be wrong. It could be somebody in the cast because that's impossible. Zeus trying to remember who Zach's cousin is. Who could also be the Gold oh, Ranger. Also, I love how, like, technically, remember, like, the parents were only mentioned once, and I don't think they were mentioned much more after this. Oh, I mean, I've never seen their parents this season, a right? Times. Yeah. Yeah. But there, we've had multiple instances where the, the parents are different, right? Yeah. yeah. I can't remember. Uh, I think so. I think the, the person that's had their parents mentioned the most is probably Kimberly. Because yeah. of, cause of yeah. her, her moving situation. Because of the episode, right? Yeah. yeah. So, mm -mm. yeah. This appears around the same time the Gold Ranger shows up to help That's the crazy. They're doing a yeah, Kim's parents are different? Yeah, I thought so. Contenders. Rockabye Power Rangers. Oh, no. We finally get to see the Rangers feeling exhaustion from balancing teenage life and Ranger duty. But it really doesn't play into anything. King Mondo gets the yeah. idea to send down a monster that puts people to sleep and... The Rangers well, that's, gotta fight it. That's something I would Again, like. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh listen, listen. I've only had like around like seven hours of sleep. I feel like I need seventeen more. I envy that. I also envy <laughs> so that. So much. <laughs> oh, stuff is more oh my gosh. Seeing them track down a robber and stop them is good stuff. Oh, skull, Screw it. Maybe Bulker Skull is the Gold Ranger. Who, speaking of which, once again, saved Imagine the day. they used to pick up the Gold Ranger. Actually, I think it would have been kind of crazy if Skull was the Gold Ranger. Like, that, that actually would have been, been kind of nutty. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been. Yeah. That would have been Seriously so cool. comes back to the wow. power chamber. And Rocky's had enough. Wow. He straight up points out that Billy is always gone when the Gold Ranger shows up. Oh, that's and crazy. He asks him if he is. Where Billy doesn't exactly deny it, just saying. You don't think I'd keep a secret like that from you guys, do you? Oh, that's it. Well, why would you do, do that? Do I know you? 
A Verox bounty hunter <laughs> wants to take care of. Do, do I know so. you? I don't know. Do you? So do you? This is part of the problem with like the middle section of Zio as well. It's like, do you know how many episodes mm -hmm. we've just gone through? It's like it's like six or seven in like five minutes. Yeah. Because really? it's, it's just that little goes on in all of these episodes, except for okay. like the. It's like, literally just like oh here's filler, the monster. Filler filler arcs, here's all that stuff. A yeah. Very small lesson mm -hmm. that we can all learn from, and yeah. then moving on. And and like sprinkle in maybe who this person's yeah. the gold ranger. So okay. So King Mondo teams up. They're with not him bad, but they're just like the Rangers. He's a pretty powerful. Yeah, you know, a lot, like, yeah. Bounty yeah. hunters are strong as hell, and this won't be the last time they show up in the series. Oh no! He manages to weaken oh, no. the gold ranger oh, no. and teleports him to the command center. After Alpha tries to ask who he is, Further he reveals footage, yeah. that if he tells anyone his identity, he'll lose his powers forever. The oh, Rangers oh, oh. defeat the bounty hunter and return. Which? No. 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 I, it's a lie? Yeah. I, ge <laughs> ge genuinely is just a lie. Or anyway. Back to the command Why center, would they lie about it? Once don't again know. is following behind. And even Zordon has had enough of this now, since the Gold Ranger called Alpha and Zordon by their names. And Zordon says that the only way the Gold Ranger would know their names is if he was someone they already knew. True. <gasps> Whoa! And we would finally get our answers in Revelations of Gold. Oh man! The Gold Ranger lands on Aquatar for assistance, where he demorphs and it's this guy, some <laughs> guy we've never met before. What the kind fuck? Kind of a letdown. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> it's actually Ryan Steele from the Troopers. <laughs> Huh? I, think, I think that that's gonna fly over Zeus's head. It was more for us, <laughs> Kane. It was more for head. us, Kane. I, mean, I, I thought it was funny. I, I I really thought it was funny. It's just, I we, feel like we yeah. are VR. We are VR. Trooper Super transform. Virtual reality. Troopers three. Even my chat was just like, huh? His name is oh, Trey. Uh, Listen, <laughs> his name's Trey from the planet Triforia. You don't know who that is? Yeah. You know. Come on, From Zeus. Planet Triforia. I thought you knew about all about Triforia already. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> no way, come back. No way, Zeus, please. No, no way, come back. No way, come back. <laughs> <laughs> please, Zeus, we're going to Power Morphic God, please don't yeah. leave. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Powers <laughs> oh, are weakening, and Zoran oh says gosh. that they have the technology to help him. Oh. However, King Mondo places a force field over the command center, and wow. when Trey tries to teleport, he goes off course and ends up in the... <laughs> What the fuck? Wait, huh? Field over the command what center, was that? And when Trey Is that just a PNG? Yeah. Yeah. I can't. I can't. I I, 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 I thought I got better projection at this point. I never mind. Yeah, sure. Drop all the PNG in there. Listen, look at the graphics. Yeah. They they had a <laughs> really graphics. long day, you know. They, you know, they. Of course. They just the water splash. Just they yeah. they they weren't sure what to do with that either, you know. Oh my god. <laughs> Listen, we don't talk about water in Power Rangers Zio. I'm just I'm just letting you know. We don't talk yeah. we don't talk about water. Guys, tell sea, me the season is going to, to be great to sooner or oh, later. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, yeah. Normally, I don't talk they're going into the water. What what are they doing? <laughs> what are they doing? Oh, no. the Golden Skull side plots, but this one's pretty important. Goldor and Rito are There's someone with a bucket behind the, the rocks. Wait, was there actually no shot? Was the it? Rangers need to jump where? That'd be very funny. Wait, is I, it? Is this them? Is that the bucket? Jump in and save him from drowning. Wait, actually, the wait, kinda. The sea, where the rain. No, is this a person? No, shot. no, I think. Wait, are you kidding? Or are you? Are you? No, I don't think. <laughs> no shot. Wait, are you? I can't tell. Kidding? No, God damn it. It's, it's, I got, I got so no, excited. No, yeah. Not power motor gun throwing jokes at us. Like but this one's pretty important. Goldor and Rito are still confused and under the servitude of Bulk and Skull. Oh my god, they However, still don't they know who they Bulk are. And Skull to True. Find their families, I forgot about them. Oddly sad. Eventually, though, they, they forgot all about them too. Yeah, they did. Said, oh. Telling them to leave the earth and find them. Cutting back to the Rangers, they save Trey from the sea and he he, spl he splits off into three different people. Whoa! Huh? Because he's a Triforian and the people can just do that, I guess. He's a real life triplet. And they are, yeah. no joke, Trey of Wisdom, Trey of Courage. And Trey of a heart. Okay, there you go. You see, Nintendo can't sue now. There you go. His powers have been weakened, and he needs to transfer the Gold Ranger powers to a new host. 
and the team know just the guy. Yup, Billy. Who else? I mean, Jesus, they've been practically teasing it since the beginning. Makes sense. So Trey begins the ceremony to transfer the powers when the Rangers need to leave to do battle. When they were oh, they got a sword. Turn, though, He's so had it the whole time. He's had it. Billy isn't Dude, able what? to the yeah. Ranger powers. Why? Because what? at the end of Mighty Morphin, he took a blast to the face protecting Alpha. And that, like, messed with his molecular structure and his ability to accept <sighs> new powers. Whatever, it's stupid. But it, they need to find it's a new a Gold really Ranger fast so, before the powers disappear. The, again, the in-show reason, or the in-show reason is cool in the way that, oh, it rearranges molecular structure and all that. Yeah. It's it's a okay. cop out. It's a cop out reason, but I suppose it's it's a kind of cool answer. The we will get to our it. real world reason. We will is get to not, it. again. Good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah, the negative ions do really hit different. That's my yeah. least favorite okay. breakfast cereal. Negative ions. <laughs> okay. Appear entirely. Luckily, though, Tommy might know the right man for the job. A golden homecoming. Oh man! Tommy's walking with a mysterious man to the command. The mysterious center. stranger. They get attacked by the cogs, but this the white stranger, stranger. clearly hold his own. From Wild West Rangers. Needing to outrun the cogs and fighter jets <laughs> shooting at them. Meanwhile, Goldar is having a dream and slowly starts to remember everything. Even magically waking up with his sword and wings. Whoa! And him and Rito leave That's wow, crazy. And yeah. For some reason, don't kill Bulk and Skull for treating them like garbage. Uh, Meanwhile, Tommy makes it back <laughs> to the good. center with the reveal I of mean, the they new kept them in a Ranger. shelter, so... Yes, do I found. Wait, what? That's... Yeah, who's that, Zeus? Good. Isn't that the... Isn't that the... Isn't the... No, wait. Dead. <laughs> Say, so, use your words. <laughs> Zeus? I'm sorry. Zeus? I'm just like, Zeus? I'm just... Zeus? Zeus? <laughs> Zeus? <laughs> 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 I'm fucking dying out here. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> I'm going to just drink water. I'm actually like... You know, that's that's Tommy's brother. In arms. <laughs> you know, all the people that Bless they've you, been teasing. Jesus fucking <laughs> It's all the people they've been teasing oh, for the past Zeus. couple episodes. Zeus, who is this? <laughs> for what I remember, is that fucking Jake is no, I don't is it Jake is from State Jesus? Farm? No! Holy shit. Take your safe out. Yeah, that was crazy. Jake from Stew. <laughs> Diamond looks like Rishi. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I bet was it? Yeah. What? Guess who's back. Get, guess who's back. I've tried. What's his name? What, What's his name? I, I, What's his name, I, Zeus? Not, not, not Roy throwing that pop quiz at you. What <laughs> Come on, Zeus. It was only a month ago. <laughs> it was only a month ago. <laughs> it was only a month ago. Oh my god, is that is that is that Jason or There we yeah. go. Thank you, Zeus's I, chat. No, no, like I knew it Thank was, you, but I just Zeus's couldn't believe it. I actually like couldn't believe that it was act mm. like it was I was double taken. Like there's no way they could have brought them back, right? That's crazy. That's wild. Wacky inflatable arm flowing too, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. That's because like I don't remember you guys saying that like they would probably go back from what I remember. We would never Pro said anything like that ever. Never, we ever, we ever. we would never spoil things that have yet to come, ever, never, <laughs> ever. Shift into okay. turbo. Oh anyway, my gosh. Oh man, yeah. Wow, Jason. Jason. Is back. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Zeus can bring. Yeah, yeah, yeah Jason. Oh, Jason. Back. Uh, Jason. Our sword on Arrow Ranger. You know, after Andros and all. And he fits this role like a glove. This man was born to be a Power Ranger. Back to action. And of course, he kicks ass, wiping the floor yeah. with anyone who stands in his way. Yeah. And it's kind of nice seeing the tables turned, you know? With Jason being the almighty Ranger and Tommy needing to follow his lead. The Rangers also yeah. unlocked What's the so Super funny is that remember when, like, 
but like he said that like I can't tell anybody I'm the I'm the, I'm the, the gold yeah. ranger. Yeah. Because I'm gonna lose my powers. Wow. That's, he, he tells you, the entire squad that nothing happens. Powers. Great. Yeah, he lost his powers. <laughs> you definitely lost your powers. Damn. You, you definitely lost your powers, my guy. That's wild. Amazing. Yeah. Wow. They're that's kind of weird, wow. but yeah, they're all new zords. And with them, they destroy the bad guys. New zords. Just like the good I actually days. really like these zords. I love the, the super zero zords. They're they're dumb in the way that you know, they're just shapes, but I kind of <laughs> like that they're just shapes. I was about shapes. to say, I'm sorry, but like the star just reminds me of Patrick. Oh, Buraka! <laughs> but, oh but, oh, Buraka! <laughs> oh, oh, please. Oh, 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 Buraka. Oh. Because they're, because they're blocks? Is that... Is that why? Anyway, with a is nice that, heart to that, heart with oh, okay. Jason and Tommy, right. with Jason they saying stack on top of each other like blocks. was the hardest thing he had to do. And while he's glad to be back, he doesn't want Tommy to think he's gonna try and put everything back to the way it was. I like that conversation. I'm not gonna lie. Even yeah. even though, they uh, can't are the stand actors okay? Because I remember no. they're not in a <laughs> nope. nope. Or, no, they're nope. not. Well, they're not. Okay. No, they're not. Well, this is um, awkward. <laughs> The in, this is in universe thing is like, you know, they are friends. And naturally, who would you ask to be a new Power Ranger yeah. than a former Power Ranger? So it, it makes sense. Yeah. In world, you know, it's a little weird, but it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I will say, I think they do a lot better of a job of hiding their, their rivalry, like IRL, in, yeah. in Zeo than they did in MMPR Season 2. Because it was definitely, uh, oof. Another prime example of the earring and necklace combo I wanted as a kid. Oh, right. This is so, like, prevalent this in Power Rangers. Very, very 90s. So true. So true. Very, With very 90s. The team mm. and all. So true. So true. And, of course, Tommy says something about the Power Rangers are a team and nobody's more important than the other. Cut to Adam doing nothing for the one millionth time. Aww. 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 So, the Gold Ranger arc. I really liked it. <laughs> Having all the episodes Look have this connecting thread of this mysterious game. So Look at him! Look at him! Look at him! Watching the show. Look at him! What is that what is that crouch? I can't. Okay. So this why is, is he, a, Why is he a crab sidewalking to the enemy? I don't know why this game is the way it is. Uh, but this is a PC game. This was a Power Rangers Zeo it's PC, a PC game. game. And I, I played this long, long time ago. Yeah. Um, it is a wild game. <laughs> it's oh not built well, and I think it'd be very interesting to play on stream. Uh, but mm -hmm. I wouldn't even know where to begin of obtaining it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's very interesting. <laughs> How interesting are we talking about? Is is a story the same? It's from... it kind of just follows the show very very yeah. okay. loosely. Yeah, uh, you need a forty nine year run it though. <laughs> 49. Good joke, Glenn. Good joke. Good joke. 40, good joke, Glenn. I like that. That was good. Oh my god. Not like this. 20 years later, I of course knew that Jason was the Gold Ranger, but they still did a really oh. good job. Somebody asked a question. Was there actual hints that like actually gave out no. it was actually Jason? No. Mm -hmm. None. Not at all. Which, uh, again, I guess it's a good thing because then it just kept the surprise fresh. Yeah. Um, okay. But at the same time, it's like, but you teased all these people. I get it. I understand, but yeah. What? To only not be any one of them. It's like the same yeah. thing of like yeah. trailers showing like these types of scenes and that they're not actually part of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in fact, if I remember correctly, there was going to be a line in the Turbo uh, movie about how the Zeo powers were getting too strong for the Rangers to control, so they used them uh, to power the Turbo Zords and the Morphers, but the line was cut. So there's a lot of weird stuff, but. I think ultimately, like we as fans, what we accept is that the Zeo powers um, are just new powers. No, the well, the They're turbo new? powers. Yeah, but the the Zeo powers okay. specifically. There's... Sorry, well, this doesn't make sense right now to you, Zeus. Yeah. So I, I don't expect you. This to make sense. Uh, these are the ne next set of powers. We're jumping ahead, and it's okay. uh, confusing. I, I get it. Um, okay, okay. We'll we'll keep it simple. But yeah, I, I think I agree with Kane. Is they were. Because all the lines in the scenes that would have explained it were cut from the movie, um, mm -hmm. there's not really like a good explanation. So I think it's just literally, hey, we need to go from point A to point B, and the turbo power is the only thing that can do that. Take the Zeo powers, turn them into the turbo powers, and that's that's literally yeah. it. That's that's technically the only canon 
explanation we get. There's other fan theories, but unfortunately, like, <sighs> it's it's hard to speculate. And we'll talk more about that when we get to Turbo, because, hey, Zeus, okay. um, uh, Turbo has a movie as well. Oh, of and course the, they do. <laughs> and this time it's canon. Wait, really? Yeah, we'll get there. Oh, damn. Yeah, well, is, it, is that a good movie? I like it. I, uh, I actually like, like it. I like it a lot, but there's there's a lot that was cut that would have explained more. Yeah. But, hmm. Again, we're jumping ahead. We'll get there. Don't worry. We'll get there okay, in like okay. another month. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> anyway. Uh, potential Rangers. David was a fun little sorry, possibility. I'm the entire month but this yeah. one. <laughs> right, listen, Billy was good. the one they were obviously teasing since the beginning. And this is where I'm torn on the Gold Ranger. You see, as I mentioned earlier, I obviously love Jason. He has I mean, this commanding presence about Gold him, Ranger so in nice <laughs> Battle for the, back to the series. It's Trey in the game, from too. From a story perspective, yeah. Billy just makes more sense. Especially since he's been shown multiple times that he misses being a ranger and fighting alongside his friends. It yeah. just felt like kind of a kick in the face, you know? Yeah. The behind-the-scenes reasons as to why Billy was constantly getting shafted are pretty disgusting to be honest oh we finally got into it that for just a little okay. bit later a little bit later a little bit later Jason okay. return was also an attempt to boost ratings zeo wasn't doing so hot and i guess they thought that bringing back an old ranger would bring back some lapsed fans and it did but, oh wait saban i thought the actors and characters didn't matter it's only the helmets and zords that people care about surprise an absolute idiot i'll never let that go <laughs> oh, last stand. i really like this episode you said it not me reasons. First Listen, off, they're saying it, not us. Jason back and interacting with a mostly new cast of characters he was never on screen with before is really fun. We get to have Rocky and Jason together, two former yeah. Mighty Morphin Red Rangers. Mm. This episode is almost an attempt at acknowledging that. You see, Rocky's starting to feel jealous for some reason that everyone's enamored with Jason. He's starting to feel like Jason's going to replace him, which is ironic considering Rocky literally replaced Jason's True. ranger role. Because that of this, is true. Rocky's yeah. yeah. Himself as being worthy of being a ranger. Meanwhile, Meanwhile Billy's just hanging out. Magical sword that'll make him powerful. The Damocles sword. Y yeah. The rangers are sent to investigate, sword. and Rocky spots King Mondo by himself. Wait, did Saban say that? Is that why people left? Yeah. Um, More com or less. Com complicated, but m mostly yes. Mostly uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Essentially, yeah, yeah. Uh, Saban was very transparent with his feelings about cast saying more uh. or less the lines of you are all replaceable yeah. no matter what happens in this show the only thing that matters are the suits and the toy sales yeah um we got this in a lot of interviews too so it's uh, like this is confirmed by a lot of people yeah. on different seasons uh so this is not just hearsay this is genuine confirmed by a lot of people even to this current day more or less but yeah. He's about to call in for backup, but he feels like this is his time to prove himself to the team. I'm the Blue oh Ranger. God. No. Yeah. He's going to take on the big bad end boss by himself. It's coming. It's coming. It it's goes about as well as you'd imagine. It's almost time. He returns uh, back to the command center and tells everyone quiet. about his poor plan. And Jason, in the funniest way possible, replies with, Why did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> One more time. Jason, one more time. One more time. Funniest way possible replies with, "Why did you do that? <laughs> Why did you do that? Why did you do that? It's not, it Why did you? Sounded so... Why did you do that? It sounds so numb inside, bro. Why did, Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Why did you... <laughs> Oh my god, Quick, it sounded like, all, it sounded like everything like in his life betrayed him. <laughs> That's what that uh, line gave well, off. <laughs> watch out, danger. He's for real. You mean I passed uh, off my power uh, to you? <laughs> Why did you do that? Why did you do that? He sounds you, so you disappointed. The, Red Ranger? the Rangers have a pretty Man. intense battle with King Mondo, <laughs> even combining all the Zords to oh, a Super Zeo Megazord. Which is surprisingly enough to destroy King Mondo. Entirely. Whoa. But Queen Machina tells her son that this has happened before and he'll return. Yeah. Or will he'll be he? fine. He's a machine. Because Zed and Rita catch wind them. of this and plan to strike while the iron is hot. The episode ends at the juice bar with Rocky apologizing for feeling jealous. And Jason's like, it's all good. I'm glad we're friends. Uh and that's it. Are they? The episode really feels like wasted potential. Are they actually? They I, we're going to find out. Right. Rocky being jealous of Jason, feeling insecure because Jason is a really powerful ranger. 
He's led his team through dark times and prevailed. <sighs> He's gone into battles by himself, not thinking of the risk, just wanting to protect the Earth and his friends. True. When he left, Rocky took his place and did nothing. Tommy was yeah. the new leader, yeah. and he was the one going on dangerous missions. I wish we got to see more Rocky and Jason interactions. Have Jason be the one to tell Rocky he's doing a great job and was the best man to replace him. But no, we just get... Why did you do that? <laughs> stop! 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 Oh my god, please! <laughs> did my tracking break? Wait, my it? tracking broke! What is Oh my god, my dragon <laughs> broke. Why did you do that? Oh no, my dragon <laughs> broke. Why did you do that? Why did my, you do that? My dragon broke, dude. Oh, no. Why did you do that? Hold on. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> this music makes me so happy you're in on these inside jokes. <laughs> <laughs> The only thing that I can't imitate is like Jason's is like like it's scream. Over. It's, it's it's just so guttural and deep. I can't. It's so guttural. Oh, you mean the boo in the post? Yeah. And, I can't. No, and now it's just. Oh gosh, what is it? Now it's. Come on, power. I saw the power pill of Midas. Oh my god, I can't, I can't with that. Is <laughs> hey, and chapter. Thanks for the each one. <laughs> Oh my summer. god, okay, you're cracking exactly. Yeah, 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 oh my god, you're good, you're good. It's time everything. for Louis Kaboom. Saying they're on their turf and they have to oh, no. Jason notices a girl on the back of the main guy's bike and instantly falls for her. Meanwhile, Jesus. Rita and Zed okay. created this huh? bomb. That look, Love though. Sight. Okay. That look, Listen, though. That mm. look. Mm. Fire it. Mm. Having it land on the machine empire. Yeah, I love the jacket. Step. The bomb turns into a monster named Louis Kaboom. Wow. And believe it or not, he actually becomes the main villain for a while. He's kind huh? of annoying and honestly. <laughs> yeah. I love the genuine ha huh from Zeus. Because, <laughs> no, like, yeah. the, there's no way, there is no way a main villain is named Louis Kaboom. You've never met a, a main villain before named Louis Kaboom? No, Ever? never. No, no. You've no. never fought anyone in. No. You know, Gosh, what's a really arbitrary Dark, game? No. Dark Souls? You've never fought Louis Kaboom in Dark no. Souls? You never oh, fought oh, Louis oh, Kaboom in the Animaniacs no. game from 19, whatever? Or, or Louis I Kaboom in, in the hit series God of War? Oh my God. In Halo? <laughs> yeah, You've I'm never fought weird the world. Reapers and Louis Kaboom in Mass Effect? Oh my God. <laughs> Shepard, it's Louis Kaboom again. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I this is my favorite Louis Kaboom on the Citadel. Brooklyn accent. Sorry, Metal Mama. I'm running things now. Jason runs Dang. with the girl yeah, you never out his name Emily. <laughs> She's pretty mean, but Jason looks at her and genuinely thinks. I can fix her. I mean, so now she's new in town and is having trouble making friends. Oh so my Jason naturally God. tries to sweet talk his way into convincing her to be good. Before she really makes up her mind, though, Louis Kaboom and a monster attack. Oh no! Where Jason tells her to run and he morphs on out. I hate this so much. much. I hate it so. You, you what? What? Okay, so you okay, know how the have... you know how the Rangers ahead, have the Zeonizers like to morph with? They have their morphers. Mm. So in O Ranger, the source material. The Gold Ranger also had Zeonizers. They were just gold. But he did the same exact thing that everyone else did. Mm -hmm. And The thing is, here, because his powers are not from the Zeo Crystal, canonically, okay. and they come from the staff and, you know, inside himself, he doesn't need a Morpher. So he just shouts Gold Ranger power and twirls his arms around in kind of like a nonsensical way. It he so he puts his arms down as if he's like almost crossing his hands, and then up and then back down. Okay, I, yeah, I know that I know that makes no sense, but it's a uh, see like it just twirls his arms. Two on one okay, it's a uh, oh my model did freeze. Thank you. Why would you do that? I, uh, that's a good question. Sorry. Oh, it's the phone. Oh. oh. Okay, while you're doing that, I'm going to go get more water for myself because sure. there's only so many times I can yell, <clears throat> We're oh. the power of thunder! You know? <laughs> yes, so, please. Please, just okay. get your water. <laughs> Give me one moment. I'll be right back. Yeah, take your time. It's all good. Well, well, well.
I, I can probably take the fan is off. Your, is your model still? The model's fine. I, I think it's I think it's quite literally the um the what's it called? I have I I put a fan on it because I noticed that I was um. Oh, is it overheating? So it, I think it was overheating before, and now that I've had the fan on it for a while, it's probably a little too cold. So. Oh. That's my assumption, at least. Okay. Yeah. We were, I, tech support things are so annoying. <laughs> I'm used to dealing with them by now. I kind of just like, so long as I don't panic, I'm kind of just like, yeah. I can handle this. I can fix it usually. Yeah. You know? At least you're not like me. Whenever something breaks, I'm like, oh, no. Oh, no. What happened? What happened? I'm too used to it, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. I am too used to it. It do be like that. Yeah. It do be like that. The scuffness is part of every VTuber stream. You know, it True. is what it is. True. Mm -mm -mm. You know? As long as we don't have to buy something new. If we do, we just cry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is what it is. It is what it is. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness gracious. We're just having fun. I got more and good news in my email. Power Rangers, let's go. But I can't talk about it. Hmm? I got more good news in my email, but I can't talk about it. <gasps> we, can't, we can't talk about it. On no, I, I actually can't talk about it on stream. I was like, I was about to, and, I was, and then at the end, it was like something that I can't talk about that says that mm. I can't talk about it. Oh gosh. <laughs> so, listen, I got, I got too excited. I was like, oh. Oh man. Yep. Oh. Uh, oh hmm. yeah. I shouldn't say. Uh, I can't. I can't talk about this thing. Okay, Roy has a secret. No, I have a no, lot no, of no. secrets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like how. <laughs> Roy 4.0. <laughs> new assets. <laughs> Brand new idea. <laughs> coming soon. You know. It's just Damn. crazy. That is crazy. That's a lot of plans. It's, it's, it's wild, wacky, inflatable. You're I'm cooking. Two man. I, listen, the cooking don't stop. The, the, the cooking co don't stop. You are right. The cooking don't stop. The cooking Zeus, gotta keep cooking. We have to cook. We have to cook. Zeus. Keep on cooking. We have to cook. <laughs> we have to cook. I don't even think it's the right <laughs> voice, sir. <laughs> Zeus, we have to cook. You know. Mm, 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 mm. Secret, he's gonna make his waist skinny. <laughs> <laughs> You're oh a sicko, God. you sick bun. What? I was talking about how oh excited I am to be going to Power Morphicon. <sighs> I get my get my own yeah. uh, VTuber Sona designed, or VTuber oh uh, Ranger Sona. There we go. I'd probably have Honestly. to make it like what what I think my new design is gonna look like though, like musculature wise, because mm -hmm. that that is gonna be changing, and I I need to like. You know, have that set up. Yeah, yeah. That's I do all have. Fine. That's all fine. I have the artist already lined up. I already know. I need that beeping oh thing for God. streams too. So that's from a a Go XLR. It's from an audio interface. Um, you can attach things like your microphone, um, various other things to it. It allows me to separate audio channels because you you guys said you were pretty new to the whole streaming thing, right? Uh, Power Morphicon. So looking into some sort of um audio interface will definitely help later for down the line. Um. Mm -hmm. Go XLRs aren't bad. Um, they're a little air quotes outdated now because they're not getting updated anymore. But I I think they're they're still great, you know. Oh, wait, so there's very very limited Go XLRs now. No, or something. You like can that? still find them fine, but okay. but they're not being updated anymore. Like like so software wise. So they're stuck on that type of program thingy. Yeah. For, so it'll for like forever. It'll never it'll never get updated again ever. Oh. Um. However. I still think they're fantastic pieces of technology. And if you're starting out mm. and you want a, um, a, a pretty reliable piece of technology that'll last you, honestly, until somebody finds like a giga flaw with it, mm. I, I still think they're worth going for. Yeah, Rode has an equivalent. Uh, Beacon also has uh, an equivalent. Like there's, there's a lot of like other things out there, but I still think the GoXLR is, is completely fine. I think people jumped ship like too early. Mm. Personally, yeah, personally, well, personally. I don't know. I guess I'm just so scary of having to try to tweak anything that's like <laughs> whether with audio, with streams, because I feel like I don't know anything I touch that technology just breaks. <laughs> See, that's uh, that's part of the fun with it, though, is like you need to be willing to. You gotta be. You gotta be willing to break some stuff sometimes. 
Yeah. Not necessarily. That is, that is part of it. Yeah. Not if it's expensive. Oh my god. You I don't mean it like that. that you know. That is, yeah. <laughs> Welcome back, Kane. Yeah. Oh my god. I can't just open up a PlayStation Five and magically it gets fixed or something. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> quick oh, as dude. lightning. Jason, the most powerful <laughs> ranger. They defeat the monster and Emily becomes good, blossoming a potential Easy romance peasy. between her and Jason. Wow, that was fast. I didn't know Sense you just had to weasel. fight. Easy. Okay. Episode is pretty dumb. Easy peasy. Queen Holy Machina <laughs> comes up with her first evil plan against the rangers to make them smelly. That's Damn. the stupidest what? idea ever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Her husband <laughs> is literally dead, idea blown ever. up by the Power Rangers, and her first active plan of revenge is to make them smell bad. Oh no. Whatever. The rangers become stinky and have to become unstinky to defeat the monster. Oh no. Uh, yes. Yeah. The Vulcan Skull stuff is more interesting. They get hired to do security for a fashion show where Skull kind of falls for a model. He messes things up I mean. as usual, but they end up having a nice heart to heart where Skull's Aww, incompetence is shown yeah. off in a likable and charming mm -hmm. way. At least I can't smell it anymore. Guess you get used to it after a while. <laughs> Let's hope. The lore of Aww. Aww. You see this couple That's on the show. That's so nice. I love that they're giving out like episodes for Skull and Bones. Yeah. Also, yeah. agree with what uh, Power Morphicon said. Uh, there's not really ever a, like an in-canon or in-universe reason as to why Antonio is super busted in oh, Power Ranger Samurai. Yeah. He's just giga smart and made Dude, his own morpher. So it's incredibly like incredibly smart. Y yeah. Um, <laughs> you are, like really quickly, you have to realize that Antonio made his morpher based on seeing the regular samurizers one time yeah <laughs> yeah and created <laughs> and then moved Good, away dude they they were separated as kids then created a phone that looks exactly like the original samurizers and taps into the morphing grid that gives him a zord an arsenal everything yep yeah, Antonio's uh, kind of goaded in saw a single. Antonio is one of the Damn. smartest people in the entire Ranger franchise, and no one really recognizes that. It's so wild. Listen, I have a lot of problems with Power Ranger Samurai. Antonio is not one of them. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Antonio is not one of them. He's all, I love Antonio. What the heck? Indiana Jones. Speaking of what the heck, to retrieve this artifact, oh, known as Auric. It's Auric the Conqueror. Louis Kaboom uh, stops treasure. and steals it for himself, trapping the two in the cave. Meanwhile, Tanya receives a letter from Aisha saying that wow. her parents are in from danger. Aisha. Oh my God! Which, yeah, the two They're from earlier back. are Tanya's parents. Yeah. Whoa. 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 Sort of. Also came with the key. The key is necessary for activating Auric. Tanya wants to go save her parents by herself, and Jason offers to guard the key until she comes back. True. However, while alone, he gets ambushed by Louis. And while he puts up a good fight, he's ultimately outnumbered and loses the key. The villains <gasps> no! activate Auric. The question is, is why did him. why did he have the key out with him? That is you know, true. Just sometimes did they you just wanna... gave it to like to, to like Jason just because like, oh, you're more experienced. Yeah, you can sometimes do it on your own. You want it to hang low. Uh, wobble to and fro. Oh, okay, never mind. Another Zord. Okay. Right. Okay. Get me out of here, Kane. Get me out of here, Kane. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> since Akira. A good guy, the Rangers are able to convince him that they're on the side of good. <laughs> if he had a necklace, he could have worn it. True. He does. Meanwhile, Tanya goes on this Indiana Jones adventure to find her I love parents. Indiana Jones. They have a nice embrace and. Aww. That's it. Yep. We'll never see or hear from them again. <laughs> no. Nope. Well, literally <laughs> true. Okay. Just one episode, and then after that, the parents just don't exist. <laughs> Not kidding. That's just. Yeah. That's just the way it is. Yeah. Things will never yep. be the same. That's just the yep. way it is. Yeah. I appreciate the episode Sadly. at least having a focus on Tanya. Her parents were missing for years, which is why I guess she was in that village as a child. Ah. And it's frankly the first real episode of Tanya that's about her backstory or who she even is. True. The ranger who came in from the gold. That's kind of a convoluted title. That is a very <laughs> long... A monster okay. That turns everything into gold. He turns Jason into a golden statue and... <laughs> wow. He really shines like gold, doesn't he? Stop. Stop. Golden personality you got right you now. Don't stop right now. <laughs> Though his acting looks a little stiff. I'm... 
I'm sure I could come up with another joke. I'm, he's rich, full of them. Okay, shut up. No, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> yeah, see? I was like... <laughs> um, hold on. I, I got this. Um, okay, I wait, okay. I the best... Wait, the, I, I, best I, I, the best part about this... The best part about this is he's moving yeah, slightly. I, 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 I'm gonna block. <laughs> I'm gonna block. Excuse me. Dang. Yeah, Zeus, Zeus really said, watch this. Be oh my goodness. Back to what, what is it? There we go. The what? That's it. The best part of the episode it's over. is that oh, Adam gets what? to say it's morphin' oh. time. It's over. It's morphin' time. <laughs> Little victories. It's, it's over. So this episode's oh. called yeah. The Joke's what? On Blue. The Joke's On Blue. Wait, what happened to Jason? Think would be huh? a uh, yeah. they beat the monster and he got freed. So this is a question for all three of you. Who's your favorite <laughs> ranger from the original <laughs> six and who's your least favorite? <laughs> Favorites of the original six? Probably Billy. Least favorite? <laughs> uh, I probably go for, probably go for the the pink ranger. I really like Trini, um, though Trini, I wish did more. <sighs> Potentially it's Trini, but I I wish Trini did more. Mm. I don't know about least favorite. I don't think I feel good picking a least favorite because it's like, oh, because saying original six. And then if you pick Jason, Zach, or Trini as your least favorite, it's like, well, they weren't around nearly as often, so of course they're your least favorite. So, I don't know. It feels weird. I'm just going to say Billy's my favorite. I'm going to cheat, because it's my stream. <laughs> <laughs> it, is your, it is your stream indeed. You are true. right about that. True, true, true. Mm -mm -mm. True and real. Yeah, Contraband, get out of here. Get over here. Oh, get over here, Contraband. Come on. Wait, what's happening? Uh, uh, Kane's dealing with contraband. I don't know who what? That was. Oh, sorry. My bad. Yeah. My bad. Huh? Don't worry about it. My bad. It's fine. Okay. 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 Now. okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, the more they can, we continue this series, the more confused I get. I feel like anyway. Zeus, yeah. Zeus confused <laughs> forever. <laughs> There's a mysterious prankster at Angel Grove that's playing jokes on everyone. Bulk and Skull take up the task to find oh, no. out who it is. And that's the whole human plot. The ranger stuff Damn. is what's important. That's a, it that's turns a plot. Out King Mondo had another son, Prince Gasket. I actually dislike this a lot because after Prince watching. Prince Gasket? Yes. It, 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 their name is Prince Gasket. Yes. Yeah. I'm so. Completely that's... correct. Okay. In the Sentai. Yeah. <clears throat> In the Sentai, this is just so metal, and I'm sad they didn't keep it, but I understand now why they didn't, because it's so kind of like, whoa, <laughs> whoa. Okay. Um, in the Sentai, when uh, Mondo dies, when he's killed in, mm -hmm. in battle, mm -hmm. they take his parts, and they combine it with Sprocket, like the really, really small young one, and he turns into Gasket. But they basically cannibalize freaking Mondo's body and give his parts to freaking... <laughs> rocket <laughs> it's it's kind of it's kind of uh, dope hello, raiders. Hi, oh hey hi raiders we're not I mean... cannibalism no we're um <laughs> we're we're talking yeah. about power rangers that's we're what we're talking, definitely about. Power we're talking about power rangers, rangers. i promise welcome raiders you know? hi I'm Zeus. This is this is Roy. This is Kane. Hi. We're talking about Power Rangers. Hi. <laughs> Definitely Power Rangers. Hello, Trust hello, me. Hello, everyone. Trust Hi. me. Hi. Trust me on this one, please. Thank okay. you. Okay. You know I'm gonna take your word for it. I'm gonna take your word for it. Yes, absolutely, yes. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Thank you. Thank you. But yeah, uh, we're we're like twenty minutes left in on mm -hmm. Zeo. Yeah, Whoa, Power Rangers make Zio. Making good progress. Making so, good progress. Yeah. Probably mm -hmm. probably like another. 30 minutes left, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Either works, but yeah, if you want to continue on yeah. and because of yeah, this, learn, King Mondo grab some water, drinks, and blankets, get comfy. Comfy mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. You're Prince just going to talk about the show. A replacement. It's a really interesting backstory, honestly, giving these new villains real motivation against yeah. not only the Rangers, but the Machine Empire. Archerina even manages to place a spell on Louis Kaboom that makes him fall in love with her. Manipulate oh, which also happens take on the rangers head on the sentai so louis kaboom oh. does battle with the yeah. rangers it doesn't go so well for him yeah he he was never any kind of kaboom. leader or yeah. <laughs> he goes kaboom <laughs> oh my god yeah. his own namesake oh my 
Louis went kaboom. I don't know what to tell you. Is this Zio? Yes, it is. Uh, really quickly, uh, go to uh, chat. Uh, uh, what, what are we calling this? Live stream chat? Live chat. Live yeah, chat. live chat, live chat. Uh, yep, mm-hmm. Someone drew us already? Wait, what? What the heck? What? Wait, what? Wait, that's so pog! <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god. Well, I'm retweeting it now. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Wait, it's on open chat, isn't it? Mm hmm. Oh my gosh. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I love it. <laughs> I can't believe like, somebody actually already did. I love how <laughs> smug I look. Oh, and my mods are making uh, like mock-ups of uh, like logos for us. Oh my god, that is so sweet. Yeah. That's so funny. Guys, that's so sweet. Yeah, everyone's so excited. I wonder I what for. So that's crazy. Excited. <laughs> what, 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 what could they possibly be so excited for? Anyway. I wonder. It's Lord Zed. Never have to hear from him again. Where in the world is Zeo Ranger Five? Tommy Where Cat and in Jason the are world out is Zeo Ranger Five? He got evil. Mysteriously disappears. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that freaking shot of just just no one on the jet ski is kind of <laughs> like, whoo! That is nutty. Uh, this is my favorite episodes of Zeo. It's so ironic because like. I hate, I hate like what happens during them, but I genuinely think they're some of the best episodes of Zio. So it's oh, like, yeah. it's like, oh my God, I love them, but I hate what they do with them again, which makes me like hate it more the because I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Man. You'll, you'll see what I mean in a second. It's unfortunate it's that they okay, exist okay. here. Worse yeah. is that Zordon and Alpha can't locate him, but in the meantime, Jason has to lead the team. Oh man. Not surprisingly, <laughs> I really like it. Oh man. I'm sorry if I sound like a broken record, that's, but that's Jason crazy. leading the power. Are we doing well, Natural? Welcome in. Natural. He gives commands really well and feels like a leader. However, Power Rangers being Power Rangers, they're naturally weaker without Tommy and are having a harder time defeating the bad guy. Oh no. They do barely manage to destroy the monster though, where we got the Tommy oh, no. in a pretty creepy void oh. with this machine on his head, altering his mind. Zordon oh my god, not Tara. again! Not again! What? Not again! What do you mean? <laughs> Zeus, what do you mean? <laughs> Zeus, what do you mean? What's wrong? I'm 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 gonna lose it. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm standing up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose it. What do you <laughs> mean? This is like a lot of what's wrong? Zeus, what's wrong? I'm so uh, what, do you, what do you mean? What's wrong? What's going on? Just, just put this plate. Oh, whoopsie doopsie! He goes easy again! Day, ah. part one. Prince Gasket and Archerina's plan is going well. Oh, that's great. They're currently trying to wipe Tommy's mind so he forgets that he's a good guy, even managing to convince him that he's the king of the Machine Empire, and Whoa. the Power Rangers are an evil group trying to stop him. Whoa. Where, for the 30 millionth time, we are dealing with an evil Tommy. Which, honestly, ah. I like. I think it's funny. <laughs> Is all right. So it, this is what I was saying. Like I hate these episodes because I like them, and I hate this trope for Tommy so much. But it is nice to see Jason leading the team, and it's also ironic that Jason came back in Tommy's evil again. So anyway, Honey, Tommy's always becoming evil in one way or another. This time, though, Just through nature, amnesia and you know? gaslighting. However, yes. reaching this dimension yeah. where Tommy is at is proving difficult. They need to enter through a random dimensional rift or something. Something like that. One of which Bulk and Skull accidentally I fall into and end up on the planet. The Rangers manage no. to find another one and Jason volunteers to save Tommy. It's a nice continuation of Jason's story. Jason really brings out the worst in Tommy. <laughs> That is not. I can't believe you said that. I can't believe you genuinely said that. that I cannot totally believe you said that. Funnier than it has any reason to be. 
Oh. Where he still feels guilty for not saving the green candle and preserving Tommy's original powers. Dang. I also like the planet they're on, too. Sure, it's got the Breaking Bad New Mexico filter, but still, it's a coliseum and feels like a desolate, violent place where the Rangers are very much not welcome. Jason tries That's to convince wild. Tommy that they're on his side and he's being manipulated, but the brainwashing is too strong. Having Jason go through a gauntlet of fights on Man, his where's own. his staff? Part two is oh. where our heroes really get to shine. Oh. And by heroes, I'm of course talking about Bulk and Skull. Yeah! yeah. yeah. A human half reptilian. That's your boy, Kane. That's, that's that's my boy. It's, oh, uh, Koichi Sakamoto! Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? So go ahead. You can go ahead and explain who Koichi Sakamoto is. Okay, okay, okay. I was so confused for a moment. So Koichi Sakamoto, this guy, uh, is one of the uh, lead stunt coordinators on Power Rangers, and because of their work on Power Rangers, eventually mm. got elevated i suppose into super sentai and common rider and their their work is very 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 iconic um mm. you know if anyone if we play it it's probably gonna get a dmca but if you go onto youtube and look up the video um the koichi sakamoto effect it will showcase a, a lot of his work and it's fantastic um koichi sakamoto is oh, one of my it's, favorite it's directors just of all time. the koichi effect the Koichi effect. It's, okay. it's, that don't, you don't even need his full name. It's just the Koichi effect. Koichi effect. The Koichi effect. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and and the voice actor is uh, Paul St. Peter, which is Leomon in uh, English for Transforming Digimon. Transforming such posing in fights. Uh, yeah. These, so these shots are really, really good. Though. The, the yeah. shots are just the shots are just fantastic. He he's the a shots are amazing. He's, yeah. he's just crazy. Well, yeah. Creature. Wait, are these? The am I being spoiled with these new suits that I'm seeing right <laughs> no, now? No, because you're probably seeing go down, you know, the rabbit hole of Tokusatsu. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which you should, he looks so but good, I digress. Though, actually. <laughs> True. True. He's a genius. Mm -hmm. They're so on good. Planet and Bulk and Skull oh, are very much not Whoa. welcome. It's too true. Is where are, where they meet this half human, half reptilian creature. He's the greatest warrior on his planet, and Bulk and Skull say that they are as well. I mean, true. Reptile over here is happy to hear this and informs Bulk and Skull that they're <gasps> going to help with Wait, their plans. Wait, my to mods tweeted out their thing. Hold on, let me see if I can find it real oh. quick. What did you go into Twitter? Did you tag me in it? Did you tag or us? Oh, yes, they did. Oh, yes, oh. they did. Where's she art? Oh, thank God. Okay. That was easy to find. Oh my god! They made they made like designs for oh us. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, those are so cool. <laughs> this is really cute. It is oh my gosh, so, these are oh so god. cool. <laughs> you guys are nutty. Thank you, Belmore. Thank you. Thank you. I like so that's BT. Vito Hinshin. <laughs> oh my god. We have to have a roll call on everything. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll, we'll, figure, we'll it figure it out. out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll be we'll, we'll be ready out. and official. We'll, we'll be ready and official. Mm -mm -mm. Meanwhile, this whole Coliseum thing is being televised, where Zed and Rita are so excited that the Rangers are finally gonna be destroyed. So but they're Zed's just excitement watching this all fades. happen. When he realizes that if the machine yeah. empire are the ones to destroy ah. the Rangers, they'll rule the galaxy. And Zed and Rita will still be stranded on the. I'm gonna do the rest of Mythos. Nice, Belmore. Evil trailer that I Let's think go. I forgot to mention. Yeah, this trailer is their new base. Oh damn. So with no <laughs> other <laughs> options, that's a. Oh my god! They lost their house and they live in a trailer. On the moon, mind you. On the moon. On the moon. On the moon. This is okay. This is the kind of campy of Power Rangers, which I am kind of a fan of. But I'm also not a fan of. For this specific instance, this is very funny. But oh my god! Yeah, it's okay. it's just weird. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's just weird. I can see that. Yeah. We have to help the Power Rangers. Oh, oh no! The planet is covered in Go oh, Rangers! No. Go Rangers! Go Rangers! Go Rangers! Go Rangers! Go Rangers! Go Rangers! The Go Rangers. Rangers. Go Rangers. They're ultimately lost in the void. Oh my this God. is where Zed and Rita come in. They decide to use their powers to help the Rangers make it to Jason and Tommy. 
So oh my. they can all team up and be together to stop the machine empire. True. Meanwhile, Reptile, Bulk, and Skull manage to find the control room. Reptile decides to take care of the machine, but they get ambushed by the cogs. He tells Bulk and Skull to take care Look of them. Look at them being since heroes. Yeah. They did say they I were Earth's this. greatest warriors. <laughs> what ensues is our first ever Bulk and Skull it's fight. So scene. good. You know, kinda. They use slapstick antics to get rid of oh the Oh my god, go get him! Go get him! That's exactly what go Billy him, did in season one of Mighty Morphin. Never really using martial go arts, him, but more so utilizing combative I forms of defense. It. They play the Balkan Skull theme song throughout, but I think it would have been way funnier if they used one of the serious fight songs. Yeah. Do you decide who will protect you from your fright? <laughs> the 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 your the I agree. Rangers I think that would have been giga cool. Using the power of friendship yeah, to welcome in kitchen. Tommy's memory. And thanks to Balkan Skull, they're able to just teleport away from the planet. Yeah. Reptile also teleports Balkan Skull back to Earth, but not before saying his planet will make legends of them. Hey, thanks for the follow, Aww. official Morphicon. Yeah. Where they saved the Power Rangers. Nobody they did? believes you know, them. But once the I met Lord Zed and Rita, <laughs> yeah, Stone and I. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, yeah. that's a reference. Continue. Uh, uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, the call's you for you. have a phone call. Hello. <laughs> to say thank you and that they gave them. Oh, cut the sarcasm, will ya? That's it, Skull. We don't have to take this. We're out of here. The King for a Day two yeah. starter oh. is tons of fun. <laughs> Hilariously oh, enough, well. it's just another oh. retread of Mighty Morphin oh. with Tommy being an evil ranger and Jason leading the team to save him. Uh. Prince Gasket is oh. also a much better villain than King Mondo. Uh, His first real day on the wow. job, oh. and he manages thought. to almost yeah. Bro, that cog is been. giving him such yeah. a hard time. It's a yeah. Groundhog's Day filler episode. <laughs> Tommy keeps living the same day over and over until he needs to destroy the source. I usually like these types of episodes and shows, but they take way too long to establish what's going on. It's like over half the episode until they take action. Yeah. A mystery to me. The Rangers plus Vulcan's oh, oh, so I love this episode. This is one of my favorite filler episodes because it's so dumb. Like, it's just so fun. <laughs> Who done it mystery They're murder costumes, thing. though. Yeah. yeah no, very, it's very funny. nice. Cat gets abducted by Archerina and they fight. Wow. Oric also is here to help. I forgot he existed. I think this is the only other episode Oric shows up in, by the way. Yeah. Like the not the only episode? The it's only really other unfortunate. Yeah, it's it's this and the other episode where he was introduced in, and he's not used very often in O Ranger either. Oh. Yeah. yeah Another that's song and well. dance. <gasps> Tommy has to sing a song for his music class this is it? and ask Tanya for help. Queen Machina gets another brilliant idea to put a spell on Tommy. And there Tanya, it is, Darkos. Making it so they can only speak in song. It's so dumb. It's totally oh, it's not annoying and totally doesn't go on for. No, way. it's not. It is just. It's just Tommy and Tanya it's singing instead of speaking, and it's Tanya's fine because it's <sighs> she's funny, but like Tommy. Tommy's not a singer. And it, this is the this is the camp that I do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Too long and is not How bad are we talking about? It's time. Okay, it's, it's it's that the entire episode. Yeah. We're not exaggerating. I do love that morph though cuz it's <laughs> let's stop this crime. It's just so stupid, but I I I love it. I love it. <laughs> but the rest of the episode, I agree with you, is painful. I just this like, is, okay. I like that one moment. This is someone's cup of tea, and it's not me. <laughs> Zero to two. Yeah, that's not a. Zero to five, Red. <laughs> Okay, that's kind of funny. Uh, I, I, okay. I can't. We finally <laughs> reached the episodes I have been kind of dreading. Uh, Rangers of two worlds. All right, I'm sorry. This is where things get not, not Daijobu, Zeus. So oh. we we are probably gonna be pausing here a lot to like talk, so Zeus and I can okay. add context when needed. Okay. We're gonna let okay. Connor talk first, and then yes. okay. we'll, we'll probably pause to add more context. Yes. Okay. Part one and two. There's an emergency in the power chamber. When the Rangers arrive, they see that Billy has aged rapidly. The aging is due to events that happened in Mighty Morphin. When all the Rangers return to kids, Billy used the device on himself to turn him back into a teenager. However, it's only now starting to have negative effects, such as the constant aging. The rangers of Aquatar come to help, saying they'll need to go to what's essentially their fountain of youth to get some of its water. Jason offers to go while the rest of the rangers have a battle with this thing. 
Very scary. The, the purse monster. It's actually a the monster impersonator. by Rita. After yeah. Finster gave her a new staff. Now having Zed and Rita be active in destroying the Rangers before the oh. Machine Empire does. Jason returns with the water, but the device backfires and doesn't work. And what's worse is that Billy continues to age. And at this rate, he won't be long for this world. With no other options, the Rangers teleport Billy to Aquitar in hopes that their technology can aid him. The Doctor is an Equitian woman named Sestria, who's a big fan of Billy, since earlier in the season, he's the one who went to Aquitar to help save it. Which, and he was only gone for like two episodes, but yeah, that was that was like hmm. way earlier. Yeah. Hey, with the alien rangers already on Earth, they decide to team up with the Zeo Rangers to fight this monster. Which I actually really like, even though they're not great, but the O-Ranger Kaku Ranger team up is the first ever official team up for Super Sentai that's just two teams. It sets the precedent for like future team ups going forward. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh awkwardly enough uh this is not canon and nor mm -hmm. is the team up after this with o-ranger because o-ranger i i won't say specifically what but they do something in their last couple of episodes that make anything that happens around o-ranger not canon okay which is really dumb but regardless making this okay. technically the first ever team up episode in Power Rangers. It's fun. It's not really given any weight or grandeur considering it happens over halfway through the episode. Still seeing a team yeah. up is always tons of fun. The morphs, the lineup and the fight. This is all Sentai footage too since Kaku Ranger and O Ranger actually did have a team up movie. Yeah, they did. Where mm -hmm. they defeat the monster and save the day. The Rangers head back to the power chamber and receive a message from Billy saying they managed to cure him, but he's not coming home. It seems he's fallen in love with Sestria and is staying on Aquatar. Rangers say goodbye and it's happily ever after for Billy, right? A sweet but sad send off. Well, unfortunately, that's there not the go. case. This is where things get a little sad. You'll notice that the older Billies were played by different actors. That's fine and all, but when Billy shows up at the end of the episode, he sounds nothing like Billy. Guys, I've made a really important decision. I'll miss you all, but I'm going to stay here on Aquatar with Sestria. Why is this? At the time, most people oh speculated goodness. it must what? be- I just realized that's Jenna's voice actor from Digimon. Is it? Yeah, hold on. That's kind of not a good voice <laughs> If I'm not gonna lie. Oh god. Hold on. Y'all oh, have to fill me on that one. Jedi. Oh Jedi. When the yeah, world... fill me in on that one, homie. Yeah. Absolutely. Mike Reynolds. I'm not familiar with them. I'm not super familiar either, but I obviously I know them from Digimon. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, I just I just now recognize their voice. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Huh. Kane's good with Digimon, let him cook. But I'll believe him. I'll trust him on it. Alright. Why is this? At the time, most people speculated it must have been a money issue, similar to with Austin St. John, Tui Trang, and Walter Jones. But we wouldn't know the truth until 2010. Which is insane to think about. Remember, this came out in 96. So 14 okay. years later is when we found out about the truth. Where David Yost okay. did an interview with No Pink Spandex. In this interview, one of the questions they asked was, why did you leave the show? And here's his response. Hmm, it's a good, it's a good question. It's actually a really serious question for me. So if I cry, apolo I apologize in advance. All that me getting old and going off to some foreign planet or something, I don't know. I wasn't there for any of that. I don't know anything about it. I've never watched the episodes. But I walked off set one day uh, during the middle of lunch, during halfway through the day. Um, and the reason that I walked off is because I was called faggot one too many times. David Yost is gay, and he was consistently harassed and had slurs thrown at him by a lot of people which is obviously disgusting. The 90s were a different time. Stuff like that would obviously never fly nowadays, but back then it wasn't seen as a big deal. Yeah. He says that members of the cast would constantly be pulled in for meetings to talk about David's sexuality, which obviously made him uncomfortable. This also explains why Billy lost his ranger status and didn't get to be the gold ranger. Yep. I had just heard that uh, several times uh, while working on the show. Um, from creators, producers, 
writers, directors. Basically, I just felt like I was continually being told I'm not worthy of where I am because I'm quote unquote a gay person and I'm not supposed to be an actor and you can't be a superhero. That's sort of the vibe that I was getting. David Yost and Power Rangers had a non-existent relationship for years, understandably so. In 2013, for Power Rangers Super Megaforce, the big anniversary season that was stinky garbage, they were inviting veteran rangers back to the show. David would receive an invite and blast it online. Oh, yeah. The invitation started with Dear Power Ranger and was full of grammatical errors, following it with the hashtag done with abusive relationships. However, to end the story on a happy note, things seem to have changed, with Yost returning to the series in 2023 for the Netflix Once and Always movie and the 30th season of the TV show, Power Rangers Cosmic Fury. Which he is very active in. Like, mm -hmm. he is, he's a main character in that season. He, is, he Wait, has really? his own title card. Yeah, he has his own title card. He's in it for a while. And I think he helped oh, write the 30th year anniversary special. So... Yeah. Even after everything that happened. Oh yeah. my goodness. I mean, I think the big thing about this is there was this was during the Saban era, was like when all, mm -hmm. all of the negativity happened to him. And then it went over mm -hmm. to Disney. And obviously that was before any times that they would have any of the big crossovers. And then it went mm -hmm. back to Saban. So obviously, you know, David Yost would not want to do anything to do with Saban again. But mm -hmm. now because mm -hmm. it's owned by Hasbro, there's new people in charge, they're willing to have different types of conversations. You know, a lot of time has passed. You know, it's been almost 30 years since he left Zio. So, a lot of things like that. Both, might I add, have him not only as a superhero, but as the leader and mentor. The yeah, he's he's literally in, like, the mentor role. Like, oh, for the entire thing. And he's the he leader. The Zordon. Yeah. Of the, of the series. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay being owned by Hasbro and not Saban and a whole new team, I'm sure helped. I'm glad that in 2023, David Yost's relationship with Power Rangers has been mended. The interview alone got almost a total of a million views. So many people really connected with it and felt for David. I remember watching the interview back in the day and feeling so sad that this happened. Yeah, me too. So to see where everything is at nowadays is really heartwarming. I mean, he was definitely a reason why I felt comfortable coming out with my own sexuality. So oh, I was God. like, if a Power Ranger is like that strong enough, then like I can, I can do it, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's good. I'm very proud of you. Thank I you. I am too. It's, it's mm -hmm. the, the more important thing, though, is, is, is about David Yost. And I think that we've come to a, a, a better, you know, era of it now. Obviously, like it doesn't excuse any things that happened in the past, but. Oh, no, of course not. Holy crap. Yeah. I'm so glad at least we get to end on like the note of. Like he's back. It. I think his performance and it ended well. was good. Yeah. You know. True blue to the yep. rescue. Yeah. True yeah. blue and the Power Rangers are back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh uh, my gosh. But this is what I was talking about. Where really unfortunate circumstances, awful circumstances, created awful. really interesting in-universe lore. Like it created a fountain oh, it of youth. Feels so on a whole bad. other planet yeah. and then you know you know this character you know fell in love and uh chose to stay you know chose to follow love instead of going back to his friends uh you know it created a whole lot of really cool lore but the real life circumstances of it are awful yeah it's yeah but we as power rangers fans we have to acknowledge that there is yeah bo both good and bad um, exactly that, that have happened mm -hmm. and uh yeah you know it's, it's important that nowadays we we acknowledge it and don't pretend that it didn't happen so i'm mm -hmm. I'm glad that the like people like people like connor that made this video did address these negative um things that happened uh during power rangers because you know it, it's it's as much as our franchise as as you know like ken and i talk about it a lot like we've we've been power rangers fans for forever mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it is it is important that we talk about these things and and make it aware to other people uh that way they, when they come in they don't just think it's sunshine and rainbows because yeah. as much as we love it's it not. yeah i just, would love yeah. if it was but it's, it's not <laughs> but it's also a good yeah. reflection of our world where you know not everything is always going to be fantastic yeah. and that's okay but it's not okay there are good things that we can still take away from this and despite yeah. despite the negativities and the um 
the the dark side or the dark uh, bits in Power Rangers past and sometimes in present, um, there's a lot of things that we get to celebrate. And I think uh, David Yost's return to the franchise is definitely one of them. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Heading back to Zio, though. Back to Zio. We reached the final two episodes. <laughs> yeah. Hawaii <laughs> Zio is kind of fillery. What's important to note is that the Gold Ranger powers are starting to weaken. Oh, no. Similar to how the Green Ranger was with Tommy. Oh, oh, oh no. Fine, and that's Don't about tell him he's going to have a Gold fucking Ranger subscription stuff. on this shit. <laughs> oh, what? That, <laughs> Tommy? Wait, what? What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, he will. I won't hear. He what will. Do you, uh... Tell me right now. Just tell me right now, guys. Just rip off the band thing. Just tell me right now. <laughs> Tell me right now, I'll be okay. Mom, I promise. Has the biggest crush on Cat. Ernie's throwing this Hawaiian party, and Tommy wants That's to ask That's crazy. Him, for some reason, he's all nervous and shy now. I don't get it. He was never that way with Kimberly. And Tommy and Cat are friends. You've spoken to her hundreds of times. This yeah, but that's is why it's so kind of funny. Forced. I don't know. I, like, I feel like I know people that have been like that before. Like yeah. when yeah. when you move on from a relationship and then you're like, wait, I kind of maybe I do like this person. Like maybe there's maybe there's something here, you know? I I was okay with this. I liked it. it, it he yeah. felt very human with this. Come yeah, on, they man, didn't ask her out. Them being conscious, right? If he's suddenly like, oh shit, I kind of like this person, but yes. how the fuck do I talk to them again? Exactly. <laughs> you don't want to say something stupid and then out of nowhere, like it damages your relationship. Like I, I get it. I feel like, the, yeah, this is a human thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Talk to her. It's just awkward dating stuff until Prince Gasket and Archerina show up. The Rangers fight and defeat them, but they're not destroyed. Where we then I get mean, the return of King Mondo just, he's just out back. of nowhere. Yeah, he's just back. I guess he's repaired now. What? And yeah, he's Prince back. Gasket and Archerino I thought he was. I thought he was in the Super Sentai. I thought he was a. He oh. did. Okay. Yeah, he he, did. he never he never shows back up in the Super Sentai. Oh, then why is this like the other recorded footage back in the? No, this is this is American footage. They yeah. fil they filmed it specifically with the Machine Empire suits in America. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, because yeah. I'm very confused of like the timeline with the Super Sentai to this show now. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's but all right. Glad that got cleared. Okay. Also, I know Power Morphicon said this. I think the last time Kane and I watched this, somebody mentioned this as well. Yeah. Um, oh. That the reason why Jason David Frank, uh, Tommy, has a bandage on his cheek is he got uh, mildly injured on the set of Family Matters because he guessed uh, he guessed it on what was it one or two episodes? It was. I it was mm. like two episodes. One. I think it was one episode. One episode. Actually. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm, okay, okay. Where we will never, ever see them again. Ever. Ever. But let's just move on to the finale. <laughs> oh, okay. Good as gold. Jason's been... <sighs> it really is a finale. No, Gone it's a finale. Yeah. Yeah. And can't use his communicator. He gets ambushed by both the Machine Empire as well as Zed and Rita's forces. Oh, no. The two evil factions bicker amongst each other on who oh, gets no. to steal the Gold Ranger powers. Jason manages to sneak away, though, after the two evil forces fight. And it's pretty <laughs> brutal, honestly. It, I remember the this. The get their feathers ripped out, and the cogs get ripped apart like in a... Yeah! Oh, my God! Yeah! yeah. The skull get an offer to do detective work in France? What? And they consider it, since Detective Stone mostly has the two doing housework. Jason barely makes it to the juice bar before passing out. Everyone's, of course, worried for him. <laughs> I love that he... reaction. Everyone's like... Jason barely makes it to the juice like... bar before passing out. Oh. He's like, oh shit, what happened? What look, happened? Look at the camera, she's like, what? She did what? Oh damn. Everyone's of course worried for him, but the rangers take oh, no. him from there and teleport to the command center. After running a diagnostic on Jason, it turns out that the gold ranger powers are draining Jason's mortal I'm life. Quitting. I'm what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? informs the Rangers they need to perform a ritual to get his three forms back into one. What? Only then can Trey become the Gold Ranger once again. Before they can perform the ritual, they get ambushed, with what? the Rangers holding off the Machine Empire. That's Jason crazy. and Trey successfully do the ceremony, transferring the powers back to its original owner. King Mondo is pissed, and along with the cogs, they grow giant. Tommy's about to summon the Zords, but Trey has a better idea. And he grows all the rangers to giant what? size. Could you just always do <sighs> What? I hate this so much, dude. I genuinely... This is one of my least favorite things of Zio. And this is the finale, man. This is just like... I didn't know this was the finale when I first watched this. 
<laughs> just, I, I just, <laughs> yeah, he can do that, man. That's uh. Do that? It's a really fun fight, and I think it's the only time the Rangers grow big. And with a punch from Trey and a kick from Tommy, yeah, I just, the Machine Empire's king and its king. Michelle Vug, thank you so much for the sub. Down. I appreciate you. We then wrap things up and with the Vulcan Skull quitting the detective agency ago. to move to France. <laughs> Detective Stone seems angry at first, but shows that he's sad the two are leaving. Mm. Tommy then goes to comfort Jason about losing his powers, similar to how Jason would always do the same to him. Tommy's like, first time? They say <laughs> first time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's rough, buddy. <laughs> oh, oh, <sighs> I had to say it. I had to say it. I had to. Yeah, that's rough, buddy. That's rough, buddy. <laughs> Damn, I can't believe Zeus murdered Cain. That's crazy. That is a wild, wacky, inflatable arm flying oh, tube, man. man. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh. Anyway, no, they're not teammates anymore. They'll always be friends. <laughs> They'll always be friends. Hey, Jason still uh, gets the girl. Emily. Yeah, we're know, gonna be friends earlier. on set, right? Yeah. So right. Them with a peace yeah. offering to the Machine Empire, yeah. handing a present to Prince Sprocket and drive away uh, in the trailer, where it turns out the present was an actual bomb. It was and a bomb. Them up with huh? Zed proclaiming. So he just blew up the Machine Empire. <laughs> oh, damn. He gave he gave the kid a bomb. And then it killed all of them. That, wow, okay, ruthless. <laughs> and we'll never see them again. Ruthless, never. okay. We'll never see them again. Okay. And then oh he says, God. and he's like, oh, we're back. And then they never come back again. Okay. Jesus, the fact that they gave the bomb to the kid kind of shows yeah. how evil they really are. And Tommy and Kat hold hands and walk Aww. away. Ending Power Ranger Zeo. Yeah. Definitely a lot less of an epic finale. The fact that the Gold Ranger story took precedence over the Evil Empire stuff really shows they didn't have much of a plan with the Machine Empire. Yeah. At the time, also, I'm pretty sure they were working on the Turbo movie. I think so. So there wasn't the need to end the show on a cliffhanger. We will hmm. see this team again in what they have in store. Turbo, a Power, Power Ranger Zeo Power Rangers was movie. okay. Actually, a lot better than I expected. When I was younger, I never watched Zeo or Turbo. It was Mighty Morphin or In Space for me personally. And when <laughs> it's I such a older, weird I like in between. The entire franchise, but did skip a few seasons I still had no interest in seeing, which Zeo was a part of. I think the season mm -hmm. only being 50 episodes as opposed to 150 definitely helps and feels more condensed. The first half of the season was what I was dreading. A lot of one-off episodes that relied yeah. on the Mighty Morphin formula. Mm -hmm. But once the Gold Ranger story kicked in halfway through, it had some pretty strong narrative structure until the end. Sure, there was the occasional filler episode, but I feel like the good definitely outweighed the bad. Once again, though, Tommy was kind of the main... Orita! Orita! Anyway, you'll get that. You'll get that. Oh, God, you'll get that one day. ...to force that relationship. Jason was way more involved than I thought he was going to be. I thought he would just show up to occasionally summon the Zord and maybe have a conversation or two, but on many occasions he slipped back into that leader role perfectly. Rocky was also more interesting. The fact he actually had a character. Oh, he now. says Rocky and they're showing freaking Go Kaiger footage. Go Kaiger footage. Oh my god. Being <laughs> the goofy and lovable idiot. Adam and Tanya were. there. Tanya had a few episodes yeah. and only one that kind of started. Yeah, they to give just kind of feel like they are just While Adam there. Adam didn't have any of that. Uh, yeah, okay, there was the one episode he talks to Skull, but I consider that more of a Skull episode than an Adam one. Adam seems to be the most badass <gasps> guest appearance and not a full time character. That's my boy. Spoiler. Billy was honestly the true leader. Spoiler. He was no, don't worry about constantly it. coming up with plans, creating weapons, and telling the Rangers what to do. The Rangers themselves were more just soldiers. 
The Machine Empire were also pretty good villains. They were never as threatening as Zed, but I like the family aspect of it. Prince Sprocket was way less annoying than I thought he would be. He's pretty good in O-Ranger too, honestly. I like that he becomes the main villain. Actively coming up with plans to stop the Rangers. Prince Gasket and Archerina were also really nice, having a rivalry with both the Rangers and his own family. Oh man. It's poetic, don't you think? That's, oh the man. robots That's crazy. were programmed oh, no. perfectly, but still managed to be dysfunctional. <laughs> Natro, thanks for the five! A lot of development. <laughs> Seeing them I appreciate be a little buddy buddy with the Rangers is always a nice change of pace. And actively doing. Good. Wait, there's a Mario Kart Power Rangers game? Yeah, it was on Super Nintendo. It was like a Zeo yeah. racer that was literally just a, a Mario Kart clone. There's a lot of Power Ranger games. Yeah. A lot of them aren't great. Uh, the only they good tried. one. Yeah, the only good one to date it is everyone always talks about the Super Nintendo one. And then there's Battle for the Grid, which I play pretty regularly, which is a uh, the fighting game. It's <laughs> the only fighting game I really play. Um, and there's a beat em up game for the PS4. I forget what it's called. I think I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, it uses this really interesting art style. It's pretty it's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's all right. Yeah. Good deeds as well. They also had their first real action scene on the show. This of course though wouldn't be the last time they do that. Yeah. So while Power Rangers Zeo wasn't ever truly bad, I'd say, <clears throat> the next season we're going to check out I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to say the same. So yeah. Oh. You guys asked for it. Uh, we don't agree. Going through the but, rest of the Zordon uh, era story of Power Rangers. Turbo definitely has its flaws. Yeah. Okay. However, comma, in some ways, I actually think it's aged better than Zio. Yeah. Like, like, like where, where maybe like Turbo was kind of like a wine that was like really crappy. And now it's aged yeah. a bit more. And it's like, it's still not great, but it's like. It's, it's aged better. better. Yeah, yeah, it's aged better than I think Zio has. Mm -mm. Let me know your thoughts on Zio. Did you like it? Hate it? Indifferent? Let me know and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah! Yeah! When we shifted yeah! a turbo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, let's, let's. Screw it! Blue Scare do. We can too. I can't. Yeah. I can't do it. I don't have my model. <laughs> They give us seven bits. Thank you, thank you. <gasps> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we transition. So we're just chatting. I mean, we have been just chatting. This oh, whole time. Uh, I, I, I found out the name. Chatting. I found out the name of uh, uh, older Billy, Jeff Nimoy, uh, the voice of Tentomon from Digimon. That I did know. I, I just completely forgot about it. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. That was really fun. Hey, I'm glad you guys enjoyed uh yeah Kane i Zeus. hope everybody enjoyed thank, thank you so much yeah. everyone thank yeah. you thank you not guys. only for uh thank being you. here with all of us which i know that we all enjoy but for also sharing in the good news with all of us oh my mm. god i'm so <sighs> now, now you can go that crazy again? for a little do bit do that again <laughs> <laughs> is that, is that uh, your excited noise uh, sure yeah Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is the craziest excited noise I've ever heard. <laughs> Roy, we have to stop. We've, we've killed Kane mo like multiple times today. I mean, <laughs> I'm going to die next. Here. Yeah, see, they're still here. Staring. I can't cry yet. I told you, I can't so cry funny. yet. They're still here. I just can't oh. do it. It's the funniest image of me and Zeus just staring at Roy, and Roy is like uh, waving his head around, and there's like foam coming out. Oh, <laughs> It, it, just so excited. It, if someone oh has that God. clip too of freaking um of of Kane reading off the announcement, that would be pog because I would love to tweet that yeah, out. Also, please get the one with just Kane absolutely dying. I would love to have that clip. Oh my God. <laughs> I had to stand up. That you uh, actually did? I stood up and I like paced around my room. <laughs> <laughs> my I that's oh man. I Nothing brings me more joy doing these is seeing your genuine reactions yes. to all of this. Yeah. Because obviously you're a neutral party and all that. You've you've <laughs> never seen anything. So but you're picking up on all of the, the little things, and that makes me really happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, there it is, it is got it, 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 it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I oh, knew that it. Is, that so is, much. oh my gosh. That thank is a treasure I'll keep forever. You.
because oh my oh, god, the end result that was, of that was so, so funny. funny. <laughs> I just I just couldn't help it, man. The joke was there. I had to lay it out. <laughs> it, it just felt so natural, oh which god, is why dude. it was so funny. Yeah. <laughs> She learned. She's learned. I okay, enjoyed the logos. I made the rest of Mythos too. Nice. Also, my, my reactions to like when they got Tommy and I and I and I slowly got the lines one oh. by one. I I immediately like actually stood up. I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> Yo, I no. heard you. <laughs> I like can I feel said, it. There's nothing more enjoyable than hearing your first time reactions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, oh so the question God. now that I have is, is initially Kane and I were talking about watching because Connor has three more videos from where we just watched and we've right. seen the next two, which are turbo and in space. Right. But Connor has put out the one after that, which Kane and I have not seen. So I think that the do question, we, I think we catch Zeus up and then just I go think from so. there. Honestly, I think we do it because that would also save us the trouble of having to relive it again. Yeah. I, I, th I think that's just what we do, especially now because we're kind of like, you know, we're the three musketeers with it. We're the trio now. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> we're, we're the VTuber Rangers. The VTuber Rangers. VTuber Ranger. V Ranger. V Ranger. Is V is V Ranger better? You think? I think V Ranger is better. Yeah, uh, VTuber Sentai V Ranger. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I'm trying to think if there's a better V V Ranger. V Ranger. V VT Ranger. <laughs> okay, yeah, that, no, maybe not the, the VT. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, yeah, I think I think v, v Danger is probably better. Pink yeah. Bunny, White Wolf, Gold Lightning. Gold Lightning is not bad. Gold Lightning I, sounds kind of sick. I'm not gonna lie. I actually, I'm I'm really a, I'm a fan of White Wolf. That's, White Wolf sounds good. That's Pink Pink Bunny. We might need to work on though. <laughs> I, I'm a bunny. Light, I mean, White Wolf I'm Ranger, Gold you know, Lightning Ranger. Like the one you kiss. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Catch Zeus up and then present a panel and talk about what you've been doing. Yeah. I think I think that's kind of like the best thing that we could do. Cause Zeus has kind of been like I, I know like I joke about it, but Zeus genuinely has been kind of our our like project in the sense of like we took someone that was not familiar with Power Rangers at all. And mm -hmm. she, I, she I seems like she's having fun. A little bit. Uh, yeah, a little <laughs> a bit of little samurai. Bit. Yeah. Whenever yeah. we eventually get there, I'm so curious oh, so. to see. Your I honestly don't remember much of Samurai. So and I think that's I why I'm again, looking yeah. forward to it. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. whenever we, we get there, when <laughs> who knows when that's going to be. I'm, mm. I'm so interested to see your retrospective of, I remember that. I don't remember yeah. that. Yeah. That's not happening the way I remember it. Oh, before you go to show up the other <laughs> mythos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> did, you, did you tag me again in the other mythos ones? Yeah, you did. Let's go. White Dwarf. White Wolf, White Wolf, Gold Lightning Ranger. Mm. <laughs> that's, that's, that's All right, so awesome. we've got uh, Violet Reaper for Hades Violet as a Reaper. skull. We've got uh, Blue Trident for Poseidon, oh, and that sounds, Red that and very Red good, yeah. Sun for Apollo. Red Sun Ranger. Mm -hmm. That actually works really well. I wonder. I wonder if Orange would fit. Her better. Hmm. Ooh, Ro Rose, Rose hair. Golden eye turning. Rose hair. Pink bunny. I think Rose <laughs> hair actually sounds pretty cool. I like that. Starshine. That's not bad. It's, Rose hair. It, it would be like, I pink hopper perhaps. Pink hopper. Pink, pink hopper. I think that does oh, sound I, better. I, that that sounds that sounds pretty. Yeah. yeah I, I'm I'm kind of a fan of that. Either that or like Rose oh, Hopper. Isn't isn't a hair technically also like a bunny? Yeah, some somebody in chat said uh Rose Hair. Yeah, Rose oh, Hair is Rose Hopper. Rose Hopper. Rose Hair. Rose Hair Ranger. V Ranger! Rose Hair! Mm, yeah, that, that could work. That, that sounds That's not bad. Yeah. Not bad. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of that. V Ranger! Why the Tori Pa? V Ranger! Blue Trident! V Ranger! Leto Sun! I like those. Those are good. Those are so Connor, good. Connor deserves those credit. Are... Of course he does. I've literally messaged him several times and been like, hey, like I really appreciate you making these videos because they've been so much fun to react to uh, and to talk about and to... And I have indoctrinated a new person because of these videos. Yeah, genuinely. <laughs> In the next email. <laughs> Which is kind of it's just kind of nutty <laughs> to think about in that sense. You know, they are they are crazy. Henshin oh calls. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
if we oh ever like gosh. made lore, it'd be so funny for like if if I if I ever got like the fucking what do you call it like gets turned evil trope because I hate that <laughs> shit. I sent you a message on Instagram That's as so well. I, oh. I I would hate it. That'd be so funny. <laughs> Oh gosh! Uh, <laughs> oh man! I can't yeah. wait to see what evil era Zeus is. Stop! Stop! And it's just stop. like I hate this trope. <laughs> <laughs> but here I am. I'm evil. Oh my god! <laughs> stop giving! Stop giving anybody ideas, Kane. I feel like someone's gonna make fan art of it, and I have no choice but to like, like love fan art. That's so funny. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, wait, it could be one of those fun little VTuber prompts. Uh, the ASMR, v, uh, ASMR prompt. I turn evil again. <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> I turn evil for the fifth time. <laughs> oh, my God. That's actually really funny. I freaking love it. V Ranger uh, lore video when? Gosh. Gosh, guys, guys. <sighs> if ever we gotta put in lore, I feel like the best person to do that would like, of course, be be you too. But I feel like Mary would also, I feel like, would add oh, in the spice yeah. in there. If only, if only Mary still did lore stuff. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. That'd be funny. That's so funny. Sorry, Kane. You're no longer part of Invicta. You are part, part of, of uh, V Ranger. Oh, okay. Well, all right. <laughs> I, love, I love how you beat it. You just accept. You just accept it. You just don't. Listen, we're going to power one. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh I, my I, god. I love my brothers in Invicta. I could never. <laughs> oh, so oh my goodness gracious. Uh, I did crazy. respond, Power Morphicon, by the way, just in case. Mm -hmm. oh just wanted gosh. to make sure you knew. I feel like after this stream, like, Kane, like Kane, and, Kane and me are just gonna have to like, uh, like get, take care of Roy because they might just. Oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, hey, uh, first time. Yeah. <laughs> first time. <laughs> I, I killed me. That right? that destroyed me. I was not I was not prepared for that in the slightest. Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. Oh my gosh. Please stop. V, v Ranger becomes a group that, that absorbs other groups. Yeah, we're absorbing Mythos. Oh. We're absorbing Invicta. That yes, please, so Kane and Zeus take care of Roy. We will. We will. Don't worry. I yes. will be I fine, will, probably. Will. And if not, well, we'll my again. bed is behind me. So. <laughs> I gotta, gotta cry the pillow. <laughs> I mean, I probably. Will. Oh my I god! Probably will. As soon as as soon as somebody has that that clip for me, I'm posting it, and I'm just gonna like disappear mm. for a while and be like, "It's like a childhood I dream." Just, I could probably just download the VOD and clip it myself. Yeah. I think right. I think Belmore said that he was gonna clip it. Now that he's okay. now that he's done the other, is that what you said, Belmore? Or, or am I imagining things? Mm. Can Iron Mouse be the villain to V? That would oh be, my amazing. God, be so amazing. Oh my. God. You've been in our radar for a bit. I'm very excited to bring VTubers to PMC. That's amazing. Thank you so much for saying That's that. That's so nice. Thank you so much. Let's go. Yeah, Iron Mouse becomes sent, Rita. Uh, tuba. Tuba Sentai V Ninja. <laughs> tuba Sentai. Tuba Sentai V Ninja. Tuba Sentai V Ninja. Well, that's what I was thinking, like, virtual or, like, you know, something like, don't don't use tu uh, tuba, because, like, what does tuba mean, you know? Like, the, the instrument? A tuba? You know? Sentai Virtual Ranger. Virtual Sentai. Power Pup. Mm. Super, Super Sentai Virtual Ranger. Den Denji Sentai again. Denji Sentai. Denji. <laughs> oh. V Ninja. Electric. Wait. Electric Squadron. Den. Den uh, oh no. Oh no. Uh. Eto. Uh, Bure. 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 <laughs> Bure. <laughs> I think virtual is a little too awkward to say. Oh, with... she's Sentai V Ranger. Wait, that's actually oh, called a pod. Oh, she's sent... oh, oh, she oh, Sentai V Ranger. V Ranger. Wait, I kind of love that. Oh, she's Sentai V Ranger. I'm kind, of, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of into that. Hold wait, on, that's kind of. That's... Hold on, hold on. That's wait, kinda... okay. Hold on. I, think, I think we're wait. cooking on high heat. Wait, I think, I think we are. Yeah, I, think I think we are, cooking. guys. No, I think we are. Cooking. Oh, so someone put down the olive oil. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> For now, it's a work in progress. That's all I can say. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. We are definitely very interested uh, in mm, in mm. making it happen. Uh, just you know, obviously, let us know uh, on logistics, and we'll we'll make sure that 
we get mm -hmm. it uh we get it going so thank you again yeah. everyone really this was uh this is fantastic yeah i appreciate you all I appreciate you. Yeah, we appreciate you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> guys, uh, I think we're just going to call the stream there for now. <laughs> <laughs> Zeus, are you going to keep streaming or are you done? Oh, no, I am definitely ending. I've okay, been streaming for okay. seven hours. <laughs> um, I am going to raid into Nick Nocturne, who's doing some content mm -hmm. warning yes. with, with the, the homies, with it Mary, looks like. I think. Unless he's ending his stream now, which I'm gonna they go, are, I'm gonna ruin his on, night. Let me, let me open up online. Mm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go oh, ruin his three night. Three hours. Yeah. I, do we just raid Mary? Uh, Mary is. No, I'm just gonna raid into Nick. I'm gonna give him a terrible time. I'm gonna make him deal with it. I'm gonna make him stream longer. <laughs> You're just gonna give him a absolutely, time. absolutely. <laughs> okay. Guys, wow. thanks so much for hanging out tonight. I really appreciate it. Zeus, Kane, thank you guys again for coming. Thank we will you. we will work out uh, either either Turbo and in space or just Turbo and see what we can do from there. Uh, mm -hmm. So we raid Nick both. Double I mean, raid, if, you, or... if you want to. So yeah. totally I don't mind. To as long as like it actually doesn't keep them there. If I actually, if we actually like. <laughs> I mean, that's only totally up to you. Listen, you can. Uh... Oh my god. <laughs> but uh, hey, Power Morphicon, thank you again. Uh, looking forward to hearing more. Uh, about everything uh definitely we'll gonna definitely be tweeting do, out uh we'll definitely talk yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. definitely definitely we'll be tweeting out that clip though absolutely yeah, yeah. just to show just that uh, raid. show that excitement all right guys i will catch everyone tomorrow i think i'm playing content warning uh with michaela tomorrow uh, <gasps> How exciting. all right go. guys i'll see you later <gasps> bye, -bye. Bye, bye bye everyone